Horizon Center is a welcome sight for the fans and this team that is searching for its first victory as CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, a rematch of the playoffs of two years ago. John Wall and the Wiz take on DeMar DeRozan and the Toronto Raptors. Morris, baseline for Wall. Now Beal open for three. Beautifully done. Two for two for Bradley, one of them a three, and John with the assist. Wall pushes it up court, and his speed gets him two. Speed and strength, Buck, because you had DeRozan running alongside of him, but he just couldn't kind of shade him off to away from the middle, and John ends up with the layup. Wizards with a block, and here comes Wall. Here's Carroll for his jumper, no good. And John missed a couple of free throws in that game. They have not been shooting the three-pointer very well or often for that matter. Even team has for the start of this season. Both right. teams but, but, uh, under 25%. Another pass, lob pass over the defense, Gortat scoring. So Washington has four of their five starters already scoring. Porter on Lowry, gets into the paint, and just missed that one. Wall has Gortat. The alley-oop for Marchant throws it oh. down. I'll tell you what, they made it look easy. That was not an easy play for Marchant and for John. I mean, he had a defender between them, had to lob it up softly. Well, he gets into the paint for Gortat on a pretty pass. Marchant turns over to Derek Stafford and said, I got fouled on the play. That's a nice move by John Wall. Well, talk about taking advantage of your speed, your quickness, and your moves, and then finishing yeah. in the paint. All splits defenders, oh. what a pass! Oh. Once again, it's Otto Porter who makes the beautiful, timely cut and gets himself open right as John Wall is ready to deliver his fifth assist. Wall drives and uses that body in his left hand. Yeah, that's the strength that's necessary for guards as they drive in there. Wall drives and he scores. Yeah, Patterson last year shot a career low 41% from field goal range, and that included missing some threes, but he's not afraid to shoot them. So far, he's making them. DeRozan shot way short. Wall tips it to keep it alive. Great pass to Porter. Score the field goal. He'll go to the line. Boy, that was a highlight reel there. Wall looking, looking, and he scores. Well, when he's able to get uh, that many shots in the painted area, it's going to be trouble for a bonus. Wall, great move on Siakam, and he scores. Nice pass underneath, and Porter scores. Well, I'll tell you what, those two are starting to hook up, much like we saw Marching uh, Gortet and John over the last couple of years. Great pass. And Sadaransky scores on the Boy, reverse layup. I think he may have made that a little more difficult than it needed yeah. to be. I thought he had it the first time on the right the side. Right side, yeah. Wall drives yeah. and makes it in pretty as you please. 20 points for the Wall Stars. And a steal by Wall. He's got Thornton. He drives and attacks. Well, what a beautiful move that time. Actually moved his body and then brought the ball with him. Kind of a delayed reaction, went right around Terrence Ross. Lowry has his pocket picked wow. by Wall. Wall with Terrence Ross. Reverse layup is a beauty! And we're tied at 92. Wall lays it up with the left hand on the right side. It was in Memphis. Four minutes to go, Washington was up eight. But then they were outscored, got outshot, uh, gave up four threes. And, well, that was a big bucket by Auto Porter, who continues to shoot the ball well. Wall with a long three just off the front. Back tap by Gortat, kept alive. Inside, Porter scores off the pass from Wall. Well, he has just been at the right place at the right time all night long, whether gathering rebounds, he has 13 of those, or knocking down shots from the perimeter and cutting to the rim. Wall scores, and he will go to the line. That's a big play. Yeah. Valanciunas, he's just befuddled. He doesn't know what to do. Beautiful move by John Wall. Yeah. But what's amazing to me about DeRozan, he really makes it look completely effortless. Yeah. Yeah. That will do it. The Toronto Raptors have come to Washington in the first of three meetings and handed the Wizards their third straight loss to start this year.
Washington falls to 0-3, losing to Atlanta, Memphis, and now the Raptors, and Toronto improves to 3-1. Fall has arrived in the nation's capital, a gorgeous November evening and a great night for the NBA at Verizon Center as CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz look for their first win and a chance for revenge against Dwight Howard and the 3-1 and Atlanta Hawks. Here's Beal. He lost it. The Wizards turn it over. They had 21 of them against the Raptors, which led to 30 Toronto points, but Atlanta gives it right back. Wall, good pass inside Porter, and he scores. Like we mentioned, he does such an outstanding job of running the floor or cutting in half-court basket. There again, the recipient of a John Wall assist. And they turn it right back over. Here's Wall. He's got Porter on the left, Beal on the right. This is Otto Porter for the jumper. Good. Want to shoot the ball well. That was a mid-range shot. Three of five shooting on his part. He's already got six points. Here's Gortat. He throws that in with that lefty hook. Wall tipped up and in, oh. <laughs> score the field goal, and a foul was called. What, what a play. Wall pulls up for the long shot that's good. John again from 17. Back to a 10-point lead. Here's Wall. He'll take the open shot and knock it down. John Wall, now three of six from the field. He's got six points and seven rebounds with four assists. Wall again from the baseline. 50 to 37 Washington. They led by as many as 14 back in the first half. Wall wide open for three. Heads up play by Bradley Beal. Kind of drew the attention of several defenders and that left John wide open. Wall is held and he couldn't get it to go but he will Head back to the line for two. Wall, great move, flips it up and in! Wide open for the jumper that's no good. Gortat battles and gets the rebound. Wall, off balance, and he'll go back to the line. Meantime, Gortat has a double-double with 10 points and 11 rebounds. Baysmore for the jumper that's no good and the rebound to Morris. And Baysmore is now 0 for 7 from the field. Yeah, they, they were intent on taking away that middle from Howard. Beal's jumper, good for three! But he actually turned around before that shot went through. He knew it, and as a shooter, you have that feel on the release that everything's perfect. Beal. Screen from Gortat. Puts it up. Wall is right there and scores. Just out-muscled Schroeder for that rebound. Kept him on his back. Then he knew there was nobody else that could challenge the putback. That's it. Yeah. The replay center has ruled that time has expired. The game is over. The Wizards get their first win of the season and improve to 1-3 and three as they knock off the Hawks in a hard-fought battle here in Washington. All eyes on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Someone will live in this house and run our country for the next four years. Who will it be? Meantime, eight blocks to the east. The focus tonight is on another house, Verizon Center, where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. The Wizards are home for three straight, and this evening play their first game this season against James Harden and the 3-3 three and three Houston Rockets. So John Wall, who sat out the second game of a back-to-back, -back, is playing tonight. A lot of contact, an excellent pass to Porter. We talk about some of the areas that you missed, John. Even though Porter had a double-double, 10 points and 13 rebounds, he's the, one of the main benefactors of John with that penetration. You saw an example of that last score. John is setting up again. That's his second assist. As Wall drives and scores. So it didn't look like Moore even stepped out of bounds that time. He may have gotten away with that. Harden's pass a little too long. Wizards get the turnover. Wall down court, attacking and lays it in. Beautifully done. They went right at James Harden, who's already got picked up a foul. Yeah, so you could see he kind of backed off. Yeah. Phil. Wall the open jumper. Good. John Wall averaging 22 points a game. He's 19th in the league right now. He has seven straight double-doubles 
against the Rockets. The longest streak of any team. Wall for his jumper, it's short. Follows his own shot. Looks for help, finds Beal. Beal's jumper is good. It's a three-pointer for Bradley Beal. Boy, did he know that Bradley Beal was in that corner? With that assist, John Wall has tied Wes Unsell for the franchise lead in assists. And one more, he'll have the record. Wall drives and gets past him for the score. Blazing speed by John Wall. And Wall steals that away from Harden. John racing to the hoop. Nice pass for Beal. Boy, that's a heads-up play. Absolutely. That assist makes John Wall the Washington Wizards Bullets all-time franchise leader in assists, surpassing the great Wes Unsell. And now Capella had it knocked away by Wall. Yeah, what a clean strip. John waits for his teammates. Porter will take a three and hit it. And the Wizards have regained the lead by one. They go to Ariza, who looks at the clock around the lane and couldn't get it. Porter's there. The Wizards up by one. Here comes Wall. Attacking. Going to the glass and lays it in. There's no stopping John Wall. Wizards by one. Wall into the corner. Long ball going up and in as Markeith Morris gets his first field goal in ten attempts. Wall launching a three and hitting it. Wall on a step back. 19 points for Wall. Oubre to tie it. That's his second three tonight. Hit one early in the first half. Morris knocks it down. His third field goal in 12 attempts. That's a big one. Wall drives, challenges Nene, and scores. Me, that was Morris, not Thornton. So just as they've done the past two years, each team has won on the other's home court. The Wizards will have another opportunity to do that on January 2nd in Houston. Washington loses their second straight. They fall to 1-5 and five on the year, led by John Wall with 21 points and 8 assists. 32 for Harden. Wizards fall 114-106. to 106. What better city in the country to come to on November 11th as the Cavaliers are in the nation's capital on Veterans Day to take on the Washington Wizards, a team that is coming off a blowout victory over the Boston Celtics. Wall jumping over Tristan Thompson. That's, that's one part of his game he has really improved, yeah. Fred. That little jump shot right there. He really could not shoot that ball like that when he first came to the league. Another chance for the home whites. Otto Porter sends that three ball. Well, he's really improved his stroke, too. Yes, he has. And, and when you're on the first name basis with the first lady, that's a good thing. Well, now, question John Wall, meanwhile, on the runaway. The Cavaliers down seven here. Wall forced to switch and hit another. The Cavs backing off now. They usually don't do that, Fred. John Wall off the two-man game, feeling it, and hits it again. Well, because, because again, the guy that's guarding the guy standing the pick is backing off. When if Kyrie gets caught on the pick, he gets the shots wide open. Wall to pull up. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. He's got to cool. Hey, I hope so. Right? Kyrie against Sadoratsky, who has good size. Kyrie falls back up. Sadoratsky's length bothered him. He's 6'7". With a wall to blur to Kelly Oubre, who just checked it. Yeah, they are rushing the Cavs now. John Wall back out there. Love has to pick him up. Kevin stays in front. Wall settles for one. Hits it. And uh, when the Cavs out from the outside. Carry the open floor. Against Wall. Ducks inside. No. Short. Off the glass. Here comes Wall behind the back. So dangerous here. Skates in for two. Boy, he is awful good, Fred. Once he gets a step on you, you don't recover from it. Wall going baseline. Tries to duck into a shot. Somehow muscled at home. And he's fouled. So the three-time All-Star. With a heck of a first half here. Makes it 50-42. Yeah, he's the one keeping him in the ball game. Wall sends it and hits it. He's just on fire. I have never seen him shoot the ball this well from the outside against the Cavs. I tell you, when he plays against Kyrie, something happens, something happens to him. My goodness. Just get out of John Wall's way and let him play. And let, and let him go. Wow, he's got 23. Inside, Morris rescued it. All over Tristan Thompson without fouling. Cavaliers again pushing the pace. Gotta love this. Kyrie ducks inside. No, partially blocked though by Wall. Kevin Love couldn't dig it out. Belongs to Thornton. Plus inside to Love. Knocked away by Oubre. 
Hamlin is doing a good job retreating. Billy Uber came to the ball, though, and fussed it. Half late on the retreat. Keith Morris. Nope. The rebound again to the Wizards. Wall for three. Casted it. So John Wall keeps the hopes alive here in D.C. 192. A one and go winner. What a great trip to the nation's capital. A brand new shiny dome represents our nation's capital. Another beautiful fall day and evening in D.C. Just up the street, CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz get their first look this season at Carmelo Anthony and the five and six New York Knicks. A little bit of good news on the horizon at Verizon. Bradley Beal will not only play tonight, he will start in the backcourt alongside of John Wall. Quartet got pushed, no call. He looks over at the referee, both Benny Adams and the young new referee, Brent Nansel. Bulls has the advantage scoring-wise in the matchup. John, a little quicker, but it's, sometimes it's like the mentor versus the person being mentored, and, and John, at, at times, I think, good shot by Brent. At times, I think he falls into uh -oh. Situation of just kind of watching Derek and being awed by him and not really attacking him. Well, Otto Porter just turned on a three and gave the Wizards the lead at 10 8. Thornton fires one up and hits a three pointer for Marcus Thornton. Washington continues its torrid shooting from long range, five for five. Here's Wall. Oubre again, got another one. The Wizards remain perfect from long range. They've made all six. I saw John really look to, to be aggressive and drive the, drive the basket. He put a lot of pressure on Philadelphia. Consequently, he was able to get to the line 10 times, or actually 12 times, made 10 of them, and finished with 27 points. For Gortat, a great pass yeah. and a terrific shot. And that's the point I'm talking about. Sato still has to get that timing and where uh, Marchin likes that uh, lob pass. Off the screen, it's Kuzi. Missed that one. Wall, he's left alone. And he knocks that down. That's the first point of the game for John Wall to go along with his six assists. He's one of five from the field. Oh, no, awfully mobile while setting that pick. Yeah, well, he's known for that. We've been talking about it for years. Wall gives this one up. Beals jumper, good. Another three-pointer for Washington. They're seven of nine from long range, and the Wizards now have their largest lead of the half. High screen from Gortat. Again, they feed him, and he scores, and they can do that all night. Yeah. As you watch these players evolve, Johnny, are you amazed at some of the athleticism that you see from these guys? Oh. You can go back to MJ, but even before that. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, it, it just looks like every year players come in that have more athletic ability, better shooters, and it, it's amazing. You know, and now the kids know that... You know, they can get into the NBA or one of the other major sports and make a certain amount of money. Wall driving on green, or rather on oh. Rose. Yeah. And a great pass to Gortat. Wall. Long shot for Wall. That's good. Three-pointer for John Wall. And Washington's lead extends to 23, their largest of the game. Rose will try to get three back, and he does. Eric Rose in his eighth year from Memphis. In 17 games against the Wizards, he's averaging 22 points, the most against any Eastern Conference team except the Knicks. But Wall answers with another. How about that? Good interception by Sadoransky gives it up to Wall. He's got guys there. And a flush from Markeith Morris on another great pass by Wall. Well, I tell you what, you see John acknowledging the finish by Markeith, but some players have and some don't. I mean, not everybody can deliver those kind of passes the way we see John do. Wall drives reverse layup is a beauty. Boy, he spread the floor, had all the players out. So he was able to get himself a nice drive to the basket. Wall around his back. Stops for the open jumper. Big shot 
by John Wall. Timeout, New York. Beal over the timeline, and they'll let him dribble it out. And the Wizards will hang on to win, despite the fact they were up 27 points. They win it by seven. After playing seven of their first 11 games at home, the Heat hit the road for 10 of their next 13. And a four-game road trip begins tonight here in Washington, D.C. Beautiful day and a chilly night as we welcome you inside the Verizon Center for the first of four games this season between the Heat and the Wizards. Both teams at 3-8. and eight. Both are hungry to win. And we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket of Miami Heat basketball right along with us on Fox Sports Sun. John Wall back to Gortat, who scores easily. And the penetration of John Wall is what the whole Wizards offense is predicated on. Nice pass. Bradley Beal on the finish for his third score. John Wall, seventh year out of Kentucky. Another beautiful pass on the run for the Gortat hook. It's a Wizards team that's been very spotty. Matter of fact, Scott Brooks said it's been choppy early in the season for us defensively. But coach seems like they've gotten the message. They're playing well on that end and this one as well. Gortat with six points. And the Wizards are going nuts. They're seven for nine from the field. And John Wall now with six of Washington's seven assists. Gorgeous crossover for Wall with a finish. So John Wall getting his first points after picking up seven assists. That's a great way for a point guard to set the table for his team. Wall, triples. John Wall with his 10th triple of the season. Waiters sets up James Johnson, corner triple. Overshot and taken down by John Wall. Oh, what a play by Wall. The first pick back of the 2010 draft. Miami's on top. Babbitt with a takeaway. And gives it right back on the steal by Porter. That's Porter's fourth steal of the first half. Babbitt tried to do a little too oh, much. What a play by John Wall. Behind the back to escape and score. You know, I should have just dunked it, man. I don't even know why. Um, even try to lay it up. I should have just dunked it. Bro, come on. You got to make that. I was right there. You know, AC wants to be great. So it's, it's good to be able to see him, you know, kind of bring himself back together and, you know, talk it out a little bit. Pick and pop for Jason Smith. That's in his wheelhouse. Pick and pop for Smith. He said... He's a perimeter shooter. Well, Scott Brooks, Tony, we had a chance to talk with him earlier tonight, and he said something that really caught my attention. He said, our mindset has to be to focus on your job and come ready to play. And then he followed up by saying, I have to find guys that will do that, which infers that the Wizards have not always come ready to play and focused in on the task at hand. He's frustrated at the lack of consistency in that department. John Wall with 18 points. Beal, short, great challenge by Whiteside. Wall drives in and scores. Now John Wall getting it done as a score. Nice drive by John Wall. John Wall with 22. Bradley Beal has 23. That's 45 of the Wizards' 84 points. John Wall drives on Deion Waiters, banked it in. Just as the shot clock rang out, 24 for Wall. Whiteside, 18 points and 18 rebounds. He's already got two 20-plus rebound games this year. The 20 rebounds against Chicago, 25 rebounds against Atlanta with 10 offensive. The most offensive rebounds in the league this year. John Wall triples. Dragic gifted the corner three. Over the head of Whiteside went that potential rebound. Beal for Wall. And he triples. The Wizards are down by only five. And another free throw miss for the Heat. The Heat have offset that with six guys in double figures. Whiteside deflecting the ball away from John Wall. Two seconds left in the game. Wall triples. So Wall and Beal is going to look nice on the stat sheet. But they'll feel empty in their locker room. They both finish with 34. So that's 68 of their 111 points scored by their starting backcourt. But the Heat win consecutive games for the first time this season. They beat Milwaukee on Thursday by 23 at 96 to 73. Tonight they win it 113 to 108. Both teams.
continues with a case of the yips here at the outset. Here's John Wall, guarded by Brandon Knight. Wall curls around a screen from Markeith Morris. Can't knock it down, so the off-shooting continues. Good pass by Wall. Otto Porter with a room service fee. And one thing Alex is going to have to learn is when he gets the ball down low, just put it up on that little five to seven foot jump shot on the baseline. He gave the Suns the lead, but only momentarily as, as Bradley Beal knocked it down off the glass. And from deep, John Wall comes up empty. Suns on the fly. Devin Booker, good day on the chase down by John Wall. Now races back on offense. Off the turnover. The fast break. And the scoop to the hoop for John Wall. Now here's Wall with an open path to the basket and the dump off to Gortat, the Polish hammer. Let's so. Well, I don't know why that wasn't a three-second call because you had Porter all the way on the other side. P.J. Tucker was in the corner. And they had two guys in the middle of the lane looking to help out, and Eric Bledsoe trying to make something happen. John Wall made that happen instead. One of the best in the league. Oubre, no, kept alive by Wall. Bradley Beal from deep. He is such a long-range threat. Textbook jumper. The former number three pick out of Florida. Here's Barbosa. Catch and shoot. Allen Williams has to be careful. He's already got three fouls. There's no Tyson Chandler. And Len has the propensity for fouls. And that one is buried from deep. Sounds on a 10 to 3 run. Here is Jared Dudley. Johnny on the spot. Couldn't finish it. March it down to the fast break. It's Beal. Beautiful from Wall. So that stops the temporary run. Off the curl. Nice move by Beal. Four on the shot. Fires away from three. Pretty. That is as gorgeous as it gets, that shot. That came down with a parachute. Yeah, he just looks like he's releasing a lot higher, and there's no charge call. And a quick rebuttal by Morris. 46-45 son. Eric Bledsoe with the pull-up. Ripped down by Gortat. His fourth rebound. Quickly down four. They march it, and then there's Morris with the big fit. Chris. Can't stick the 15-foot jumper. Wall from deep. John Wall who was one for nine prior to that shot. Now two for ten, five points. Bradley Beal on a mismatch with Len. And Marchand Gortat rifles it in. Ball looking to set it up or put it up. Gets the screen from Gortat. He's going all the way, throws it up and in. Looking for a call, nothing to it. 1.4. And that'll do it. Bledsoe on fire, now has 26. 20 assists for the Suns. Oh, Barbosa did a great job. Looked like he was going to come up with the steal, but the Wizards get it back. Now here's Wall with another opportunity. That's going to kill you. Those second opportunities. One hand grab by Bledsoe off the glass. He's going coast to coast. Oh, and a rejection. A chase down blocked by Wall. Pass behind Morris, rescued by Thornton, back to Morris. They reset. Here's Wall on the drive. Drops it off to Gortat. Great defense by Lynn, and then the follow goes for the Wizards. Gortat stayed with it. John Wall stayed with it. And the Wizards tie it up. Anxious moments down the stretch for the Suns. Oh, and guess who gets hot when it counts? John Wall. Two seconds. And that will do it. Welcome to Friday Night Magic. From downtown Orlando, a very pleasant Friday evening in Central Florida. And a big Thanksgiving weekend crowd filing into the Amway Center for NBA basketball. Tonight, it's the Orlando Magic and the Washington Wizards. Evan Fournier. Oh, he got to the basket, but he missed the shot. Beal cross court to Wall. Wall knocks it down for three. He is having a career year shooting the long ball. 41%. And Porter knocks down a three. Ibaka cross court to Green. The extra pass to Augustine. He'll fire for three. What about the respect Augustine gets? They're flying at him. 
Speaking of flying, <laughs> that was a pretty good fast break operated by John Wall and Otto Porter. As an analyst doing a Wizards game, you have to pick your spots because play could be gone with John Wall out there. Almost a steal, and Wall did take it away from Green. And that's Brad Beal with his first points yeah. of the game. Another timeout for the Magic. Beal rejected by Ibaka. Peyton never saw John Wall, and here he goes for the left-handed dunk. The Magic trying to get out and run, but you're right. John Wall blindsiding EP that time. Here's Beal for three. Brad Beal. That is so pretty when that's released, isn't it? Fournier. Nowhere to go. No, no ball movement that time. Evan got st stuck and had to put up the shot. That's a long two for Otto Porter. And a 17 to 1 run for Washington. John Wall. Tracked by Biombo. Boy, he is tough to stop when he gets a head of steam. Augustine. Gets around Wall. Had it taken away. Ibaka challenging Wall, who lays it in. Timeout called for by the Magic. Fournier, three for the three. Rebound Wall. Wall in the open floor. Gives it to Porter. Another assist for John Wall. That's number five. Make that six assists for Wall. He's fourth in the league. Just under nine per game. Wall able to elude Alfred Payton. 11 for John Wall and a 13-point lead. Wall against Augustine. Rising and firing the jumper that's good. Eight in the quarter. 13 in the game for John Wall. Wall with a crossover. And the feed to Gortat. John Wall with the assist. 20-footer by John Wall. Oh, His he's, jump shot has gotten so much better. He's knocking down that one. I mean, he's coming at you. you got to retreat. Wall with the shot clock at five. Gortat reverses it in. Give another assist to John Wall. Here's Wall. Off the dribble. John Wall again. Having himself a big night. 18 for Wall. Jason Smith, the big basket for Washington. Oh, you talked about it in the first half. Jason has struggled this year with the Wizards. Fine, trying to find a comfort zone, but we've seen that one a lot. Vucevic, good job cutting off Wall. Gortat from Wall. Yeah, that's just so good. John Wall putting that right where only Martian Gortat could pick that one up and lay it in. Wall accelerates on Biabo and lays it in. So fast. Now, a great shot blocker. Couldn't react in time. Wall again. Down the middle. And the foul. He had the pick and roll set up, Jeff, to his left. And he went the other way. Didn't use the screen. Magic had no chance to win the game in the end after this. A, a long review gives Washington a free throw and possession. All right, Washington wins it 94-91. That's the final score. One of the keys we'll start off with, obviously, in the backcourt, making sure that Whitehead keeps this guy wall in front of him. Don't go too far up on him because he'll go right by you. Screen from Gortat. And the jump shot off the feed from Wall. Yeah, I think there's a tendency, and Whitehead has done it a couple of games, to go out on these point guards. Well, a puck for Beal, and he knocks it down. Bradley Beal signed a mega deal. Five years, $127 million. But Lopez misses on the floater. Yeah, that was a bounce pass that I believe hit Bogey right in the foot. And I'm surprised he even was able to get to it. Beal steps into the three and buries him. Booker missed it with the offhand, defended there by Morris. Washington takes less threes than just about any other team. Gortat on the interior. You've got Chicago and Detroit taking less. Pull up jumper for Wall. Whitehead gets tucked behind it. Whitehead shielding Beal, knocked away, tried to tap it over to Booker, but Gortat is there. Explosive Porter. speed for Wall, and he leaves it for Porter on the jam. Wall the hesitation, and the flip. Pretty. Booker. There you go. Around Gortat. Put it up with the right hand. Atkinson wanted to call. Wall. Oh, what vision! Porter 
on a rack attack. And what kind of run out again? We've seen Porter go up the right side of the floor and also this time straight down the middle because he understood that time that Wall was not in the middle of the floor. Spray. Book it. Ready to shoot. I mean, you have to help out on Wall, and that's what's happening right now. He's indicating he might want to drive to the basket, and you have to slide off of the help. Wall all the way. John Wall has explosive speed going to the rim. Wall pulls it back, forced to give it up. The former net Marcus Thornton is in. Now for Washington. Gortat screen. Wall off balance. Count it. Pretty, pretty drifting to his left, no less. Oh, Intercepted. Boy. John Wall going upstairs for the left-handed flush. Eight offensive rebounds for the Nets in the first half. And they're out rebounding the Wizards 28 to 19. Gortat, a foreign facial. Whitehead, yep. he missed it on the inside and may have gotten away with a travel. Wall to the wing, Porter, and Washington isn't missing. The tables have turned in Brooklyn. Jump shot, nice stroke from Beal. Switch, that means Foy has Gortat. Will they get it to him? Just lob it in there and see what he can do with it. The help, the kick. Wall doesn't take the three for two. Yes. Nets bench was going crazy over there for some reason. Nets hit 100 first. Wall ties it with a jump shot that rims in. Wall on a switch, he's got Booker shifting gears. Wall, step back, Jay. He cans it. He, he's. His speed just gets you sliding towards the basket when he bursts at you. Changes his momentum quickly, changes his speeds. Knocked yeah. away, and a leak out. Wall accelerates for the jam. John Wall creating the turnover. Wall gets the screen, the jump shot. He's got it. It's a three. Shot clock down to five. Wall, no look. Oh, what a feed. Markeith Morris on a blind pass from John Wall. Morris with a slam. Everybody thought that he was looking for Beal. The Washington Wizards down by as many as 16 come from behind to knock off the Nets. Led by the electrifying John Wall. Washington 118, Brooklyn 113. With defense the name of the game, Washington used pressure and timely steals to take down the Nets last night in Brooklyn. Orlando has played Stingy D to win three of their last four on the road. Wiz look to solve the magic on CSN. Next. Hook shot is a beauty. Bismack Miambo, who they signed in July after he played last year in Toronto. Big deal for him too. Four years, 75 mil. A high energy player, not known for his offense, but that was a quality move. Otto Porter with a quality move, and he knocks that down. He thought he got hit on the hand as well by Gordon. Fournier off the screen, and that's a little short. Fournier's, Seven to two. Fournier has not shot well in the two the first two games against the Wizards. A lot of that dude with Bradley Beal's defense. Nice play from John Wall. John had a big game last night with 25 points. He was 10 of 19 from the field. Wall again penetrates for Gortat, throws it up and he went. What a shot. He was coming down. He was. Didn't know exactly when John was going to release that. He's on the move. That's where he's best. I'm glad he didn't try and throw that one down like he did the first attempt. Gortat, he would play again. Wizards were down by seven. They've come back to cut it to one. And again, they have a chance to cut the lead. And they do. By John, using that strength and size. Motor by Wall is a beauty. Boy, that's the shot I think he just needs to perfect, and he'll be unstoppable. You know, it's interesting, guys, talking to Scott Brooks about it today, and he mentioned he had some film study with Bradley Beal last week where he actually showed Brad instances where he could be like a Clay Thompson in terms of the way he can catch and shoot. And he said, listen, with his speed and his footwork, he has the ability to do something just like that. How many times do you think you touched the basketball that night when you went off for 53? You know, I I don't think players really think about some of the analytic uh, numbers that are put out there, especially somebody as old as me. You're used to the black and white of the game. The question was the game. Right. Russell Westbrook getting his triple-double, not Russell Westbrook averaging triple-double for the year. The right. question was, what was more impressive, his triple-double last night 
You mean just that particular game or the fact that's, that he's done it six I... times in a row? Ball back into the Wizards for Gortat. They find Kelly Oubre Jr. Might have rushed it a tad. But John Wall is there on the Gortat slap back. And Wall connects on a three. I mean, you're a great announcer. I just would have liked to see you do some of the weapons. Well, we have CSN Doppler 9000 at CSN. I don't know if you know that. I might go over there and just fiddle with that for a while. Knocked away from behind by Wall. John down court. Pretty close. Example of him loving to finish with that left hand, even though he's on the right side of the floor. Just a long stride that John has. It's a three-point field goal, and Frank Vogel will take a timeout. Wall around a screen from Morris with five to shoot. John drives, left hand, beautiful play. Oh, if he crosses that ball over and gets two hands on it, he probably gets it blocked, but the fact that he kept that momentum going with that left hand on the left side. John pulls the trigger and hits a three. Job. They fought for that stop and got it. Wall takes another long shot and hits again. John Wall three-pointer. That's his fourth of the game. He's four of six from long range. And Wall has 32 points. Wall for three. And he got hit by Peyton. And if he's behind that line, he's going to get three shots at the line. Makes two of three as the Wizards cut it to 13. Wizards will have tomorrow off and play the Denver Nuggets here on Thursday as John Wall gets two more. Give him 36, a season high. Wall drives for his short jumper that's good. 38 points for John Wall. And again, the Wizards cut it to 10. Some of those were just an extra effort play. Not just scoring, but like you said, being in the right place at the right time. Take advantage of the rebound. Oh, God, shooting that three well. How about that? John Wall, 41 points in the game. And he is 5 of 7 from three-point range. Neal racing the other way. Nice moves. Can't find an opening. Wall thought about it. Now Bradley launches a three and connects. Wall drives and scores. 43 points for Wall. Again, his career high is 47. Good job there. He gets two more, 45 points. It's his third 40-point game of his career. Ball is fouled. Score the field goal. He'll go to the line. He has tied his career high with 47 points. And there it is, a new career high for John Wall with 48 points in the game. Two and a half to play. And knocked away, Pink not happy with a call by Trey Maddox. 49 points in the game for John Wall. 122 to 108 with two minutes to play. John Wall is headed back to the line where he can get to the half century. He's got 49 points in the game, new career high. There you go, 50 point game for John. Wall drives underneath, contact. John will go back to the line. 52 points in the game for John Wall as the Wizards fall to 7 and 13 on the year, 5 and 6 at home. Orlando improves to 10 and 12 overall, 6 and 6 on the road. With defense the name of the game, Washington used pressure and timely steals to take down the Nets last night in Brooklyn. Orlando has played Stingy D to win three of their last four on the road. Wiz look to solve the magic on CSN next. Hook shot is a beauty. Bismack Biombo, who they signed in July after he played last year in Toronto. Big deal for him, too. Four years, 75 mil. He's a high-energy player, not known for his offense, but that was a quality move. Otto Porter with a quality move, and he knocks that down. He thought he got hit on the hand as well by Gordon. Fournier off the screen, and that's a little short. Seven to two. Fournier has not shot well in the two the first two games against the Wizards. How did that do with Bradley Beal's defense? Nice play from John Wall. John had a big game last night with 25 points. He was 10 of 19 from the field. 
Ball again, penetrates for Gortat, throws it up and he wins. What a shot. He was coming down. He was. Didn't know exactly when John was going to release that. He's on the move. That's where he's best. I'm glad he didn't try and throw that one down like he did the first attempt. Gortat, good play again. Wizards were down by seven. They've come back to cut it to one, and again, they have a chance to cut the lead. And they do. By John, using that strength and size. Motor by Wall is a beauty. Boy, that's the shot I think he just needs to perfect, and he'll be unstoppable. You know, it's interesting, guys, talking to Scott Brooks about it today, and he mentioned he had some film study with Bradley Beal last week where he actually showed Brad instances where he could be like a Clay Thompson in terms of the way he can catch and shoot. And he said, listen, with his speed and his footwork, he has the ability to do something just like that. How many times do you think you touched the basketball that night when you went off for 53? You know, I, I don't think players really think about some of the analytic uh, numbers that are put out there, especially somebody as old as me. You're used to the black and white of the game. The question was the game. Right. Russell Westbrook getting his triple-double, not West, Russell Westbrook averaging triple-double for the year. The right. question was, what was more impressive, his triple-double last night? You mean just that particular game or the fact that's, that he's done it six I, times in a row? Ball back into the Wizards for Gortat. They find Kelly Oubre Jr. Might have rushed it a tad. But John Wall is there on the Gortat slap back, and Wall connects on a three. I mean, you're a great announcer. I just would have liked to see you do some of the weapons. Well, we have CSN Doppler 9000 at CSN. I don't know if you know that. I might go over there and just fiddle with that for a while. Knocked away from behind by Wall. John down court. Pretty close. Example of him loving to finish with that left hand, even though he's on the right side of the floor. Just those long strides that John has. It's a three-point field goal, and Frank Vogel will take a timeout. Wall around a screen for Morris with five to shoot. John drives, left hand, beautiful play. Well, he crosses that ball over and gets two hands on it. He probably gets it blocked, but the fact that he kept that momentum going with that left hand on the left side. John pulls the trigger and hits a three. Job. They fought for that stop and got it. Wall takes another long shot and hits again. John Wall three-pointer. That's his fourth of the game. He's four of six from long range. And Wall has 32 points. Wall for three. And he got hit by Peyton. And if he's behind that line, he's going to get three shots at the line. Makes two of three as the Wizards cut it to 13. Wizards will have tomorrow off and play the Denver Nuggets here on John. Thursday as John Wall gets two more. Give him 36, a season high. Wall drives for his short jumper that's good. 38 points for John Wall. And again, the Wizards cut it to 10. Some of those were just an extra effort play. Not just scoring, but like you said, being in the right place at the right time. Take advantage of some rebounds. Oh, John shooting that three well. How about that? John Wall, 41 points in the game. And he is 5 of 7 from three-point range. Beal racing the other way. Nice moves. Can't find an opening. Wall thought about it. Now Bradley launches a three and connects. Wall drives and scores. 43 points for Wall. Again, his career high is 47. Good job there. Gets two more, 45 points. It's his third 40-point game of his career. Ball is fouled. Score the field goal. He'll go to the line. He has tied his career high with 47 points. And there it is, a new career high for John Wall with 48 points in the game. Two and a half to play. And it knocked away. Kate not happy with a call by Trey Maddox. 49 points in the game for John Wall. 122 to 108 with two minutes to play. John Wall is headed back to the line where he can get to the half century. He's got 49 points in the game. New career high. There you go. 50 point game for John. Wall drives underneath. Contact. John will go back to the line. 52 points in the game for John Wall. 
as the Wizards fall to 7-13 on the year, 5-6 at home. Orlando improves to 10-12 overall, 6-6 six six on the road. Our nation's capital is where the Bucks will play the second of a back-to-back -back and propose a bill to rebound from a tough loss last night as they'll face the Washington Wizards in the first of four meetings this season. Washington controlling the opening tap. The Wizards beat Denver here on Thursday, 92 to 85. The Bucks have to protect the paint tonight. John Wall shows them why. Nobody in the middle, they work the perimeter. Jabari Parker finds an open space. Pass ahead. Beal Valley was fouled on the bus down. Delavadova tries to stay in front of John Wall. That's too strong. Knocked out by Gortat. Fresh 24. Another great pass underneath for Marquise Morris. You know, watching John Wall, he just has terrific vision. Averaged over 10 assists a game last year. How about that? Otto Porter hits the jump shot. That ended a 10-0 Bucks run. Crossover drive and score John Wall. Giannis throws it up. It doesn't go down. Rebounded by Marquise Morris. And here's John Wall again. All he saw was green jersey bucks. So he dumps it to Gortat. John Wall. And he can get to the basket. The reverse is good. John Wall rolls on. Not a good decision by Giannis. Jim kind of forced that pass on the inbound. John Wall drive. He kicks it out for Marquise Morris right through the bottom. Washington has played 12 home games, Marcus. They have alternated victories and losses in all 12. And according to that, they are due for a loss. That's a three from the corner. Otto Porter. Kelly Oubre Jr. got some help. John Wall, he picked it. Wall scores. That three is good. John Wall. Kelly Oubre Jr. answers the three by Giannis, and the game is tied again. Great idea. Through the hands of the Moose, John Wall drives Tony Snell to the rim. Lone opportunity, and that time you, you saw Moose ball in the air. He took his eyes off to look at the basket, try and locate the defensive player, didn't see it into his hands. John Wall puts Washington at 97. Three-point game. Gortat will come up to, well, he looked like he was going to set a screen. Now he does on Della Vadova, and there's a lot of contact there. Wall takes it in. To score off the glass. Look at John Wall. John Wall's not, not settling for any kind of sidestep, step back. He's going to the bucket. The Bucks led 100 to 95 with 428 to play. The closing run for the Wizards, 15 to 5, and they win by 5, 110 to 105. The Bucks 11 and 11 with the loss. Washington improves. To nine and 13. After playing 10 of their last 13 games on the road, the Heat returns to Miami tonight and begin the season's longest homestand. It's the Heat and the Wizards in the second of their four meetings this season, and we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us. Hassan Whiteside, who had 18 points and 18 rebounds against Gortat in Washington. But lately, it's been harder to come by for Hassan. During the last three games, he's shooting just 42% from the field. The teams are really zeroing in on Whiteside as he rolls to the rim. Meanwhile, John Wall zeroing in on everyone. He's averaging a career best, 23 and a half points a game. Whiteside by Gortat, what a pretty play. First score for the great wall of Whiteside, and John Wall with a very quick response. Ah, the Heat perimeter players fell asleep there. You got to guard the backcourt. A force three popped out. Now in and out. That was Gortat's first rebound. Wall getting a second try. John Wall and Bradley Beal picking up where they left off. They both scored 34 in the first matchup against Miami. They've combined for 10 of Washington, actually 12 of Washington's first 15 points. Wall on the move with the ball like a force of nature. Good challenge by Whiteside. Good shot by Gortat. Here's James Johnson on the attack. Rolls in. So he leaned into Gortat, so Gortat couldn't extend his arm and block it. Two scores in a row for Johnson. Tony, you can see the Wizards like up tempo. They very quickly get it across, and John Wall drops in a triple. 
talk about his improved shooting. 28 threes on 36%. Eric Reed, Tony Fiorentino, Jason Jackson, Christian Ewing, and the Fox Sports Sun crew welcome you back. Bradley Beal back in the ball game. He had 11 in the first quarter. He has 14 now. That's a wall, and uh, it's a Beal and Dragic shootout. And John Wall's getting into the act uh, in all ways. Wall with 11 will go to the free throw line. Whiteside had a guard on him. Dragic drills the three. Goran Dragic now with 18 in the first half. How consistent has he been with the J? Well, Dragic 8 for 13. Morris underneath and a beautiful pass from John Wall. Oh, that was pinpoint. John Wall finger rolling at home. Ellington short from through. Somebody may have gotten a piece of that. Whiteside 10 points, 10 rebounds. That's his 18th double-double of the season, which puts him in third place in the NBA in that regard. Oh, what a smooth turnaround from John Wall, who now has 16. Even at 73, Otto Porter drills a triple. Otto Porter with five points. Wall's pull up, perfect. John Wall painting a masterpiece here in Miami. 21 points. Wall gets in. The over the head move, and he tipped it home. John Wall now with 23. Miami up 96 to 90. And that counts for John Wall plus the foul on James Johnson. Boy, that's a play that defenders always look to the official because John Wall jumped into James Johnson. John Wall coming right at Tyler Johnson. Put it in. Made that look easy. John Wall plays it in. Got a step on Tyler Johnson. A wall with 30. Now tip your hat to Goran Dragic and Miami. They end their five-game losing streak. They get their third win of the season at home. And they take a 2-0 lead in the season series against the Wizards with the next two matchups coming in April. A chill is in the air in downtown D.C. Verizon Center set to host the next three straight games as CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz get their first look this season at Kemba Walker and the 14-11 and 11 Charlotte Hornets. For the Hornets, uh, the third wheel of this team, Marvin Williams, he constantly does a lot of the dirty work in there, but last year was their leading rebounder. This year, still doing the things defensively. Also 35-3 for Washington. They have to value every possession. They and this team does not turn the ball over very much. And I'll tell you something else they do. They have their opponents attempting more threes than any other team, and that's something that scares me with Washington. Sometimes they can fall in love with those three-pointers. Nicholas Batum, who signed a five-year, $120 million contract. Yeah, didn't waste much time. Uh, knew, seemed like he knew all along he wanted to stay with his team. Excellent look from Wall to Gortat. Wall John gets his first assist. Chased down by Porter with Wall. Nice pass, beautiful look by John Wall. Well, he got by that first defender. That left Zeller to defend the basket against three, and I think John knew that he had Porter coming along his left side. So nice assist, number two for John. Wall off the glass, that stops a 6-0 Hornets run. Wall, nice pass. Spread the defense out, and then all of a sudden, guys just sprayed, and that left Kelly underneath by himself. Good patient play by John Wall. Picks up his third assist. Would I, uh, would I be the center position? Wonderful. Uh -huh. <laughs> with those, with that four. <laughs> I'd rather referee. Wall's short jumper is good. Knocked away. The Wizards get. The ball forcing another turnover. Wall is fouled. Tucks it up. He wanted it and didn't get it. Boy, he had to float to the other side. That was going to be a difficult shot. He had hands coming from all angles on him. Still, no one could get a piece of it. Here's Beal, and he finally gets his first field goal in seven attempts. It's a good one. Yeah. Battling with Walker on a baseline shot. Collision and Gortat's going to chase it down. Two guys are on the floor, Walker and Porter. Oubre shoots and connects with a three. Boy, did you see those guys? I, I did. Butt heads? Porter and Porter and Walker. I think I get the impression Walker thought that uh, he was going to get that call. Yeah, I do too. Knocked away by Wall. 
He's running down court with Zeller. Puts it up and in, and the Wizards have cut it to two, and Clifford calls time. Boy, just like that. Two threes and that layup after the turnover. Remember, this team, the Hornets, number two and fewest turnovers. Right now, they have 12, and Washington has 17 points off of them. Taken away. Wall, Oubre, pass to Kelly, another assist for John Wall. Boy, a nice unselfish play by John. Drew the defender to him like he was going to go for the layup, and then dumped it off. And with that steal, John Wall has just tied the late Greg Ballard for the lead in franchise steals. Wall knocks it away from behind. That's another steal, and that's going to give him the all-time franchise lead. The alley-oop at the other end for Porter. Wow. And how about that series? Wall with a steal, the transition, the pass, and the two. And Washington has its largest lead of eight. John Wall with that steal has become the all-time franchise leader in career steals in Washington. Wall lays it up and in quickly to the basket. 18 points and 8 assists for John Wall. Jason Smith, how good has he been? Well, he has been exceptionally good. Wall drives, contact, no call. Gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. And there's some words between Wall and Bellinelli. Walker around the screen, lost it, Wall has it, and then he's tripped and fouled by Hibbert. That is John Wall's seventh steal of the game. Six to shoot, pulls the trigger, bam, basket by John Wall. Wall drives, contact, scores! Well, there was a lot of contact in the air. Great recovery by John in the air after the contract. Able to recover and put it in off the glass. The tomb will try to tie it. He missed it. Rebounds on the floor. Balls down. Kemba Walker backs up. He shoots. And missed it wow. at the buzzer. Oh, oh, oh. That thing was in mm. and out. And the Wizards hang on. For a three-point win against Charlotte. Holiday hustle and bustle to start the weekend down at Verizon Center. Cold night, but some hot deals across the street at the Shopping Bazaar. And inside at the arena, CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz look for their fourth win in the last five games as they meet Andre Drummond and the 14 and 13 Detroit Pistons. 5.40 to go first quarter. Wall down the lane, great pass for Porter. You notice how quickly Porter got that ball to the glass. Somebody, I think it was Reggie Jackson, was going after the block. You know, Buck, one of the things I remember about Sagers is something that you pointed out to me, and that was Hank Aaron's uh, uh, home run. Breaking right. record. Record-breaking home run. And he was out there on the field congratulating. And it, I mean, I guess you're not supposed to do that. But well, again, it says something about the passion. Tough shot. Stanley Johnson's in the game for Detroit. Here's Burke again. This time Wall will try a three, and he's got it. His first field goal in six attempts is a good one, a long one. Good set up by Trey Burke there. We haven't seen Trey and John in the backcourt very often together. Wall. Plenty of time for him. Goes coast to coast and slams it in. Doesn't take long, does it? No, it doesn't. Blink of an eye, John Wall. Peel. Wall open for three. Got it. It's his second of the game. And a good look from his backcourt mate. All right, Wizards with another opportunity to take a 10-point lead or more. This would be for the 10-point lead, but Porter is short. Slap back by Gortat. Beal for the long shot that's good. And the lead like is 11. Quick reaction by John Wall. As soon as it touched his hand, he swung it over to Brad. Wizards are 8 of 11 in the quarter, make it 9 of 12. Well, Gortat released just at the right time. John Wall is going to have to shoot a very awkward shot. Wall pumps in his third three of the half. Wall drives, bumps, shoots, and he'll draw the foul and go to the line with four seconds on the clock. Wall stops for his jumper. Good. I saw that coming. Showtime as Wall went up and just let it bounce in. Wow. 
He's got a smile on his face. I don't know if he was trying to slam it or just let it dribble in, but it's two any way you count it. Loved his life. He loved his wife. He loved his family, and he loved every second he was alive. Well, I was sharing the story about every All-Star game, it seems, for the past three or four years I'd see him, and he would just always have an encouraging word. So for me, much respect to Craig. Rest easy. You know how I feel about you. Wall for three. How do you like that? Remain, remains perfect on all four of his threes. Smith hesitates. Curls underneath. It's knocked away from Baines. Now Lure has it. And that's picked off. So Wall gets Easily. his third steal of yeah. the quarter. Beal into the paint. Lays it up and in. Boy, even then, Beal did a good job of pushing that ball in front of him. As Caldwell Pope tried to reach around from the backside. That's what you have to do. Push that ball away so they can't reach from the backside. Wall making a move. Takes the jump shot that's off the glass and in, like we said. When it's going right, it's going right. Shot clock is off. Here's Wall to try to finish the quarter in a spinning move, and he's fouled on the play with two and a half seconds to go. Otto for Wall. Wall drives for marching inside on a great pass and two Boy, points. And they needed that. They need to kind of break this string by Detroit. They've come down, scored quickly, and scored easily. Beal on a little step back. <laughs> Again, just so, sometimes when things are going well, every decision you make is right and so precise, and that made uh, Bradley made that look so easy. Wall whips the pass to Porter. Otto got another one. Washington, all five starters in double figures. The eighth time this season that's happened, and that's the tops in the NBA. Good win. Good win indeed as the fans come to their feet. Washington victorious 122 to 108 as they improve to 11 and 14 overall, 9 and 6 here at home. There's the Bulls home, the United Center. And the temperature is a little warmer than they were the last time we talked. It's the Bulls and the Washington Wizards. The Bulls come in at 14 and 13. The Wizards at 12 and 15. The Bulls coming off perhaps their most impressive win of the year. It was a big time game a, from start to finish by the Bulls against the Detroit Pistons. He pass Butler and back out and that's picked off by John Wall. Wall flashes up the left side, kicks it out and the three is buried. You've got to, you've got to eliminate turnovers, especially those kind of turnovers right there. Jimmy got himself up under the basket, nowhere to go with that ball. Maybe should have just dribbled it back out if he didn't have the shot. Wall to his right, cranks one cross court, and the jumper is good, it's a two. 12-11, Bulls by one as we seesaw back and forth. Out of the corner, and that's rattled down by Porter. Driving Wall, shot up and good. That's, he just used his speed there. Well, Cristiano Felicio that time, he's got to see that. Here's Wall at the other end. He bounces one gently off the rim. Wall, with that speed, he's right on in. See how easy that is? You, you've got to play him differently. Dude. You've got to play him very similar to Damon Lillard. Same thing you have the way you play him against Russell Westbrook. He is too fast out there to give him that much room to operate. Butler, who turns through the traffic, got it to Lopez, raked away by Morris. He's tripped. Wall with it. Wall's on the run. He shuttles nice. and the layup. Nice good. play. And see, they're starting to play faster now. There's Wade posted again. Backs in and uh, clears his dribble out. Turns the fadeaway is short. And uh, off of Lopez, and it rolled right to the Wizards. Here comes Wall. Gallup, and he got it to go. Oh, what an acrobatic you. shot that was. I tell you, he's, he's like Russell Westbrook when it comes to end-to-end -to -end speed. Outside Wade, that won't fall. Gortat with it ahead to Beal. Here he comes again. Centers it to Wall, back to Beal. Stops and pops and bingo. Ooh. I tell you, fast break they got back in this game quick. Butler all the way in, short. Rebound, Here lead pass ahead. Collected by Wall, Ooh. and he stuffs it home with a left hand. A timeout, Fred Hoiberg. There's Wall, circling. And he drops it in, Gortat finishes it.
But John Wall did a good job that time letting that play develop. They were able to get 13 fast break points in the second quarter. They have 18 for the game, so five in the first quarter. And that's why they were able to get back in that game. Wartot got one up at the baseline. He's been very good for them. Ten points in the game. Wall trying to turn the corner. Little jumper is good. And that's where he's really gotten yes. better, that yeah, mid-range game. Back to Rondo, and that's off target. And ahead it comes. Walls and a foot race. Oh, oh wow. wow. That speed kills. Oh, Jimmy's not slow. And he accelerated away from Jimmy. Short. Rebound tap. No. Morris with it. And ahead it comes. They drop it off, and the layup is good for Wall. Oh, my goodness. As they got down there in a hurry. 32 fast break points. Wall. Oh, he flashed down the lane. Shovel the door tied up and scored. The Bulls have not been able to keep John Wall in front oh, of him. I mean, he just, they have he not been able to keep him in front. He has been able to get to wherever he wants to on the floor. He's a blur. I mean, 20 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds. Oh, and he dives and knocked that into the backcourt from Rondo. And Wall holds against Rajon. Wall accelerates again. Off balance. Runner oh, goes. Man. And that'll force a timeout from Fred Hoiberg. A 10-point Wizards lead. Their largest of the game. Wall's going to trot it into the front court and wind the clock all the way down. And the Wizards will have upended the Bulls 107 to 97 here at the United Center. A well-deserved day of rest for the federal government as our nation celebrates this holiday weekend and for the pros up the street at Verizon Center it's time to get back to work as CSN brings you Wizards basketball tonight the start of three straight at home and a chance for revenge against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the 14 and 14 Milwaukee Bucks Porter checks the line, fires for three, and it's good. And Washington cuts it to one. Just get the feeling Otto Porter knows where to go in transition, whether it's a quick transition or kind of a delayed transition. He's going to spot up in those corners. Four points for Tedekampo, and the Wizards answer with a three-pointer. Wall challenges, kicks it out. Beal's jumper, and that one he's got. Again, His first field goal is a good one, a three-pointer. You get people running with John Wall, you're going to get a lot of good looks, and that's just what Bradley Beal's been doing. That one goes down for him. Oubre on the floor. Wall has it for Porter. A little look away from John Wall. Sets up Otto Porter. Gore tap, but the pass was tipped away, and Washington turns it over. Miss on the slam attempt by Parker. Knocked away. Wizards come up with it. Parker had it swatted away. That was Porter that got a hand in there. Wall spinning. Pass inside for Morris and a great look by Wall. Porter. Two-pointer for Otto Porter who's 7 of 11 from the field has 16 points. Wall trying to get two back, and he does. Porter, the open shot, give the assist to Wall. And the Wizards well, with an opportunity to tie or take the lead. <laughs> Porter does give Washington the lead by one. Wall drives, gets a screen from Gortat, and lays it in. Well, Della Vadova was giving him that lane, expecting help, but John made the quick decision. The defense couldn't cover up in time. Wall gets it right back. John Wall is three points away from a double-double. He's got seven and ten assists. Gortat on a good pass from Wall. The lefty jumper is good. Good play by Beal. Here's Wall with Della Vadova. Challenges him and scores. Thinking there's contact. He's shaking his head coming up the court. Wall driving around Monroe. Lays it up and in to cut it to two. Well, that was a beautiful move.
Nice pass. Porter drives. No call, and he scores. Well, great body control. Even with the contact, he was able to readjust in the air and get that soft drop. Two-second difference between the clocks. Wall drives, puts up the shot, and missed it. Gets his own rebound and scores. Well, we started to see a lot of that from John Wall. The quick reaction on his own missed shot and the easy putback. Here's Wall. Makes a move, a little contact, and he scores. Boy, well, he shot that right in the face of Greg Monroe. Wizards needed that field goal in the worst way. Otto Porter with his third three-pointer of the game. Finally a miss by Beasley. They were fortunate there. They've got to start contesting these shots a little bit heavier. Beal drops one in. So Porter gets his fourth three-pointer of the game. Bradley Beal gets his second. Wizards are 10 and 6 here at home. Wall drives, backs up with a jumper. Got it. Well, that was a beautiful play. He really wanted to turn the corner and go in. Monroe stepped over to cut him off, but that's the difference of being under control. John able to pull up for the jumper. Boy, it was 96-92 for a long time. Beal gets an open look, drains it. Boy, that was set up beautifully. Timing and everything. Wall, Morris baseline, beautifully done. And the Wizards have come back to take the lead as Jason Kidd calls timeout. Snell will try again, miss that one, and that is your ball game. The Wizards rebound and get revenge following a devastating loss to this team Friday night in Milwaukee. Middle of the holiday week in D.C. and a tall task in front of the boys tonight at Verizon Center where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. The streak continues at the phone booth. DC looks for its seventh straight win here this evening with a chance for revenge against Paul George and the 15 and 17 Indiana Pacers. Swing it wide open as Thaddeus Young. The Wizards come away with it. Here's Wall quickly down court. Tough to miss him tonight with those shoes on. Takes the jumper from 15 and got it. They swing it to the open man. And John pulls down the rebound. Wall down court. For Beal in the corner. But that was all trust. He was kind of running out of space. Trusted that his teammate Bradley Beal was going to be in the corner. He was. It led to the three. And the steal on the inbound. John Wall second in the league in steals to only Chris Paul. Wall in traffic. Baseline shot. Beauty. Jason Smith. Was that a three? That was a three. Has to be his first we've seen him hit this year. Wall drives. Lays it up and in. Oh, I love it when he gets low like that and powers through defenders on his way to the basket. Morris inside. I like the way he established that uh, position and didn't give it up. Kept that right foot in there and this power through one of the uh, Pacers on. They whip it around to the open shooter. It's Thaddeus Young. He shoots an air ball. It's saved in right to wall. Two on one for Beal who lays it in. Using his body as a shield. Boy, I like that decision. I thought for a minute John was going to try and throw the lob, and that's difficult to execute sometimes. That was the simple play there. Wall for Gortat. John for three. Nothing but net. Always have to respect that speed of John Wall. So Thaddeus Young took a step back and gave John Wall a clear look. Wall for his fadeaway. Score the field goal. He'll go to the line. Gortat misses the free throw. That's knocked into the air by Wall, and the Wizards get it back. He'll take a long shot and hit it. Wow. A three-pointer for John Wall. And it gives Washington the lead by 12. Keith Morris for three, and that's no good. And the Wizards get another one. This time it's Porter who sets for three, and he delivers. Nathan Millen very happy. Three different attempts, two offensive rebounds that time for Washington. Ball. Splitting defenders for Gortat inside of the slam. Boy, that was a great effort by John Wall. The spin move, and while he was spin spinning, he split two defenders. 
and got the assist to Marcin Gortat. Short shot by Keith Morris. Pacers get two off of that turnover. Pacers miss an easy shot at the basket. And well so four unanswered for the Wizards. Wall drives with a left hand that rolls in. What a great play to switch hands. To switch hands, the defender has to come through and across the body to even challenge that shot. John's fadeaway is good. Wall takes another jumper and hits again. 23 points for John Wall. Wall, four seconds. Pulls up for the jumper. Got it! With two and a half seconds to play. Porter, long three is good. It's kind of interesting with that slow start. Porter now one away from another 20-point game. Wall dribbles between defenders. Drives the lane up and in! With 39.9 seconds to play, the Wall Star knocks down a huge basket to give Washington a seven-point lead. Eight seconds to go, and the Washington Wizards have even the season series at one apiece. They have won their seventh consecutive game at Verizon Center. A little taste of winter fell on the DMV today. Won't be long before this pool freezes over. But down the street at Verizon Center, things are blazing. That's where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz look for their eighth straight win at home, taking on Trevor Booker and the 8-23 and Brooklyn Nets. Wall, Porter. Still, he has continued to just amaze us. Inside to Booker with Otto on him. He missed it and quarter the rebound. Good set up by John. Looked like he was going to swing it across court and then quickly led Markeith to that open basket. Another assist for John. Good steal. Bogdanovich, he can shoot lights out. He missed that one. Wall pulls up for that jumper. Well, that has been his bread and butter. Booker left alone. He fires up and misses. <laughs> Did you see Thornton push that guy down? I thought I saw that. Wall again. Got it. This one's a three. Wall gets the steal. And wait. What a pass for Porter. And he scores. That pass had to be absolutely perfect. The bounce pass lead from John Wall. I like the way he wheeled around as he made the pass. He, he was measuring it, saw just how he could get that pass through. Here's Lopez again with Gortat on him. And Gortat did a good job guarding him. Wall flying down the court. Scoring. And the Wall star to the line. Five minutes to play in the half. Wall for Burke. He'll try another one and get another one. Oh, he's just not missing, is he? Oh, yeah. Terrific pass. And Keith with a flush. Blocked inside. Here's Gortat. It's either Porter or Jason Smith. Wall kicks it out to the hot hand. And he drills another. Wall pulls the trigger and knocks it down. Well, he took the last one away from him with the off, with the blocking call. Burke for the long three. Can you believe that? Seven for seven from the field. Four for four from three-point range. Wall dazzles the crowd and knocks down another shot. Oh, it's six of eight shooting by John Wall. Wall for Gortat. John Wall gets his ninth assist. Of course, against Indiana, he was one away from a triple double. I get to be in this, in the, in this movie playing Joe Busby, the guy that signed him and put him in the group. Um, and it's, it's when I say it's awesome, it's awesome. Listen, Buckerfield, I go all the way back with Johnny. Perfect combination. 
back in the day, great hey, song. Where's Stacy Lattisaw? Uh, Phil want to know where's Stacy Lattisaw? Not in my pocket. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Guys, we'll send it back to you again with the legendary Johnny Kill, Quicksilver, and Tank. Don't forget the new edition special coming on BET. January 24th, 25th, and 26th. Three days. Three days. Two hours. Two hours. Guys, back to you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Wall for Gortat for the short jumper. Good. And John racking up the assist. That's assist number 12. alley -oop. Good pass again. Wall to Morris. Wall picks it off the glass. And they say it's a clean block. Wall drives and slams it in with a left hand over Hamilton. Burke catch off the screen and he hits another pretty jumper. He is 9 of 10 from the field. What a performance yeah. for Michigan's Trey Burke. Wiz improved to 16 and 16 on the year, 13 and 6 at home. The Nets fall to 8 and 24, 1 and 16 on the road. The start of that 11 game stretch is at American Airlines Center tonight. The 16 and 17 Washington Wizards visit the 10 and 24 Dallas Mavericks. Now here's Wall. Picked up by Benny Smith, able to stay in front of the change of direction. Now the screen will help Wall get some space, goes to the baseline, hits a fadeaway. Uh, just not a lot of answers for a guy with that ability to step back. Marquis Morris has four points after that play. Defense not up. Defense was up there, but no call on the midcourt collision between Wall and Williams, and it ends with Porter, who is a fantastic shooter, twos or threes, and he drains that corner three. Talk a lot about taking the shot that's there, that's presented to you. When you don't, that's when the late clock occurs as Porter knocks down a three. You know what he did? He took the shot that was presented to him. <laughs> and now Harris will walk it into a long two, and nothing but that sweet sound of string music. You know, when you can get the same result, Back-to-back -back situations, that's pretty special. No, oh, John Wall. That was special, too. That yes, it was. Outrageous. Chance for a three the hard way. Jackson made two free throws a moment ago. He's 5 for 5 at the line in his short NBA career. He just got stuffed, though, by John Wall rising up for a jump shot. John Wall with a fancy finish. Well, he used his body well that time to shield Bogan off. Remember Hard that. to put this team away. Excuse me, Mark. This Washington team very... Explosive offensively as you're witnessing right now when guys can do things like that like John Wall Beal spinning shooting and hitting from the elbow nine nothing run. This is the backcourt of the Wizards right now That's starting to uh, Put their imprint on the uh, game right now league leader in steals John Wall forces one and scores with a foul just like that, they're right back in this game. The three-time All-Star, John Wall, this year is averaging a career high in points, in steals per game, and his best field goal percentage and best free throw percentage of his career, which started when he was the number one pick in 2010. Williams takes it right into the teeth of the defense. The Wizards are in her attack mode. They're going to shoot a pull-up three. It's Wall. It's good. Holding for the last. Force him to shoot a perimeter shot and live with that. They go pick and roll. It's another chance for the three-point play at the end of the quarter. Wall did the same thing at the end of the first. You could go to him and force feed him a little bit more than Dallas is doing right now. Outstanding lob that time to Morris. An outstanding finish by Morris and Wall's fifth assist to the game. If the streaks are good enough, you can still shoot a high percentage, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. If the good ones are long enough or the bad ones are short enough. <laughs> Well, tonight it's a bad one. Yep. And uh, that 39% is not where he is right now. Wall with 22 points, his first point to the second half when he just made a foray into the paint for three. Marcus Thornton. That he can do, catch and shoot the basketball. Barnes against Wall, the Wall very good defensively, poked the ball away. Curry Look at that. off the glass. No, right at the end of the clock. Or top with a nice outlet pass. Numbers developing. Wow, Wall of Beal. Gonna get it for a technical, hanging on the rim. Assistant athletic trainer Deion Calhoun is looking at it. For the fourth time tonight, John Wall can record a three-point play. 
Still have three minutes to go. Yeah. The lead is narrowed to seven. Big, big shot by Mr. Barr. Wall in the paint. And 2017, the Mavericks open up the new year with a victory. 113-105 at home against the Wizards. Well, it was a combination of guys that, that really helped Dallas down the stretch. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, just a couple of weeks away from welcoming its newest tenant. Meantime, 10 blocks down the road, another house that's been mighty formidable. Verizon Center, where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz look for their ninth straight win in this building, taking on Carl Anthony Towns and the 11-24 and Minnesota Timberwolves. Brings Jason Smith into the game. Taking nothing away from Jason, but uh, boy, you got to have your big guns. And you're going against a guy like Towns. Wizards get the yeah. steal. Wall with a nice pass to Porter. Beautifully done. Well, that was kind of a difficult pass to handle. John putting a little spin on it, and it was behind Porter, but Porter made it look easy. Caught it in stride and took it in. Towns drives, and that one gets blocked by something or someone. Yeah, Jason Smith was there. I, I agree with it. It looked like the rim may have blocked it. Beal gets the pass from Wall and connects on a fabulous look from John Wall. Wall, Beal, Smith, Nicholson, and Porter for Washington. John drives. Switches to the left hand and bounces it in. He switched to the left because Cat was in front of him. So now Cat has to come back through the body to try and challenge the shot. Wisely didn't try and do that. John, a beautiful two. Cross court for Porter. Steps back for three and gets it. Boy, good read by John. He saw that weak side defender cheating towards Bradley. So he skipped the pass to Porter in the corner and led to another assist. Zach Levine has missed all eight of his shots so far in this game. Screen roll for Gortat. And he slams it down. Well, it's all, always such a beautiful play. The bounce back pass that leads to an easy two. Five to shoot. Wall hesitates, puts up the jumper way short. Porter gets the rebound. They'll have another chance. Great pass to Gortat for the slam. <laughs> Watch how quick that left hand reacts to the opening. Look away, but right on the money to march in Gortat. Into the corner, Porter pulls up for a long three, and he's got it. Well, again, catching his defender. This place is Wiggins a little bit too far away from Otto Porter. Wiggins could recover. It's another three for Otto. Towns, little contact with Gortat, no call. Wall quickly with Porter on his left, Beal on his right. Bradley's long three is good. Timeout, Minnesota. Oh, what a pass. Gortat, Wall gets his 10th assist of the game. Wall, a lot of contact. Now he pushes Rubio aside. Two up and really getting physical. Porter catches for his long ball. It's good. How about his oh, shooting? It's funny. Both teams have come down and made their last, what, three or four possessions. John Wall hits a tough shot. Wall around the Gortat screen. Again, a strong effort. He got some contact by Rubio, but it never threw him off stride at all. Again, that shows not only the speed, but the strength of John Wall. Wall knocks down another, so... John Wall gets two. Kelly Oubre, along with Smith and Wall, Gortat, Sheldon McClellan here's marching inside. Well, good job, good timing. Little bit of a push off from Marching Gortat, but didn't get detected, didn't get called. And then the lead pass from John Wall, his 13th assist. Wall pass inside, give Wall his 14th assist of the night. Pretty play. Keith Morris has a nice touch. Wall for oh, Gortat. How about oh. that? At the last minute, just drew both defenders away from him. Kind of a delayed assist for John Wall. Is 16th of the game. Six to shoot. Screen for Wall. John pulls up on a jumper. Hits it. 
They're going to look at that. I think they labeled that a two, right? Call that a two. Wiggins again. Wall runs the court. Drives, contact, lays it up and in. Wiggins driving, missed it, follow no good. Porter has it. Wall, they nearly threw it away. John drives again, lays it up and in. Timeout, Minnesota. Beal, he'll shoot it. And hit it! Boy, he did just an outstanding job of setting Levine up. Coming off that pick, ready to pull the trigger on that three. Gortat lays it up and in. Off the pass by Wall. A season high, 18 assists for John Wall. The Wizards victorious. They end the game outscoring Minnesota 13-4 in the last two and a half minutes. Well, tonight in our nation's capital, the shorthanded Bulls try to find some magic somewhere. No Jimmy Butler, no D. Wade, and no Nico Miritich, as we'll see if youth can prevail tonight. It's the Bulls and the Wizards, both teams at dead on 500. There's a Michael Carter into the lane. No, and Gortat to rebound ahead of Wall. Comes with a little more speed this time, and then gave up his dribble quarter. He drains that. And Doug right there got caught trying to go underneath the screen. He's got to ride out on Porter's hip. Can't just go in and stop from the play. You got to ride him with blocking trails. Outside, Beal, and he's good. Beal from Wall. Underneath Taj, tipped away. Gortat to Wall. Gun down on the left side. Porter raises up, and he rifles one home. Side. Jumper good again, Otto Porter. And they're going at Devin Drummond. You can tell Otto Porter now, three of the last four possessions, has been the guy they went to. Jumper is finally good from outside by Perk. There's a Grant. Battles, turns, fires, missed it. Ball tapped out. He rushed that time on that. Get it to Wall. The lob and the dunk is there. You got to get back in transition now. You can't let them just get out and get run out. Now that's in one area that the Bulls had been very good in to this point. Wall darts all the way in, shot up, good, and a foul. And see, that happens sometimes. You get feeling good about yourself. There's a nice find there. Trick John Wall there. They get it to McDermott. He flips it up, missed it. And then rebound. Comes in going stronger with that. He just kind of threw it up there. Run to the corner. Shot up and good. Otto Porter. Bob down to Taj. Tipped away by Porter. Picked up by Wall. Wall comes on the run. And he is left alone and scores. Doug just Doug ran away from him. Ran and ran away. He had him. He stopped the basketball, but he just kind of turned around and said, hey, that's not my man. I'm going to go find my man. And Wall just shot a three. Bob in to Felicio. Blocked by Wall. And Wall is on the move. Corner. Beal. Drive way up there. And that's his, again, just a mistake defensively. Not knowing that Bradley Beal was over there by himself. A couple guys looked, but didn't go out and close out. Michael Carter Williams faking a drive and then threw it away. Moving back. Wall blowing in. Shot up good. It counts and a foul. And, and Robin Lopez, veteran player, he was back. He was right there. No need to foul Wall right there. He's the bigger guy. Make Wall have to shoot over him. Wall right on in. He scores. And that's a terrific drive there. Wall comes with speed. Fires the jumper. He scores again. So he's capable of turning the game around. Wall right down. Oh, that's a straight line drive as he came right down the boulevard. Morris he scores for Wall. He's had a starting in that first quarter, Neil. 
already got 10 assists right now. 14 points, 10 assists. Rondo to Doug, raises up, missed that, and a rebound to Smith. I tell you, Doug's had some open looks. Two of eight on the field, all three from the three-point line. There's Beal, and he, he, he was on miss the him. move when he caught that. Well, he will not miss those shots. You can't continue to give these guys wide open looks. Blocked. Oh, good defense by Jason Smith. Shovel the head to Wall, he bounces out. Oubre raises up, scores. And it's a three-point game. This is as close as they've been in a while. Flip back to Rondo, kicked out. Loads up Portis, missed it badly. Rebound run down by Gortat. And here comes Wall, the human fast break, and he scores. I'll tell you, when he comes at you that fast, I mean, there's really nothing you can do about it. I mean, you've got to pick him up. And we talked about that same thing with Russell Westbrook. You've got to get him before he gets going. There's a pass to the corner. Smith got it. Barry to three. That was a good find by John Wall. Again, probing the defense, getting deep into the harder lane, and then know where the shooters are. Wall raises up. He scores. He just drove right into that shot. He shot over the small Isaiah Cannon. Grant. Off the dribble, circles, runs into traffic and threw it away. And again, John Wall with the reach around, pokes the ball free. Wall along the baseline, kicked out. Morris, corner to Green's one. Marcus Morris from John Wall. 14 on the shot clock as the Wizards go to work. Wall. Drives it, falls, fires, scores. Oh, that was a tough shot. Oh, shot. Ball ball away. Away. It's going to be Wall or Beal. And they get it to Wall. He drives back out to Gortat. Oh, Knocked away, field. picked up. Now Wall, jumper in the air. Good, good shot yeah. by John Wall to tie the game. Timeout, Fred Hoiberg. Michael Carter Williams against Dubre. The drive, the shot, short, the rebound, fought for. And won by the Wizards. I oh, know, yeah, you could have got something better than that. I thought he thought he was fouled, but again, crowd rises to their feet. Wall, as they'll play for the last shot here. Brooks issues the timeout. And here comes Wall. He flashes in, hangs, fires, scores. With five seconds left, John Wall. Big time play. Off the right wing. Big time play yeah. for an all star caliber player. And we say down the stretch. We say it about our guys. And you knew it was going to be Wall or Beal or some combination. There they go. Uh, McDermott at the top. Firing. God missed it. And that's it. Game over as Wall rebounds. Three tenths of a second left. And eight tenths. Can be plenty of time in the air. They tip it. And Gortat has it. Game over. A valiant fight by a shorthanded Bulls team. Great effort. It's one of those stay inside nights in the DMV. Cold, raw, rainy. The safe haven is Verizon Center, where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz look for their 11th consecutive win at home as they take on Nerland's Noel and the 12 and 25. Philadelphia 76ers, Covington for three. Wall turns quickly. Finds Beal for the open look. And that'll be a goal yeah. 10. And will it be three or two? It's got to be three. It's still part of the shot. The ball never left the cylinder. Right, and nobody else touched it. Yeah. Wall drives, lays it up, and gets the roll. And he's fouled on the play. John Wall starting to aggressively attack the basket, and it pays off for him. John Wall connects. But if you think about what's been working so well for John lately, is early on in the game, he has been really concentrated on getting his teammates involved, getting those early assists. And then the scoring has taken over in the second half, large parts. But, I mean, he's really done a good job of getting the offense going, watching it. Only six assists on 18 made field goals. That's very uncharacteristic of them. Wall drives, goes to the hoop, slams it in. It's a one-point game. Well, he saw that opening as he's pushing the ball down fast. And they're not able to close that hole. John took full advantage. Ended up right there at the rim. 
Great shot. High off the glass. Had to go over Noel. Once again, finishing with that left hand. Back the other way. It's Wall, and the Wizards have the lead by two. We, we, we pull it the big boys. 69-62. <laughs> Wizards by seven with another opportunity to expand the lead. Mortat does, and he's fouled. Wall again launches a three and hits it. Timeout, Philadelphia. <laughs> Wall will try another. How do you like that? Oh. <laughs> Feeling it now. Heating up from long range. John Wall is three for three. Henderson drives. And Wall's there for the steal. Wall stops, waits as they can run this one out. So a terrific comeback by Washington. Down and out of it in the first quarter, down by 13. Tie it at halftime, blow them out in the third quarter, and win it going away here, 109 to 93. Wizards look to get out to a better start than they did the other night against Philadelphia where they fell behind by 13 points, had to come back in that game. A game that featured John Wall hitting three straight three-pointers that really electrified this crowd. Yeah, only fitting that Bradley Beal knocks down the first shot and John Wall backs that up with the second. Three ball is up and in from Keith Morris and a good start for the Wizards, up 7-0. Here's Beal with the open shot that's good. What a start for Washington. A 10 to nothing beginning. Swing it out. Heartless. No good. Lumley keeps it alive. Knocked away and Wall has the steal. Wall going to the glass. And he scores. Pushed from behind by Lillard. And that almost threw him off. I'm glad John was thinking lay the ball up. If he's going for the dunk, that push may have thrown him off. Yeah, and he looked right over at the official Aaron Smith to let him know. Beal off the screen. Well, he's been hot lately, Phil. Got that jumper. That stroke is a beautiful one. Yeah, his second made three. He's been perfect from the field so far. Blocked by Gortat. Wall has it. Plumley goes down hard. John streaking up and lays it in. Both bigs, Plumley and Gortet, come away with nice defensive blocks. That one led to a John Wall fast break. Lillard with a nice move, and he's short on the shot. And it's chased out by Sadoransky. Wall has Porter. Tyler with a reverse layup. Kelly Oubre, the rebound. John inside, and he scores. Good strong rebound by Kelly Oubre, and then the assist. Aminu drives, missed it short. Rebound pulled down by Washington. Here's Wall. Attacks, lays it up on the left hand and scores. Well, that time he kept David Lillard on his heels and not much he could do. John with the size and faces the basket, just raising up over it. Inside this time they connect. Good pass from Wall, that's his fourth assist. To go along with ten points. Nine points for Keith Morris. Lehman knocked away from behind by Wall. He goes down court. And slams it in. Another steal racked up for John Wall. The funny story the guys told me was they were playing at Milwaukee, and after Milwaukee, they were scheduled to go out to the West Coast for a swing. But because Gus broke the backboard in Milwaukee, they had to stay overnight in Milwaukee and didn't get to the West Coast till the next day. Really? Yeah, they were kind of upset with Gus about that one. How about that? Give Wall another assist. Porter gets the long shot. And that is the end. That will not count. It did not get off in time. Wizards almost had a steal. Wall didn't see that one coming. And now they do get the steal. Wall pushing it up court. Left-handed slam! It looked like Plumley was trying to get back to gauge the distance. And by the time he had done that, John had already cocked that thing back with his left arm and throw it, throw it down. John will think about it. Now he'll take the shot and hit a three. Timeout, Portland. Yeah, I'm an all-star. You better believe it. Whoa, Gortat lays it in. Sensational play. <laughs> Boy, he makes it. Oh, God, it makes it. 
Brown dribble. Master of deception. Just deceiving the defenders. And quicker than the eye, as Nortan scores as Wall comes out of the game and gets a rousing round of applause with 21 points, six assists, and four rebounds. John Wall with another three pointer. His second of the game, 24 points for the Wall Star. Beal tips it away. Wall is there. Gives it up to Bradley for the finish. And Terry Stott says, let me just take a 20 second time out here. And the Washington Wizards improved to 21 and 19 on the year. 17 and 6 at home. They win for the 12th consecutive time at Verizon Center. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, making sure the heat and plumbing are in good working order. New tenants moving in this weekend. But first things first, a few blocks down the street at Verizon Center, CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz look for their sixth win in the last seven games and a chance to stretch their home win streak to 13 as they meet Marc Gasol and the 25 and 18 Memphis Grizzlies. One of them seem to always be hurt, but this is the first time they're going to start off going against each other Bradley on a real hot tear Tony Allen one of the best def defensive perimeter defenders in the league Otto Porter knocks down a jumper yeah it's amazing that Allen and Beal have never started a game against each other in the past but they did so for the first time here tonight great pass and a shot by Gortat think about what he is shooting 52 percent from the field 50 from three 86 percent from the charity stripe he's averaging 25 in the last five games he says it's he's doing it all he can get to the basket he's finding teammates he's also hitting a lot of three-pointers he says he has just a lot of confidence he's feeling not only from John giving him the ball but Scott Brooks calling plays for him and what's interesting tonight guys this will be the first time in his career he's ever faced Tony Allen Porter again how do you like that Otto Porter blistering the net is four for four from deep. This is Wall trying a three. He made two of them against Portland, was two for three from long range. Wall for the open jumper, got it. Phil, I'm watching these passes, and as quickly as these teams swing the ball, and the Wizards are one of them right now. Yeah. Knocked off by Wall. He's got Gasol, lays it up and in. Gasol made that a little bit of a challenge. I didn't think that uh, John really put the burners on. Do you think John maybe slowed up just enough to give him a chance to possibly foul him? Yeah, or go by him, which he did. Wall gets inside, lays it up and in. There's that first field goal that you had mentioned, and that was a good, smart, heady play by John. Conley drives and misses. Gortat is there. Wall down court. He's got Morris. And that's what you're talking about. The defense stops, the defense, players are scattered. You have a chance to run and get some open, high percentage shot. Meantime. I'm still arguing with Chris Miller, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wall, check for a moment by Zebo. Makes a move on Innes for Beal. Beal all the way for the slam! Conley, that's blocked by Wall. And tipped back, that's about all they could do. Well, he was trying to advance that ball to John, who had the break going. And that'll be a foul on Washington. It'll be on Markeith Morris. Otto Porter shooting and hits. Much needed three for OP. Back out to Wall. Swing it to Porter. He'll try another one. How about that? Otto Porter with his sixth three-pointer of the game. Wall guarded by Conley, gets a screen from Gortat, but he's picked up by Gasol. Tripped by him with no call, drives to the glass and scores. Boy, beautiful drive by John, avoiding the charge and still getting the basket. Conley, ball knocked to the floor, Porter has it. Here's Wall, and he'll wisely bring it out. Now he goes back the other way and lays it in! Long of the sleep. Timeout, Grizzlies! Conley. The long three to tie it is short, and that's the end wow. of the game. The Wizards hang on to defeat the Memphis Grizzlies by three.
104 to 101 in a thriller at the phone booth. It's another terrific night in New York City, home of the Knicks, and their sold-out Madison Square Garden. Facing a Wizards team on a roll, led by three-time All-Star John Wall, averaging 22 a game. He'll battle former MVP Derrick Rose, who scored 30 last night, with Carmelo Anthony in the eye of the storm again. It's the Washington Wizards and the New York Knicks in game one of our TNT NBA doubleheader. It's John Wall with the close there by O'Quinn, and John Wall knocks it down at a 37-minute, 25-point performance last night against Memphis with 13 assists, another double-double for him. Markeith Morris finds two right inside with a nice assist from O'Quinn. I mean, excuse me, again with Wall. With a drive oh, inside, man. what a play by John Wall. Just a breakdown defensively for New York here, and, and that's been a problem lately. We talked about the three and 10 since Christmas. Yeah, that no trade clause is pretty significant, isn't it, Rebecca, when you think about uh, what he can and cannot accept. And there have been rumors, Rebecca, that he's, well, he's if he were going to be traded, it would be to Cleveland for his buddy LeBron James of the two L.A. teams. What do you hear there? Oh, Porzingis oh. Sergio right, take it in on Smith. How about the block shot there, though, by Smith? Jason Smith has been playing well. They like exactly what he does, what he provides. And another solid game last night against Memphis. A much improved three-point shot there by John Wall, shooting 32%. That's his 45th on the season here. Marshall Plumley. Out of Duke, off the bench, giving him energy, and really changed a lot of things for the Knicks. Plus, he's a great talker on the floor, great communicator. Nice shot by Jason Smith outside, who is now 5 of 8 this season, shooting the 3. Wall weaving. And outside, Sadoransky is in the game for the first time. Checked in a couple minutes ago for the Wizards. He's been a great story of late. Wall with a great that? drive inside the lane. How about the body control mm, there, though, Kevin? Beautiful. I mean, you're line. taking it to the body of a guy that's seven foot. Porzingis with a three. Wall, by the way, with 11. And here he comes attacking the other way. From Raleigh, North Carolina, with the move and the screen oh, to give and go. Gortat with a slammer. Well, it, it's no secret and, and no. You understand the reason why Washington has played well over the last three to four weeks. It's all led by John Wall. Another dump down oh, pass by John Gortat. How Wall. About what great vision by Wall. His timing with Gortat, exquisite inside. Markeith Morris, three. Beautiful stroke. Stopping a nine, nothing New York run. Nice contest there by, by Mello. Just a better shot by Morris. Otto Porter, sweet three from outside. He's in a top 10 in efficiency field goal percentage. And the number two, the number two three-point shooter is Otto Porter in the NBA. Baker, three. And they got a breakaway the other way. Wall will hammer it home. Anthony's on wall. They go inside Morris. Beautiful feed by Wall. Ten assists for him. Rose with a dive inside and a rebound by Gorton. Here comes Wall into oh, Baker wow. by him. Floats, drives, oh, my goodness. and scores. What a play by John Wall. Shot clock at three. Looks at Obre. Knocked away with some nice Washington defense. Wall in full flight. Smith and puts it up and in as they could not recruit. And the Wizards, just like that, are back up by eight. They've earlier led by 13. Oh, Scott Brooks. You've got to be encouraged. Otto Porter again wow. from downtown. What a stroke. That is his fourth May three here in this third quarter. If you're Scott Brooks, you got to be happy with the effort. Wall, the close by Plumley. Got it. Wall continues to stroke it well. He's got 18-21 from Porter. And Holiday is knocked off his stride moments ago. Wall, by the way, the only Eastern Conference guard who is averaging a double-double. He'll be in New Orleans. Should be in New Orleans. This is over Plum. They, they, the they got the bigs out there, Reg, closing out for Zingas before. That time Plumley. Seven in the quarter for Wall. 20 for the game. Wall's got a double double to try. Oh. He took oh, it high oh. right into Porzingis. My goodness, yes. did he elevate. And Wall had 13 assists last night against Memphis with his 25. It really is 107 104. They will change the three from Anthony. Look at Wall drive and slash wow. and come up with the two. Big play 
John Wall, 25, and the first Wizards field goal in over five minutes. Here comes Rose for the lead. Picked up by Rose! Well, who wants it more? Right now, New York. 20 for Rose. Last night he had 30. Wall the other way. Pounded by Jennings. Shot clock at eight. Wall the drive and watch the ball and a foul called. It was on Carmelo Anthony reaching in and picks up his second of the game. Knicks down by one. Here comes Carmelo into Porter for the lead. Rebound by Wall, took it away oh from Rose. Goodness. Got by Jennings and takes it home. What a play by Wall. The lead is three. <laughs> Timeout, New York. Did you see the afterburner jets by John Wall? He left Jennings in his track. Look at this move right here. I mean, what a play by John Wall. The wonderful John Wall puts him up by three, 13.7 to go. I mean, he just leaves Jennings, who's a pretty fast guy himself, in his track. I mean, that is spectacular when most coaches are yelling, slow it down, hold the basketball, let him foul you. No, I'm going to put pressure on him. Either you're going to foul me in the open court, which Jennings didn't, and Porzingis was too slow to catch up to him. Inbound by Jennings. Knicks down by three. Carmelo with it. And defended by Morris. Anthony. Outside. Lee. Jennings. Wall. The defense. Wall knocked it away. Time expires. The Wizards have won. And John Wall's fingerprints all over the win. Well, John, you grab that rebound, you run the floor, you score at the other end. Talk about the just all-out effort you had, the determination to win this one at the end. Uh, I took one bad shot when Pazingas was on me, and then um, I gave up a three to Brandon Jennings, so I had to make up for those plays. And I just wanted to be aggressive. Uh, all our guys did great competing in battle. We knew it was going to be a tough matchup, and uh, we just want to come out with a tough road win. You've seen this movie before where you've had a win on the road. You've given it away. You've lost some games earlier in the season. What was the difference tonight? How did you guys get this one done? Uh, we just we stayed with it. You know what I mean? We started missing some shots and making some shots, but uh, we just kept competing. We knew we had to do the little things to get the win. You know, excuse me. They made some tough shots. We made some tough ones, but uh, it was great to get a roll win after what we did at home. John, you guys are playing the best basketball of this season. Why? Um, we just all looked ourselves in the mirror. All challenge ourselves to be, get better and compete. And uh, we're guarding together as a team, and that's why we're winning. Congratulations. Thank you. Some of the best basketball players in the world doing their thing tonight inside the Spectrum Center. High-level NBA hoops on a Monday night. We've got the Washington Wizards in town taking on the scorching hot Charlotte Hornet. Wizards got off to a terrible start this year. Two and eight through their first ten games. They have turned it around in a big way in large part because of that man, John Wall. Otto Porter. He has really figured out this NBA game. Yeah, I mean, he has been killing it from behind the arc this season. It's his best percentage so far throughout his career, right at 45%. That means he's shooting better than Bradley Beal. Hmm. Two games last week, he made six three-pointers. He took it upon himself to work on that. He knew that the way the system was going to run, he'd get open looks. John Wall, John his Wall. second field goal. Gortat scores. There was some confusion Our defensively. Team. That's where we stand now. Of course, if he comes back out of or if we get an update, we'll be sure to relay that. After the timeout, John Wall hits a jumper. John Wall, he had a 52-point game back in December, and I think he's uh, itching for another. John Wall's in double figures. Hadn't missed a shot. And Wall steals the ball away from Sessions. John Wall, two more, and he's fouled. Two things that John Wall is exceptional at among the top two or three in the NBA. Steals. Very good at that. Hornets going to have to take care of the basketball and also get back in transition. And John Wall. Scores and is fouled. Wall has Bellinelli on him. Settles for a long jumper and hits it. John Wall. Wall 
John Wall. Number one overall pick back in 2010, three-time All-Star. He's the goods. Beal. Oh, man. Off-balance three. Jason Smith. First two games of the year between the Wizards and the Hornets. Go the way of the Wiz. Too much John Wall and Bradley Beal with Markeith Morris added to the mixture. Let's get ready to rumble. Horizon Center is the place to be in what has become a wildly anticipated matchup between two bitter Eastern Conference foes, the 24 and 20 Washington Wizards and the 26 and 17 Boston Celtics. The Wizards won by 25 here back in November, 118 to 93. It was a blowout. They led from start to finish. And then two weeks ago in Boston, the Celtics took over in the fourth quarter with Isaiah Thomas, and they won that game by nine. Well, John does that so well. When he reads, there's no help on the backside, and Horford fronting Gortat throws that lob in for an easy two. So Gortat with the first four points. Now smart to three. Gortat, well, he got banged from behind by Horford. No call. Here's Wall. Wall pulls up on the jump. Got it. Like the start. But again, it's how you finish, too. Here's Porter's first attempt at a three, and it's good. Number one three-point shooter in the NBA, Georgetown's Otto Porter. Wall on a fadeaway jumper. Good. He's getting better and better at that shot. Wall, another fading jumper, another basket for John Wall, who is three for four from the field. Here's Crowder, gives it up. Long shot is no good, and Wall has it. And seven seconds to play in the quarter. Wall behind his back, drives on a fadeaway off the glass and in at the buzzer. Another spectacular move by John Wall to finish off the Celtics at the end of the quarter. Wall for three. And a timeout has been taken by Brad Stevens. Wall can take the final shot, the shot clock is off. Seven seconds, here he goes. It's a screen from Gortat. Races around Horford to put it up and in. Thomas gets around Beal, gets some space inside, misses the shot. And John was the one that got in there and gave help, challenged that shot. Here's another two-point shot that's no good. Chased down by Keefe to Wall. Wall drives, lays it up and in. Wall spins, lays it up and in. What a move. Wall quicker to the ball than Horford. And now quicker to the basket for the slam. Well, Horford didn't know what to do. He wasn't able to really get in stride with John. And John, as you said, beat him to the ball. That was a quick reaction. You know, I, I, I do not approve of, of uh, sort of the shenanigans that, you know, Grayson Allen has gotten himself involved in. Clinic with a great pass, but it's mishandled. And here's Wall. Strong to the glass, lays it up and in. Score the field goal. He'll go to the line. Smart with a foul. Wow. Wall makes a move, kicks it out. Three ball going up. And in for Kelly Oubre, Jr. Timeout, Boston. Baseline, he lost it and turned it over. Wall surveys for Gortat, lays it up and in. Boy, what quarterback did that was? John letting the first guy go through and then hitting the trailer, marching Gortat. What a performance for Washington tonight. Wall, Beal, Gortat who hasn't missed. Wall drives for the slam, and he's fouled on the play. Loves to finish with that left hand. Has explosive leap off the right foot, off the right leg. And Bradley Beal excited about the finish. 27 points for John Wall with seven rebounds and seven assists. Wizards hang on for a 123 to 108 win. Their highest scoring game of the season. Phillips.
Hoops Arena in downtown Atlanta, ready for Hawks basketball. And a big weekend supporting the Falcons as they get ready to go to Houston for the Super Bowl next weekend. But we've got a big one for you tonight as the Washington Wizards come to town to battle the Atlanta Hawks. A key game in the Southeast Division and a key game in the Eastern Conference. Paul leaves this one off the mark and Porter rebounds. Hawks 3 of 11. And one of four on threes early. Here's Beal. Bradley Beal coming off a 31 effort against the Celtics on Tuesday in D.C. Intended for Millsap and Wizards all over it. Trailing Beal. Oh, another timeout for Atlanta. It is 24 to 10, folks. Uh, and that's what a lot of teams do. When a team come down and make a couple big shots, you come down and you make it. shot for the now Dennis Schroeder is starting to get a little momentum going. And that speed and quickness on full display against the guy who is so quick at his own boy, Gortat. He's got eight first quarter points. John Wall, who is number three in the league in assists at 10.1. Now John Wall, cross court quarter. Man, is he oh, man. hot. He's, he's not he's hitting the rim. Man, he is hot. 45.6 to lead the NBA coming in. Wall. Gets a good screen from Gortat. First two tonight for Johnny averages 23 a game to lead the team. But this is a different look to Wizards team than the last time we played them. Gortat with a rejection. Wall coming up on Dunleavy. And a foul on Mike. This, this Wizards team, you can see their defense is better. Their offense is more fluent. They're moving the ball. John Wall is really not looking for a shot. He's looking to set his teammates up. My family coming up. We're going to enjoy it. You know, we definitely just going to celebrate after the game. And uh, we got to protect our family, go out there and handle business and, you know, get the job done. Execute um, every single day. Get 1% better. And, you know, we just go out there and have fun. Wall, seven, six on the shot clock. John, a little hitch and go, lay it good at the buzzer. Oh, that's just a beautiful move, good hesitation. Move to set that shot up. John, cross-court Porter, puts it up. Oh, a man. A three-pointer oh, for Otto serious? Porter. That's his third of the night, 67 to 42. John Wall from 15 and drops it in nicely. Good pick and roll at the top. Setting up John Wall, he's got 12. 72-51. Beal, good again, a three. Well, they can't Bradley win. Beal now. Porter, an and one. Well, they can't do no wrong. All five starters for the Washington Wizards are in double figures. And you can't do it like that with that type of defense. John Wall. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> That's a three. His first of the night. Pull up for John. Good again. Well, John Wall seems John Wall. like he's just taking whatever he wants. It's just real simple basketball there. Pick right to the free throw line. Knocks down that J. Wizards will improve to 26 and 20 with their 10th win in the last 12 games. Hawks will fall to 27 and 20. And just their fourth loss in the month of January. Perfect night in the Big Easy, and carnival season is here. As tonight, the Pels face for the first time this year the Washington Wizards. Buddy healed on the run. He's got a game, throws it away on a run out. That's a live ball, and that's why you can't afford those. Dead ball turnovers, one thing, live ball, another thing, and an early four point deficit. Wall. Third in assists in the league. He's 17th in scoring, but the two combined for 45 points, long two. Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal hits 46% overall, 38 plus almost 39% from beyond the arc. Otto Porter lighten it up, and that is not a shot. Well, Otto Porter super efficient. John Wall, third in assists, 17th in scoring, second in steals, and a ton of minutes. Seventh in the league in minutes. The lob, and an easy one. They got, again, what they wanted on that switch out front. Holiday, thinking about it, he'll take the triple. Porter clears it away. Pels hit half their triples, 10 for 20 in the second half. That's how good it was against San Antonio. John Wall step back. Good breaks, Tough really up. good breaks. Anthony Davis and Gortat, he knows his trends, tendencies. Played it beautifully. It'll be Bradley Beal. Easy bucket on the takeaway. 
So Washington getting what they want early. A magician, John Wall, finds Otto Porter. He's not gonna, you, you can't leave him open. He's 47% from beyond the arc. Wall, leave him on a unit. And a hammer with the left hand. How sneaky fast was John Wall? John Wall with Gortat. He's going to the line looking for the three-point play. And, and that just is further illustrating this guy is a good center for catching in tight space. And that's John Wall delivering. Now, he can't relax. Mark e. Morris looked good out of his hand, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, they got some floor spacers. Mark e. Morris comes in hitting just about 35% of his threes. Another one, John Wall. John Wall, hesitation. And it kind of froze Monte Yunus. Yeah, he's, he's gotten so much better at that. Getting his jump shot more confident, ready to shoot it. It's going up for John Wall. And that kind of sums up the first half for Washington, and especially their backcourt. John Wall, 12 and 9 assists. Bradley Beal, 12 on 6 of 10 shooting. Buddy block. John Wall timed it beautifully. It's been a little uneven play, and it certainly goes to, you know, his defensive play and what he's doing offensively as well. It's it's kind of cut it cut into his rhythm a little bit. And how about the pass? Good, you gotta have good hands, and he can take it from John Wall. Solomon Hill on the take. Is that a it looked like he wanted Cunningham on the pass. Holiday jumped that rob, but there's Bradley Beal. Look out. And a 15-point game. And Timeout. That quick. Yep. Points off another takeaway. Perfect pass. Beautiful lob over the top. John Wall. Monte Yunus on an island. And that's more of John Wall's range. Inside the arc by a few feet. So they got what they wanted, and they were patient about it. Wall just cleared everybody out. Monte Yunus, mid-range. John Wall. One-point game. Plenty John, of time to answer. Yeah, 16 and 13 dimes for John Wall. Beal on the pocket pass, inside out. And he'll share it. Morris, he's got the range, he's got the triple. It is back to a six-point game, 90-84. Marquis Morris up to 19. Look out. How beautiful yeah. is that? You got to get back and get Man. ready. Right. right. Any time of the shot clock, Anthony Davis, a little space. But they're settling for long ones now. So not getting inside, and only one foul to give. Wall will get inside, though. That was set up by Gortat. He told him to drive. They could afford to use some clock. Otto Porter, double figures, all there five is. starters. Otto, there's his third. His third triple, and I mentioned when Otto gets three or more, they are 14 and three and about to be 15 and three with a win today if they hold on. And somebody might want to guard Marquis Morris. That's not the way you play catch up. Washington score in on five of their last six possessions. Tyreek Evans. And Gets away from AD. And this was started their all their problems early. Oh. Is turnovers. Live ball turnovers going the other way. Not enough balance and distribution that we had talked about worked so well against San Diego, or San Antonio rather, and shot distribution. Yeah, you got two guys. And, and that's it. We, and there were seven in the in against San Antonio. There was you know, moving the basketball back and forth, reversals is what Coach Phil Weber talked about moving the ball. This should be our final score, a 13-point win. And, and when the Pelicans have had problems this year, it hasn't been defensively. And that surprised a lot of people. It's been the inconsistencies at the offensive end. From the Verizon Center in Washington, D.C., it's time for New York Knicks basketball, presented by Chase as the Knickerbockers visit the Washington Wizards. About 48 hours ago, Knicks finish up that four-overtime loss to Atlanta. Now right back on the road, a tough game here against the Wizards tonight. Gortat. Gets some separation. And yeah, look, those toasties for Gortat. And he's a 59% shooter. Jennings comes up with a steal. Porter's entry pass stolen. Jennings pulls back. Finds Hernan Gomez running the floor. And he misses the jam. Second jam he's missed today. Today. John Wall spins, gets in the paint. Layup is good. Wall's enthralling and chanting the crowd. Anthony goes right at the quarter again. Gets inside. Oh, no, no, this is the layup. Got a great look at it. Couldn't finish. And here's Wall again excelling in the open floor. A little bit of time out for Jeff Hosek. That was the number one goal defensively. 
stopping the fast break. Wall so quick with the ball. Oubre lines up a three-pointer and knocks it down. Oubre, a very erratic player. So, uh, out of Kansas, their first-round draft choice. We come up on a minute remaining. Wall drives, spins it out. Jason Smith, his jumper is good. Well, the bench early for the Wizards this season were really struggling. John Wall sets for three. And that's good. Wall just 31% from downtown. Morris, that's a three. Again, they're sixth in the NBA in three-point percentage. They shoot at 37%. Baker trying to stay in front of Wall. Wall, if he starts into that perimeter shot, he is impossible to cover. Yeah, that's the shot that is kind of holding it to start him. He's an all-star. John Wall pass inside to Morris. Morris is shot as good. He has the largest lead for the Wizards. Well, we've seen that type of composure tonight by the Wizards. Pass inside for top. Yeah, we heard it in Atlanta, though, too, Mike. Fans are really supporting him. Wall knocked it down the jumper. There's just a lot of Nick fans as well. Wall drives. There's the foul again. They're going to count it on one? Yes, they do. Jennings, a poor decision defensively. And Wall, a smart play to continue. Courtney Lee, mid-range jumper, misses. Lee's having a rough game, just one of six. Wall, cross-court, Beal. Steps into a three and nails it. And the Knicks are down ten. Beal not hesitating, devastating on the elbow. So the Knicks lose by 16 to the Wizards. Third time this season, 0-3 against Washington. As they lose their second in a row and third overall. Yes, Virginia, Washington, D.C. is home to the fourth best team in the Eastern Conference. Maybe better. Right now, unequaled at home with 15 straight wins as CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz look to make it six straight overall. They get their first test this season against Nick Young and the 17-34 and 34 Los Angeles Lakers. Keith Morris with the shot that bounces off the rim. Gortat keeps it alive. Here's Beal for three. Boy, second chance points, and the, that tip becomes very valuable. He couldn't get it, but he tipped it out to Wall. Wall picks up the assist. Beal the three. Quarter up ahead to Wall. Wall going to streak past and score. It's past Russell and scores. And then Wall slipping as he goes out of bounds and trying to collect himself. Wall somehow managed to get it back. Now a three ball is up and in for Otto Porter. Who didn't make one the other night against the Knicks went 0 for 3, but he knocks that one down. Yeah, still number one in the league in three point shooting at 46%. Oh, it gets an easy two. No way to stop that. Well, I mean, he's, he capitalizes on any mistake, lack of, uh, lack of communication by the Laker defense, and he took advantage of that. The defense has finally come along with what the offense we knew would be good, and now they're making stops. It's the reason why their head coach is being recognized league wide. Deservedly so. Absolutely. Really good. The players love him. I mean, everybody loves him. He's just, I mean, you can't talk to one person in this business that has said anything bad about Scott Brooks. And to every to a man, they say, he's just the nicest guy you'll yeah, ever meet. Yeah. How about that? Thomas Sadoransky with like, a three-pointer. Like I said, shoot the threes now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice pass from Wall. Well, you can see John setting that up, knew where the passing lane was going to be. All he had to do was improve the angle so the spin around to his left did just that. Sixth assist for John Wall. Porter takes it away, and here's Wall with another great pass for Beal. And a timeout, Los Angeles. The Laker defense has picked up here lately. And they are keeping the Wizards from getting a good look. Wall, that's a good one. Body control, even with that ball going behind his back a couple of times. This Lakers team is a carefree team. They're going to take on a lot of shots that you wonder are a little bit unconventional, but that's their style. Wall had a tremendous block and then took the ball away and started the break. Beal, swing it to Wall. He'll fire a three. Much needed. 14 points for Wall with seven assists and a couple of rebounds. Porter. Good execution. Knocked away, the Wizards get the steal. Rolled down court, alley-oop, how about that? 
one. Brad and John played that perfectly. John made sure the defender had to step out and guard him and stop him, and that made available the lob. Gortat inside, lays it up and in. Wall now with a double-double, 15 points, 10 assists. Wall attacks and gets it right back. That's just what that was. A dead attack. He went right at him. Now Wall will try a three. Wall drives, slips inside, and lays it in. Boy, a double hesitation move. They never could get in sync with him. And that time, I love that play, John driving the basket. Wall has five points in 26 seconds. Gets it back. Plenty of time. Launches a three and hits! Knocked away and stolen. Wall got the steal. It's a play, smart play. The jumper by Wall, got it! Huge shot by John Wall with 106 to play. Deal off the screen, back to John. John pulls up for the jumper, hits it again! Mr. Clutch, John Wall with 38 seconds to play. And he has been doing that night in and night out. And that is going to do it. Wizards hang on here to get their sixth straight win and improve to 29 and 20 on the year. 21 and six at home. They won 16 straight games here at Verizon Center. That's when goosebumps beget goosebumps. Presented by AT&T as the Cavaliers come to the nation's capital for the second in three meetings as the Wizards only come to the queue once this season. But boy, they've been red hot at Verizon Center. Winners at 17 in a row. Kyrie guarding Bradley Beal on the blur. John Wall against Iman Shumpert. Washington three of nine shooting. Kelly Oubre checks in now. Second year guy out of Kansas. Giving him good energy off the bench. Gortat almost walked. Here comes Wall dancing to Gortat. Finishing just in the nick of time. Archie Gortat has his first field goal. Gives him 12 points a game. Porter sends it and hits it. Otto Porter, actually a better three-point shooter above the break than he is from the corners. He's 49% from that very spot. Yeah, he's one of the best in the league, Fred. And one thing you can tell, their guard penetration is so important because that's how these other guys get their shots. Here comes John Wall probing. Oh, he got to the roof. That's what he likes to do with the left hand is dunk. And John Wall threw it down. Shepard reclaims Wall oh. to a rolling foot some miscommunity, something's wrong here. They give up that many dunks like that to the basket off a of simple pick and roll. Irving watches, we're top there closing on him. Well, they're pushing that ball, aren't they? Wall every time, Porter the trailer for three. Got another one. Otto Porter, who was not invited to the three-point contest in All-Star Weekend, showing maybe he should not have been left off that list. You're right. Man. Wall collapsed upon, Porter had it rushed and still knocked it down. My goodness. He has really become a confident outside shooter. Porter with 13 out of the timeout. Right back at the Cavaliers, Marquise Morris from Wall, drawn up by undoubtedly Scott Brooks. Carry bodies up Wall. Bursts inside. Great shot by John Wall. Shot clock continues to twirl. Wall off the rhythm. Got a couple of dribbles to get himself set, and he drained it. Back to the way, Wall. A huge crowd favorite here, as you would suspect. John Wall, him to the sideline. Thompson picked him up. Tristan loves these challenges, guarding opponent point guards. Kyrie Irving there as well. Gortat, the defensive breakdown. And, and that's what makes Double T upset. Because he went out and sacrificed himself out front, and nobody on the weak side helped him out. Wall pops. Got it. Washington goes in front. Well, the ball game is on now. Wall turned the corner, stuck it in. Uh, Wall put it in overdrive. He got 16. The spread floor for LBJ. Turned the corner. That's trouble for Washington. Blocked by Gortat. Near steal. Here comes Wall. Back the other way. Beal for the tie. Got it. 
Game in the balance. No one is sitting here at Verizon Center. Whoa. Couple of jab steps. Trying to get to the rack. Does. Flips it up. No! Rebound Morris! Here comes LBJ. Gets a screen from Irving. LeBron going downhill. Got to the rack. Oh, no! He missed it! And a Cavalier foul! Three-point game. Now the Cavs have to go 94 feet. Kevin Love down the floor for LeBron James on target. Turn, sends it. LeBron. Yeah! You gotta be kidding me! Life is about do-overs! Don't look at it! But it should count! 120 apiece! You have to be kidding me! Up top wall, rim got in the way, we got bonus basketball. Why not? 129, 127, wall turned the corner. Runs in the low, blocking foul on Kevin Love! Tony Brothers made the call! Don't allow two minute dribble drives. You got a minute and 24 seconds. You got to try and keep everything in front of you. Beal launches for three. Got Bradley Beal with 38. Cavaliers went too many guys after the wall that time and left him wide open. Here comes Irving. Long launch for three. Got it! Kyrie Irving! Mr. Overtime! Cavaliers go in front by three. The toughest hit is... Take it all night was a chest bump for the king. Sadoretsky dribbles out a wide and gold winner. The hard way. The most impossible way. It is the calm before the storm here in Brooklyn. A Wednesday night. And it's 80s night. Uh, get in your DeLorean. Put on those leg warmers. Do some aerobics while playing Pac-Man. And get yourself an 80s poster. Net style. The Nets. And the Washington Wizards tonight, it's the third of four meetings, and we've got it for you right here on Yes. Nets shot 45% last night. They actually held Charlotte to just under 40% shooting, yet lost the game 111 to 107. Porter, boy, he is rocking and rolling from three-point territory this season. Otto Porter. Lopez, well, he just tapped it to Wall. Wall on a kick. Porter, that's a three. Book it. That's shooting it at 38%. Wall all the way for the left-handed flush. John Wall, he can turn the corner like no one else. So deceiving, too, with his explosiveness at 6-4. Wall for Beal behind the back. And a rainbow three. Bradley Beal from deep. Wall takes the opening. The pocket pass to Mahinmi. Inside, Oubre has it blocked by Lopez. Bogdanovich, the steal. Bogdanovich drives in on Beal, left hand. Wall gets a piece, but Dinwiddie, trailing the play, gets the deuce. Beautiful effort by Dinwiddie on top of Bogdanovich, who had Beal turning around a little bit. That's why Bogdanovich continued with that move. And pretty decent effort, too, by Wall just then. So four guys going after it. They go on a 9-0 run, Brooklyn. John Wall puts an end to that run with a jump shot. A long two-pointer for Wall. Pull up jump. John Wall, that's an area of his game he has improved upon over the course of his seven-year NBA career. Back for Beal, the penetration. Two-man game with Wall. Now they get it inside for Gortat, who finishes around the rim. That is a slick pass from John Wall to his big man. Wall quickly ahead. Shake and bake. Foy didn't bite. Beal, baseline. Circles, kicks. Wall of three. Yes. Outside, Lopez off the back of the iron from three-point territory. That would have cut it to three. Wall lost it momentarily. Foy sticks with him, trying to go over the screen of Gortat. Wall the fade. Soft touch. See, what Wall will do is he'll continually look around the floor, probing, looking for somebody who's open. And if not, he's smart enough to take that dribble a couple of times to get his rhythm as a rhythm jump shooter much easier that way. Wall mismatch. Hamilton. Smith camping out. That's a three. Now, you know, Smith is a perfect example of a guy who's understanding his talents, what he can do, and who he's playing with on this floor with Wall finding him perfectly. Harris on the move, gives it up. Booker spins and can't score. Booker upset at himself. 
Meanwhile, Washington is running down the floor. Oh, John Wall, the shovel. He is a blur. Right, he's the best I've ever seen at the middle of the floor. The drive. The pass inside, knocked away from Booker. Out of bounds with 11 to shoot. The Nets retain it, 6.35 on the game clock. High screen, Gortat. The bounce, Gortat! The flush! Washington goes in front by two. Adonovich looking. Booker flips it up. He actually did that as a member of the Utah Jazz from the corner. A slap over his shoulder in one of the wildest shots that I've ever seen. That one did not go, and we've got overtime here in Brooklyn. Oubre the screen. Wall the drive. A foul call. Wall wants goaltending. I don't think that got to the uh, glass, though. It's good. And it's over. 114 to 110. Booker rolls it. Foy, half court. And that's it. The Washington Wizards eke out a win in overtime. Building the Verizon Center, still a buzz in the wake of that thrilling overtime game. The home team played against the Cavaliers several nights ago tonight. A battle of two of the hottest teams in the league, the Pacers in town to take on the Washington Wizards. Teague, a three-pointer on the way on cue, Hubie. And he knocks down his first three. Uh, look, I, I live in Atlanta. I've watched this young guy play. and. I'll never forget the first year he came as a free, uh, you know, I drafted. He was the second leading scorer uh, during the exhibitions and then never got in. Wow. Uh, uh, was, uh, yeah. yeah. Good shooting by John Wall from downtown. Makes it 12 to 7. Miles Turner inside with the lefty hook and good. Good footwork by the second year pro out of Texas. You got to keep emphasizing he's only 20 mm. years old. And he's right in the top guys now in blocking shots. All rookie a season ago, Marquise Morris in a nice offensive groove to start the ball game here. Teague with the hesitation and rebounded by Morris. Now this first group there, now they get out and they run hard. Uh, both first groups, so you have to pay attention here. Wall with a good look inside Brilliant. to Gortat. Gortat, good hands, good offensive moves with his back to the basket. And excellent out to 18, 19 feet facing. You mentioned turnovers and another one. Wall kicks it back to Morris, and he missed it. And well, let's just say he didn't call the bank, coach. Over the midcourt line, Washington leading by three. Just past the midway point of the first quarter. Wall, Monte Ellis checked into the ball game during the break. Good look inside Porter. With the layup. Yeah, I see Porter backdoor it when George turned his head to look for the ball. Tough pass, never made yeah. it. And they got numbers coming back. Burke. Gotta get it low. Gotta get a score. Nice, nice find for Wall for the slam. Very nice. Pick up by going strong. All right, you had the one defender out of position. And then Teague tried to gamble, leaving the trailer open. Allen lost the handle. Yeah. And John Wall Brilliant. blurring his way to the bucket. And put some muscle in his hustle. Well, that's that beep beep move. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> well, nice. Pretty. Time. Wow. How did he find Marcin Gortat? Well, if you're wondering about him getting 10 assists a game, come on now. That's his ninth already, and we're still in the first half. Five on the shot clock for John Wall dancing with it. Stares down Stucky and knocks it down. Yeah, that's where he's solid this year. He's at 45%, a little bit better. George got it back. Battle underneath. Go. And there's a look at Turner. Yeah, see, that's what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting to see him get on the offensive glass, block some shots, get some rebounds. He only had two rebounds before that. All rookie second team a year ago as John Wall knocks down another mid range jump shot. Wall left alone from downtown. He'll get another possession. Beal, that's what he does. Now, two of his field goals in this game. He has four field goals. Two of them have come on second chance opportunities. John Wall oh, pulls on. over Paul George Morris on cue, and his three point ball is working tonight, too. Boy, good find to Gortat inside. John Wall with his 12th assist tonight. Yeah, right, right there, Turner's upset. He should be upset with himself because he did not see the ball and his man. He let his man get behind him in the paint. Nice. Great bounce pass nice. to Gortat. Boy, he put 
put it right on his plate, Coach. Well, look, he, he leveled him off because he saw he had the big guy. He waited for the roll guy to get open. It was masterfully done. John Wall, tough pull up. Oh, he's got it working. Top sets the screen for Wall. The mid-range on the way. Got it. Yeah, I'm surprised. See, Turner laid off. See, Turner should have been right up on John Wall. Wall kicks it out to Morris for three. Yes! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. The Wizards lead is five as Washington looking at their 32nd win of the year. They've got the best record in the East since January 1st. And the second best record overall in basketball in the same time frame. Welcome to the nation's capital for game one of our NBA doubleheader featuring two electrifying all stars. Russell Westbrook of the Oklahoma City Thunder and John Wall of the Washington Wizards. And a drive across the lane put in by Westbrook. What a quick move versus John Wall down low. The swipe right there, Wall outside, Beal the three. Bradley Beal with a three and a quick timeout taken by Billy Donovan. Three on two, here comes Wall, second turnover. And it's Beal outside who's hit every shot he's put up. Washington is eight of eight from the floor. And Kristen, John Wall's playing with a bad ankle tonight. He heard it against uh, the Pacers on Friday. It's on the alley of Morris. The other way, Oladipo. He'll run the other way. And of course, he's from this area. He's a high flyer, played at Indiana. Wall, oh, off that high screen and roll, gets all the way to the cup. Westbrook the other night against Golden State at 47. And he has four. He brings the Thunder within 10 as they've trailed already by 16 here early on. Nice lob inside Adams, the fake and the two. Beautifully placed pass by Westbrook. He's got done well with the foul there as he did. I'm not quite sure the official. But it's a late call it was, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, the all-star practices are different because you're in the locker room together. You're on the bus together. Nice move there by John Wall with the contact and the potential and one. So when you're practicing, and you're going over plays. Remember, there's four All-Stars for Golden State and their coaching staff and Steve Kerr. Now you've got the lone wolf and, and Russell Westbrook. How is that dynamic going to work? Are they going to talk? Are they finally going to talk? Are they going to shake hands? I kind of want to see that body language. Still a deep ball. Launching a long shot, which will not go. Transition wall. Hold on. Kelly going on. Nice feed by John Wall. Who is number two in assists in the league? And that play was made because of John Wall. His ability, as soon as the rebound came and secured it, that fast break is Russell Westbrook with the answer at the other end. And Oladipo by one goes staggering down the lane, knocked away from behind. It's Burke and Wall. They got the breakaway. Hold on. Oh, Wall could go up and he fell. I couldn't tell if he just uh, mistimed it or what. John Wall from Raleigh, North Carolina. Played the one here at Kentucky. He was the SEC Player of the Year. Now in his seventh NBA season, a four-time All-Star. Westbrook. Little bump up the space and nails the mid-range Johnny. Adams, no. On the tip-in drop. Wall. Burke by a Prius. Hard fall. Count the two. And the guard from Columbus, Ohio. Trey Burke puts it up and in. He was college basketball's player of the year at Michigan for John B. Lyons. Five, and it's put up and in by John Wall. Oklahoma City at 31 and 24. Down court. Nice knockaway inside by Wall. Robertson trying to go up. Wall three. Gotta throw off Bradley Beal as well. I mean, the way he used those screens, the pump fake, and then the dribble drive. Westbrook takes it in. Gortok was there with the rejection. Here comes Wall. It's Porter. Oh, down he goes. Sabonis got him up high. Porter hit the deck, and a foul called on Sabonis. Hold on. Here comes Gortok. Wall with the floater. This here for John Wall. He's got eight of them. Beal, three. Look at that. Got it in. That's that guard play again. You talked about symmetry. These two.
two young men are connected in this backcourt. And again, it helps to be healthy. Oklahoma City has missed 21 consecutive shots. A steal by Morris. A hit to Wall. Oh, to a right oh, Every starter for the Wizards and double figures. Porter with a slam and he's got 11. Now this Washington Wizards team, they're up for the challenge. Now they lost that ball game, but they gave them everything. Woo! Another beautiful dime pass by John Wall. We're talking about second and assist in the association. Just putting on a clinic here in this third. Double double, 34th for Wall. Three, Robertson, no. They've missed 23 consecutive shots. Seems like 23 consecutive threes, too. 12 straight threes. They missed. That's a three. Otto Porter. Another timeout. Wall. On the fly. We're talking about these fast guards. Westbrook has not played before. He probably won't, I don't think. Smith, three, good. But... Scott Brooks and Billy Donovan were both talking about how not only are they fast, but they see the floor at the speed with which they run. And Laverne up and down on the ball that was fluttering. You know, they see the, the floor so well, even at that speed. It's their, their eyes and their head always up and forward. Tonight it was all Washington. Their lead grew as high as 34. This is the Thunder's seventh loss this season by 20 points or more. Forgettable, and Scott Brooks against his old team comes up the winner. And Oklahoma City, who beat Washington the first time, November 30th by 11, with all 10 starters for each team scoring in double figures. Oklahoma City won game one. Wizards win tonight. Wild day in Indianapolis, Indiana has turned into a cool night as fans flock towards Bankers Life Fieldhouse, where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the final game before the All-Star break. Wizards look for their 11th win in the last 12, taking on Paul George and the 29 and 27 Indiana Pacers. The Wizards force a turnover. On Indiana's first possession, Wall, the NBA's number one three-point shooter is Otto Porter. Uh, I, I like that uh, saying that they have there. That's automatic. Yeah. Here's Beal for three, and he knocks it down after the Pacers committed their third turnover of the game. Wall for Gortat, nicely done, go. and the flush. And that's how you get March and Gortat going. Run that pick and roll. And it's another turnover, their fifth. Porter again for three, got it! Otto Porter on fire as the league's number one three-point shooter is knocking him down. He's made all three of his long-range shots. Screen from Gortat, Wall now finds Porter. Otto loads up and hits another. He's four for four from three-point range. John also has a string of eight consecutive double-doubles in the points assist category, so that uh, is going for nine, which would be a career high. Serafin can't roll it in. Gortat the rebound. Wall pushes it up court, gets Serafin turned around, creates contact, and scores the field goal. Well, that's one of those situations where you're creating a moving pick for your opponent there. Monte Ellis trying to get to Brett to uh, John Wall. Couldn't do it because Serafin was clearing the way for John Wall. How about oh. that play? <laughs> a design play to hang on the basket and roll in. Paul George, the miss. We told you he missed 12 straight yeah. in their loss to Cleveland last night. Porter is fouled. Score the field goal and an acrobatic shot from Otto Porter. George sizes up Wall. Tough defense. Morris sets for three. Wow. He has been perfect. Two for two. Make that three for three. Wall spots an opening, gives it up to Gortat, and he scores. What a pass by John. Now Wall moving ever so closely to his ninth consecutive double-double. Turnover. Wall down court has George and now backs out of there. 
Didn't have numbers. All five paces were back. John drives, puts it up and in. Lightning quick speed by John Wall. Not just that, the quick release. Wall, now he drives off balance with a left hand, and he throws his hands up to Leroy Richardson as if to say, come on now. He couldn't get his right hand up on it because it was being held up, so that's why you practice using both hands, fellas. Screen from Jason Smith, four to shoot. Wall's jumper is good. Well, that was a tough shot. C.J. Miles right there with a hand in the face. Wall drives and kicks it out. The three ball going up and in from Trey Burke. So the fact that they took one away is moot. <laughs> because he just got his 10th assist and the official double-double for John Wall. Since December 1st, the Wizards are 27 and 10. And after starting the season three and nine, have won 30 of 42 games, score the field goal, and Wall will go back to the line. Wall, baseline, jumper good. Boy, needed that. Yep. Indiana's getting a little aggressive on defense. John's going to have to make the move. He does, and hits another huge shot. Boy, he has been big all year in the fourth quarter. We said this time. Time and time again, but uh, again, that blazing speed he had, he kept Miles Turner on his heels. 20 points for Wall, 10 assists. Bad pass picked off. Wall blocked! Beautiful play by Wall on defense. And it looks like Washington's going to close out uh, the season prior to the All Star break in beautiful fashion, and that is the icing on the cake. Bradley Beal arching up a long three pointer. The Pacers, who will drop their sixth consecutive game tonight and fall to 29 and 28 on the year, while Washington improves to 34 and 21, 10 and 14 on the road. Yeah. Good showing from start to finish. Never trail. Another wire to wire to win. Brian Colangelo today and Nerlens Noel yesterday bidding farewell after his trade to Dallas. Joel Embiid declaring, I'm going to miss my best friend. Still with the team, despite numerous trade rumors, is Jaleel Okafor, who will be getting the start tonight. Perhaps we will also get a glimpse of second-year swingman Justin Anderson, who was acquired in the Noel deal. Just a taste of what 76ers fans have been experiencing over the last 36 hours or so. Over the next two-plus hours, a Sixers game. For the first time in nine days, they will meet the Washington Wizards right here on CSN. John Wall coming off of the offseason double knee surgery and his fourth all-star team this year Robert Covington keeping an eye on him wall his shot has become good enough from the outside he's 45 percent overall and he's averaging just under 23 per game wall again so John wall hitting a couple of jump shots here wall has Beal all alone and Brett Brown not at all happy with the fact that Bradley Beals had a couple of breakaway layups here in the first quarter. Charge in the open floor, taken on all comers, the block by Wall. Here is Henderson for three, and down it goes. Compliments of T.J. McConnell. McConnell gave it up to rare turnover. It is the second. The Sixers here in the quarter as Porter pauses and then deposits two. The Wall with Cabarro for three. Somebody got a piece of the rock. John Wall, second block. A couple of points from Molly. One, the fact that he's doing what he's doing at this point of the season. As a nice dunk there by John Wall, who get one more at the line. Any kind of sport where you can't play if it's raining out is my kind of sport. <laughs> <laughs> Wall one on one with Holmes, forced to give it up. It is a Beal three, and down it goes for Bradley Beal. A 40% three point shooter. That will put you among the NBA leaders. Not sure if Dario called glass or not, but again, who cares? He is 7 of 11 from the floor. He's got 14 points. More penetration by Dario. Wow, too easy. Well done between those two. Wall connecting with Beal, who throws down two of his 23. The eighth assist of the game for Wall. Wall, the lob for Morris. And Markeith Morris slams for two. I like his game, Morris. I think it's just between the ears for him. Learning to adjust to the game and the attitude adjustments. Well, that time, Dario Sharge simply blew by him. And, of course, if you're Marsh, you don't want to chance a fifth 
And Wall just simply got it right back. That's been one issue for the Sixers tonight. Washington guards getting layups off of Sixer made field goals. Porter, nice defense. Really good defense. Dario tried to use that little step through. Boy, Wall. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Here's a mismatch. At least they had one. They couldn't get it to Morris. McConnell for the trailer. It was Lawawu Cabarro. Could not handle it. And here is Gortat picking cherries. I love TJ's mentality. Always a pass first kind of guy. But that was perhaps an opportunity where he could have taken it himself. Certainly don't wait for the rest of the defense to come back and recover. Lawawu Cabarro finishing with a left hand. Well done by the rookie from France. His second bucket. He's got five off the bench. Oh, wow. And another score, it's amazing how many layups the Wizards have had tonight off of made sixer buckets. McConnell against the taller Mara somehow got it off and in. Stop the ball. Wall the other way. Good luck. Good luck. And a timeout being called by Brett Brown. Wawa Cabarro has to deal with Wall, and Wawa Cabarro ends up fouling Beal. He's able to finish the job, and now Bradley Beal will go to the line looking for his 28th point. The law for Morris compliments of Wall, and another technical has been called here. Wizards deed it up, now a mismatch here as Sharich delivered to Covington, ball knocked away, Wizards have it. The Sixer lead at 14, here comes Wall. The alley-oop for Markeith Morris who throws it down. Brett Brown sharing a light moment with a patron here. Perhaps the coach not too concerned as Wall spins inside, two of his 23. That meets his average. And again, the Sixers in no particular hurry, but their lead has dwindled to seven. Wall, once again, just being John Wall. They will take the season series from Washington for the first time since 2011-12, the lockout season, as they finally finish off the Wizards tonight. The score, 120 to 112. Welcome to Verizon Center in Washington. The Jazz three-game road trip rolls on this Sunday afternoon against the Wizards. And a Jazz win and a Clipper loss has put Utah back into the fourth place in the West by one full game and five back of the third-place Rockets. Back to Hood. Three ball off the mark and the rebound belongs to Marquise Morris. Tough shot. You're, you're facing the end of the shot clock. Hood had a, to get it up and on the other side. Wall to the basket. Jazz on an early 9-2 lead, and right back at you comes John Wall. You, you know, don't overreact with John Wall hitting three-point shots. He's a he's a streak shooter. He's still 31% on the year. He's got to prove to you he can make multiple threes before you really go out there and guard him with pressure. And a nice shot by Gortat. All three so far for Utah. Three of 12 from the floor, making four of 13. But John Wall is hitting the three-point shot, and he's coming off the, the screen and roll, hitting that pull-up jump shot. He becomes almost unguardable. Another one just popped out. Dante <laughs> lost it in the paint. Bogdanovich, who's playing his second game with the Wizards, just checked in, and that's what he can do. Absolutely. That's why they went, went out and got him from the Nets. Dante lost it. Another turnover. Each of these points off turnovers, we just mentioned a couple minutes ago that the Jazz have got to stay away from. Especially at home in this building for Washington. Look how John Wall sees bodies. That's exactly what the Jazz want him to do. What a move. What a move. But then you got the star coming out in John Wall. Utah gives it away again. Gortat leads the charge. Lob it up and down. And a good time out here by Coach Quinn. Four points right away by John Wall. Then and Hill, Fallon. Bogdanovich stripped it. Easy two, left-hand windmill, John Wall. Uh, an unforced turnover, too. An unforced one. Great defense. And I think the ball just slipped out of George Hill's hands. Wall throwers down his shoulder. Gortat there. Feeds him. Nice move. And that's what Scotty Brooks talked about in the pregame was the fact that they want to get to the paint and draw in Gobert, make him jump at maybe a John Wall. And John Wall's got to be good enough tonight to pass it off to find that open man. He did that right there with Gortat. 13 points off 13 turnovers. There's another one. Rudy could not pull it in. Oh, what beautiful pass. slip pass. That's why John Wall, one of the best assist men in the NBA. As you mentioned, nearly 11 a game. 
Hood, nice D. Still the shots down by Wall. That's the first bucket for John Wall here on the fourth. Three-pointer, and they answer with a three of their own. The Jazz lead now 11 with just over three minutes left. Watch out. Three ball, Beal. Inside and one. Hold on. That was a big move by Wall. For the Jazz, they held off a couple of runs by the Wizards, and they win by 10 on the road, 102 to 92. A lot of talking going on up on Capitol Hill tonight, but the round ball discussion gets started down the street right now at Verizon Center, where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz faces supreme challenge in stopping this two-game skid, facing DC's Kevin Durant and the 50-9 Golden State Warriors. Durant uh, putting up some career numbers, you know, he's doing some things that should be considered for MVP as well. Yes, Beautifully sir. done, Bradley Beal off the screen. Meantime, Durant hobbling just a little bit as he heads down court. Of course, he had the bad wrist, but that didn't stop him last night in Philadelphia. Big game. Quartet had it poked away, gets it back. Wall. Beal sets up for three. Well, off to a good start. Beal again. Remains perfect from the field, four for four. 11 points already. Score the field goal, yeah, on the inbound play. It's a design play that often catches the defense off guard, and it did there. Wall kicks it out for Beal with five seconds. Beal with a nice move, and he scores. Look away. <laughs> Wall goes all the way. Left-handed flush for the Wall Star. Timeout, Steve Kerr. Now that you see Bogdanovich playing the way he is, but Mahimi is playing very well tonight. And Otto Porter, free and clear. Bucket well, will send it back to you guys. Yeah, they got behind the Warriors defense. A good lead pass by John Wall, and that set up uh, Otto Porter, his second field goal. Morris inside, high off the glass, bounces it in. Well, that was a really difficult shot because he had to turn after he received the ball towards the basket. Wall with a nice move, goes off the glass and scores. Wall, Porter on a floater. Beautifully done. Well, well done. Under control. Saw that uh, Draymond trying to set up for that charge. Alley oop for Gortat, who one hands it in. Then I asked him about Bogdanovich and what he brings to the team as Marquise Morris gets the steal here. He says he likes the way that he executes as an experienced player that is helping us get a scoring punch off the bench. Wizards do exactly that, Chris, to start the second half. They disrupt the offense and get the steal. They were called the Renaissance Big Five. They started in 1923 out of New York. 1963, as a team, they were inducted into the Hall of Fame. John Wall got the first basket of the third quarter. Oh, His consecutive passes to Markeith Morris for slams. Underneath, oh, Gortat with a great oh, pass from Wall. And Steve Kerr will take a time. Peculia lays it up and missed it. Wall. Porter spots up for three. Well, that's his shot. First three for him tonight. Beal with a three. Well, that was a big shot, much needed. Takes the lead back to five. Steve Kerr looks over at Iguodala and says, you've got to get on him. Walls open jumper. Wall with a quick move to the basket. That was a show of not just quickness, but strength as well as he leaned in on the defender. Ball into the corner. Oubre takes the shot and hits three-pointer for Kelly Oubre Jr. Good five by John, his sixth, seventeenth assist. Ball drives on Curry, a lot of contact, no call, he bounces it in. He looks over at Kenny Bauer, but keeps... Got to keep his cool, yep. Keeps his cool. He picked up a tee the other night. He's got 11 on the season. Wall drives. 
Kicks it out for Morris's three. And Kerr will take a timeout. Washington regains the lead by one. Here's Morris off the line for Wall. 19 assists for John Wall. Curry gets around Morris and lays it. Fans come to their feet at Verizon Center. Wall on a step back, too strong. Rebound Porter puts it up, and he's fouled on the play. Yes, sir. Huge free throws for OP. Washington by two. Shot clock is off. Ten seconds to play. They give it to Curry for three. Missed it. Morris the rebound, and he is fouled on the play. John Wall. Go to Thompson for the jumper. No good, and that's it. The Washington Wizards have defeated the Golden State Warriors for the first time since January 28, 2014. The Wizards snapped their two-game slide following the All-Star break. A chilly Friday night as we get the weekend started downtown at Verizon Center, where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Every game oh so important now as playoff positioning continues. Tonight, third place in the East at stake in the second of a home and home against DeMar DeRozan and the 36 and 25 Toronto Raptors. Wall hesitates, shoots, and hits. The first shot of the game is a three pointer for the Wizards who got off to a great start the other night again in Toronto. He said it's gonna be a feel thing, but he feels like Brandon is ready to go, and he is gonna really help this second unit in terms of initiating their offense. Yeah, we look forward to seeing him. Beal needs help. Wall launches another three. How about that? Second three-pointer. Marching shot way short. Right there is Beal. Kicks it out, they swing it to Wall. Wall for the open three, got another one. How about John Wall, his third three of the quarter. Wall, great crossover for the fadeaway. What a shot! Wall gets the steal. He's bumped from behind and goes flying out of bounds. DeRozan. For oh. Beal, great pass from Wall. And a shot on the reverse layups of beauty. Instinctively recognized Beal had a good angle to the basket. He was able to deliver it right on the money. Another nice assist. Porter catch and shoot and knocks down a three. Into the corner, Damare Carroll. What a shot. Big basket for Damare Carroll, his second year in Toronto. After signing as a free agent summer before last, after a couple of years with the Hawks. Good pass inside to Beal for the flush. Great recognition. John Wall saw that Carroll was playing on the high side of the pick. That led an easy lob to Bradley Beal. Blocked. Wall got it. For Porter, who drives high off the glass, couldn't get it. Rebound Patterson. Norman Powell kicks it out. Three up, way short. Beal down court for Keith Morris. His jumper is no good. Wall for the jumper. The lead is two. Great pass for Gortat. Had his shot blocked. Up ahead to Joseph. Wall's back there to get a piece of it. Beal for Wall who drives. Little contact. Missed the shot. Tips his own shot up and in. Wall drives, gets it right back. Keith Morris kicks it out. Three-pointer up and in by John Wall. Wall takes the shot, misses, and that's it. 114 to 106 as the Raptors win the rubber match between these two teams. And the Wizards fall to 36 and 24 on the year. 25 and 9 at home. Toronto improves to 37 and 25 and 16 and 14 on the road. Off the stunning victory over Boston. The homestand continues from Talking Stick Resort Arena. Suns go for four straight, five in a row 
here at the stick against one of this year's surprise teams. It's time for Suns basketball as the Phoenix Suns host the Washington Wizards on Fox Sports Arizona. Otto Porter, big local favorite in D.C. out of Georgetown. He leads the league in three-point ah. percentage at 45 percent. That's a slice and dice move by Wall. Suns defense fell asleep on that inbounds play. And it's 12-11. Suns by one. Here's Wall to Beal. And another one from the other side. That's a two open there. Suns need to talk about it because a, a, a fire has been started. And you see Wall back in because he got all the rest he needed in real time. And that's an added benefit for Scott Brooks now that he's on the court with the bench player. So a lot of times th that break really can hurt you more than help you. But Donovich shooting 65% from three in the last five games. John Wall squeezes through, gets it to go, and the foul. Oh, a circus shot by John Wall. Well, Bill trying to really get his rhythm on his shot. Came over and shook my hand. You know, I had a little yeah. lotion on. Yeah, I got a little lotion on. He said, stop touching my hand. You can put lotion on. And then what did he do? He turned around and did one partner. He drank the jump. He, he did. He said, listen to the listen to the monster. Wall, what a pass to Smith. John Wall kind of like rocks you to sleep a little bit. You don't know he's getting ready to pass the ball, but again, his size, you can see over the defense. So you always have to be ready. Yolis. Somebody got a piece of that one. 14 0 run. Oh, a nice lob to Gortat. Yeah, they didn't catch it. If he had caught it, I think Chris could have took, taken it away. Wall with Eulis. The crossover. And it goes plus the foul. What a play by Wall. Wall way outside with TJ Warren. Flings it over to Smith. Short by Warren. A rare miss for TJ. Six for nine. Quickly down floor. John Wall and a quick timeout. A 7 0 run by the Wizards after they were ice cold. Off the turnover. Wall from deep. Too strong. Gets it right back. It's the fourth opportunity. Too many. Yeah. And then the easy play. Give an NBA team two chances they're going to score. You give them four. Just let them score. LB replaced Derek Jones Jr. Here comes Wall. Turning up the speed plus the foul. People don't realize how fast this guy is. This Tyler Eulis who he's blowing past, ladies and gentlemen. This dude is a blur. Now the Suns lead. Here's Wall trying to take over this game. Uh, it's amazing what a couple of layups do for you, right? All of a sudden he makes jumpers. He couldn't buy one. Wall on the penetration kick to Smith from three, and he can gun it in from downtown. Yeah, he's got great range for a guy's size. Here's LB with a rainmaker. <laughs> and that was in. Halfway down. The bounce to Bogdanovich. What a pass by Wall. Spin move by Wall. The blocking foul. He's got too much stuff in regards to dribbling, and you can't let him lull you to sleep. LB. Here's the turnover. Wall on the run out to Morris. Timeout, Suns. Earl Watson wants to nip this run in the bud. John Wall, marching, Gortat coming together. Five point Wizards lead. Oh, what a block. And then it's Chris with the aggressive move. Offensive foul on Marquise, and that's his sixth. A well-rested Eric Bledsoe with 26 back out there now. John Wall behind the back, taking over, puts it up and in, and draws the foul and flexes his muscles. Three-point play. Wall now hits the 20-point mark from deep. John Wall. Slithers and slices his way in. And then he looks at Earl Watson as he goes back to the bench. What an emotional roller coaster this game was. Suns see their three game win streak snap, four straight at home. And the Wizards take the season series two zip. But what an entertaining, wild game here at Talking Stick Resort Arena. The Wiz go to 38 and 24. Suns now 21 and 40. Three. Ready for a run and gun Wednesday at Pepsi Center in downtown Denver tonight. The Nuggets matching up with the high flying Washington Wizards. 
Now the Wizards off the screen, and that bucket is good. Now Gary Harris against Beal. Right to him! No, Plumlee missed the follow. John Wall's got it. One of the speedier players in the league. And it's dumped under to Otto Porter. Chandler, is he still hot? That's off the heel. Wall's got it. Coming in, score it. See, that's what Wall wants to do. If, he, if anything, make him try to finish that left side. Back cut, good defensive play. Morris from the weak side. Now Wall, outside. Three-pointer on the way. That's good. Cool. Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal, he's had four games of 40 or more this season. Wall in the lane, he floats it home. So John Wall, in the December 8th game, he had 15 points, seven rebounds, five assists, three steals. This is game two of a five-game Western swing for the Wizards. Jan Mahimi, the Frenchman, has come on at 15 points yesterday and seven steals off the bench. Good job, Wall, speed, and that's why you got to make him finish left. Kelly Oubre is also in. He's a second-year man from Kansas. Now Chandler's wide open. Three ball on the way. No, off to the side. Jamal Murray is in also. Here comes Wall. Boy, is he fast. Basket counts foul. Wall, that is the speed the Wall wants to play. He's the fastest guy in the NBA, isn't he? Well, it, like Who's said, faster? It's, well, I don't know. I mean, there's not many. Ty Lawson used to be. Usain Bolt. Wall. That's good. See, when he starts hitting jump shots, you got to watch out. Second to Harden and assist. Second to Draymond Green and steals. Outside Wall. They'll make it 52 to 41. Wall has made six out of seven shots. Now the oop. And yeah, the Nuggets. Morris with the back screen. Chandler doesn't say anything, and, it, and it's to a, a, a guard, and he gets a layup. In the lane, that's good. Gortat, pretty good with the left hand. See if Wall can hit another one. Here he goes. Got it. Well, they are challenging John Wall, and he is making the pick. Gortat drops it home. Nuggets are shooting 51%, Scott. But the Wizards are shooting 85.3. Excuse me, 58.3%. More frustrated with the offense or the defense uh, tonight, Well, Scott? I mean, the defense has been terrible. Um, we have 90 points, got four minutes to go, 92 points. I mean, that, that's just bad defense. That, that's a lack of effort defense to be real honest with you. Wall answers. Murray trying to stick with it. He's just late to come out. When a shooter's already in his motion, and it's kind of the ball's at the top. And then you jump late, it's not going to do much. Yeah, Plumlee a little bit low on that screen. Porter wide open off a great screen by Gortat. And that is going to do it. So the Washington Wizards get their second straight win on the road. They are going to improve their record to 39-24. and 24. The Wizards sweep the season series. The Nuggets with the loss fall to 29 and 35. Their home record drops to 17 and 16. And it's uh, Washington with the uh, first opportunity. Road trip started in Phoenix. They win 131 and 127. Then they go into Denver, and the Wizards win by 10. And after tonight, Portland tomorrow, and then at Minnesota. And it's two nothing. Down the Boy, you talk about just being able to take off. I mean, you talk about the turbocharger being turned on. I mean, he just simply blasts to the back. And that missed badly. Yeah, Willie should have kicked that all out to uh, Darren Collison. Yeah. The push by Wall creates uh, as Jason Smith running John Wall. right at the basket, but it's starting to John Wall just running past a couple of blue shirts. Here's a three by Otto Porter. And he is automatic. That's just uh, sensational. What else can you say? Not very much. 30 to 26, that's four points for Wall on four assists. Wall, I don't know how you stop the guy. I really don't. Two-point game. Not unless you're uh, a little Olympic sprinter. Oh, my. It's like he, every time we see him, it looks like he just got shot out of a cannon. 
Uh, I don't think Dave Yeager is going to be happy with that defense. But, uh, John Wall has just broken him down too many times. I mean, fortunately, uh, you know, you got to make John shoot jump shots. Obviously, he hadn't made a jump shot, I don't think, yet. Uh, all of his uh, baskets are to the rim, 5 of 11 shooting. Oh, that's an all-star move right there. And two free throws upcoming for John Wall. Yeah, John Wall was saying, yeah, Rook, you're, I know you're trying. Leap for Collison. Derek Collison. And no, and that was well defended. Now McLemore on the deflection. No. And boy, the Kings had some phenomenal chances to find Wall and the dunk. 67-56. Well, oh, Wall never crossed half court after all that action. Most good spinning. And nope. Not a real good attempt there. No, that was a definite force. It's a shot that I don't think he has in his repertoire, but uh, Bradley Beal has that in his repertoire. So a good start to this third quarter for Washington. Two fists spinning. And nope, they won't go off the heel of the iron. Here comes the speedy John Wall. Oh, wow. Oh, if there's ever a little speedy, uh, a pretty good adjective there, but it really doesn't describe no. it, does it. And Paul Stein put it on the floor and had it taken away. Wall. And Dave Yeager needs a timeout, I think. Well, that's what Wall does. You know, when he, just in the open court, he always beats at least one guy mm -hmm. to create numbers just by running by them. And here's John Wall. A little step back 15 footer. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's a, that's a really difficult shot that he's able to make. Wall with 9 of 20 now from the floor. Amazing. There's 20 points. Now to kick out the deal. And just like that, it's a two point game. No good. And Buddy Hill has it. Numbers for the Kings. Four on two. Boy, you got to do better than that. Oh, my goodness gracious. And this makes it a tie game. Well, you couldn't handle that much worse, could you? No, you just could not. Bradley Beal, foul line jumper. And we are tied at 112. Boy, look at how Temple gets that on Beal. Not giving him any room. Now they get a switch. It's the rookie, Beal, on Beal. Two-pointer. That's why he's Bradley Beal. That is exactly why he's Bradley Beal. He is, <laughs> he is the real deal, Bradley Beal. 114 to 112. Kings in a two for one. They've got to utilize it. And Coley Stein and Billy ties the game. And again, 31.7. So the Kings did exactly what they had to do. Score quickly and barring a foul with offensive rebound. They get the ball back. Here's John Wall. And there's 19.7 and a timeout. Collison. Will he again? And we're even at 116. Four seconds. John Wall to win the game. In and out. And we're going to overtime. Now 10 on the 24. A three by Wall. And the lead is Washington's at 121 to 120. And it works perfectly. And it's. Marquise Morris, 126 to 122. Still inbound, they don't even have to advance in the final score tonight in overtime. 130 to 122. And Scott Brooks' team now goes to 40 and 24. Sacramento Falls to 25 and 40.
Well, March Madness has officially taken over the basketball world, and the Timberwolves are smack dab in the middle of their own version of it. From here on out, every game equates to survive and advance for a team fighting to hang on in the playoff race. They've got one of the most approved players on their team. We talked about this in Washington, and it hasn't stopped. Otto Porter is playing great in a Wizards uniform, shot wildly off by Andrew Wiggins. Otto Porter's leading the NBA in three-point percentage. And he gets a three-pointer away and here. She wills it <laughs> on cue. Otto Porter. Rush had one of his best games of the season in the first matchup between these two. Yeah, before he got those starting games, he came off the bench and did a great job. Yeah, Shabazz Muhammad was six, so he took Shabazz's spot in the lineup. Wall draws the foul. He played 19 minutes, had 10 points, a rebound, and yeah. a couple of made threes in the game in D.C. Beautiful ball movement by the Wolves. The only thing that didn't work was the Brandon Rush jumper. Jason Smith trailing the play, yeah, able to drill it. That's 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 what his money shot is. That 17 foot jumper. Rubio rattles out. One other thing to take care of the Timberwolves when we went to break, Jim, they were leading by 20. They're up 21 now. That's a and it falls off the rim, blocking foul. They're up. They're up 21 temporarily, pending the free throws. Wiggins. Goes to work on John Wall, rattles out. Wizards come out of there with it. Wall pulls up from three-point range and drills it. Brandon Rush, unable to connect. Bradley Beal. John Wall to Bradley Beal, that has been the largest assist, assist combination in the NBA this season. See if the Wolves can get the two for one. Wiggins. Wolves should get one last shot at it. John Wall hurries it up the floor and John Wall in transition gets it back to an eight point game. Wiggins pulls up over Morris. Wiggs just has no legs. It, most of his shots have been short and those kinds of shots are what get this going. I mean that's just that's what I was saying about shot selection. If you're going to take jumpers like that, when, when you miss that badly, it, it's difficult to rebound them, and it just ignites fast breaks, and John Wall doesn't need much of an advantage to, to get the ball out of transitions. Wall gets that to go. Unbelievable shot by Wall. The English had just enough on it. Towns attacking Gortat. Wizards come away with the basketball. Wall. Changes direction, lays it up and in. Wall goes over 20 now. Nothing you can do. What are you going to do? Just a one-man fast so break. Good. Well, when you have a player like that on your team, you love playing alongside him because you know he's going to create opportunities for you. How unselfish he is. But what a pass and what a finish. I mean, Marquise. And here come the Wizards. This is what they do. They hang around, hang around, and then find a way to win. Uh, Tom Washington in his crosshairs right now as John Walls at the free throw line. Downtown D.C. just experienced the coldest March 15th on record. Cherry blossoms don't know whether to come or go as frigid temps grip the city. But inside Verizon Center, the heat is on as CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Wiz come back from a fruitful road trip to take on Dirk Nowitzki and the 28-38 and 38 Dallas Mavericks. So uh, they bring out one, uh, not Wall knocks down that three. They bring out one six-footer, bring in Jose Barrera, uh, another six-footer. There he is, now in his 11th year from Northwestern. Pretty play. With Seth Curry, here's Otto Porter streaking to the glass, lays it up and in. He goes tumbling out of bounds into the stanchion, is wondering where a foul is. Looking over at John Goebel, who's the crew chief tonight with Carl Lane and Derek Richardson. Wall around the Gortat screen. Oh, hammer time in the first quarter. Well, he's going to like that. He's a big guy that loves to throw him down when he can. And John Wall just set him up perfectly. And one of the major concerns he had on this trip was guarding the three-point line. He said the Wizards were shooting, uh, allowing 50% from behind the arc. He said we were playing some ABA off, uh, defense. We got to get back to playing some NBA defense. Well, what a move that was. Noel was left almost shoeless. Step back jumper is good. 
Seth Curry, you see signs of his brother, don't you, the way he plays? Farrell. For Curry. Gets past Morris, off the glass and in. He has that Curry touch, doesn't he? He really, the, the resemblance is uh, striking. They clearly look a lot like each other and play like each other. Great pass, yeah. speaking of moving on up. Markeith Morris flushes it. Beal off the pass from Wall. <laughs> so pretty. It just doesn't so get pretty. any prettier than that. Curry off the screen. That looked just like his brother. Here's Davitsky knocked away by Wall, who gets the steal. John Wall down court. And nobody catching him. The league's second most productive steals leader behind Draymond Green. Wall, a little bit shorter this time, but he knocks it down. Order of a beautiful pass from Wall. Well, great job of moving without the ball. He had Devin Harris on him. Devin tried to overplay on the top side, so he cut back door and received that nice assist. Perfect pass, but Harris can't hit. Wall, quarter on the right side, makes that one. That's a three. The play before that that he made on the other side of the court was credited as a two. Curry. Flips it up and it's fouled on the play. Mavericks lost in Toronto Monday, 100 to 78. It was their second straight after losing to Phoenix Saturday, 198. Curry around the screen. Oh, tough shot. Farrell drives, tough shot, but he missed it. It's picked off on the pass by Curry. He is wide open. Makes the Wizards pay. Nowitzki in Dallas has its first lead of the game. Quarter the rebound. Last year they split a pair. Mavs got the first here. 16-104. Wall drives and scores. And the Wiz came back six days later and won in Dallas. 114-111. Snapped an 11 game losing streak to this team. Wall on Nowitzki. Use that left hand job was all over that right side. Wall drives and gets it right back in quick fashion. Wall drives, lays it up and in. Wall drives and lay it up and in. Cuts the lead to five with 14 seconds to play and an immediate foul by Washington. Wall for three, got it! Cuts it to three with 8.9 seconds to play and a foul on the inbound. Makes it, and Washington will have to uh, set their sights now on the Chicago Bulls who are here Friday night as D. Wade comes to Verizon Center. Wizards fall to 41-26 and 26 on the year, 26-10 and 10 at home. Tonight in our nation's capital, the Bulls go back to work, albeit shorthanded with D. Wade out for the remainder of the regular season. Tough test tonight. It's the Bulls at 32 and 36 versus the Wizards at 41 and 26. There's Rondo down court, and he is blocked by Wall. But the Bulls get it right back, and they score. And Rondo's so good at that, stripping the ball, especially when a big man has his head turned. Beal on a step back baseline, good. So well. Here's Beal. This is a three, and it's good. Excellent job of setting his man up. That's called moving without the ball and running your man so you can get the separation without a lot of energy wasted. Smith scored the field goal. Another great pass from Wall. Miritich. He was bothered by Porter. He was. May have gotten an extra step. Beal cranks up the three. Well, already Bradley Beal, four of six and double digit scoring. Phil, I'll ask you this, the balance of rest, recovery, trying to get your body right for the playoffs or keep the momentum going and see how many wins you can accumulate. Where do you stand on that position? Well, I'm kind of with Jay, but I'm, more importantly, I'd like to see them get the magic back here at the phone booth. Oh, beautiful. Jan Mahinmi is coming to the game and done some nice things. Wall gets another assist. 
He has all eight of the teams but fifth. Wizards have their largest lead of eight. Jason Smith hits again. Smith, the open shot, got it. He hits just so dependable. Rondo lost it. Smith has it. Now Wall down court finds Bogdanovich for three. And you notice how Bogdanovich, as soon as he caught the ball, got his feet set. Didn't want to find himself leaning one way or the other. Got his feet set, raised up and elevated, knocked down the shot. Oh, great pass. Wall to Oubre. He is a magician. John Wall with oh. his 12th assist of the game. That was a beauty, too. Wall down it at the buzzer. A three-pointer for John Wall. Washington's seventh of the half. That is the first field goal of the quarter for Washington at the 8.36 mark. Rondo weaving his way in. First layup for Rondo. Beauty. Wall quickly down court. Flips it up and in with a little Euro step action. Yeah, he slowed his pace. He was going at a mad speed. And blew by several def uh, defenders for the Bulls. Bradley drives oh. high off the glass. Score the field goal. He'll go to the line. Alley oop. Oh, what a play. <laughs> Perfect pass from Wall to Beal. Did somebody get a piece of that as, as John delivered the pass? It looked like it was deflected or misdirected. But it was. Another great pass from Wall. Those two work as well together. Yeah. And I like seeing that go to Gortat. I, you know, I just really feel like he's got to get a few more touches and get himself unhinged. He's been really struggling. Brandon Jennings with a three. Got one the other night against Dallas. Wall from Mahinmi with a nice fake, and he puts it in. Got Mahinmi with 12 points off the bench for Washington. Bogdanovich in traffic, hanging, gets it to roll in. Beal for Gortat. Smith, they swing it. Now Wall drives, lays it up and in. Aggressive attacking John Wall. But you notice how many people touch the ball. Good ball movement. Wall makes a move on Laverne. Pass for Porter. Otto shot. What a play. Wow. Beautiful pass by John Wall. His 19th assist. The fourth time in his career he's reached that number. But more importantly... Keeps Washington seven points up. alley -oop, Wall to Gortat, beautifully done. And John Wall has set a new career high with 20 assists. Wall penetrates, plays it up, and he missed the shot, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line where he is one of two tonight. Big shots by John Wall to put his team up by four. That's the end of the game. The Wizards hang on to get the victory and improve to 42 and 26 on the year. Welcome to Verizon Center in our nation's capital. An Eastern Conference tilt between the Hawks and the Wizards. Both of these teams very much in the East playoff picture. Washington currently the three seed. Atlanta is currently the five. John Wall as electrifying a star as we have in the NBA, having an outstanding season. One of three players averaging 20 plus points and 10 plus assists this year. Atlanta turns it over. Each of these teams among the league leaders in forcing turnovers. Beal off the curl puts it home. Well, that's a pretty looking jump shot, Ryan. Wall the lob and Morris flushes it down. Ruder, the floater. Banks around and off. Howard try to clean it up, cannot. Gortat slaps it away, tries to trigger a break. Here's Wall weaving through bodies. The kick to Beal. He got it. How about John Wall? You look like he's in trouble because he's driven into three defenders, but somehow keeps his ability to make the pass to Beal. Wall comes up with a steal. The spin, the lay, no, but a whistle. And John Wall... Will shoot two as Washington trying to build something at the end of this half. Gortat can't hit. Porter keeps it alive again. And then throws it away. Here comes Prince in transition. Blocked from behind by Lowell. But then put home by Hardaway. Plus the foul. 
negating what would have been an outstanding defensive sequence for Washington after the sensational block. John has, you know, he's got 14 technicals, so he's too shy of a one-game suspension. And he does not want that 16th tech as he finally connects on a field goal. This one from three. After starting 0 of 8, Wall is on the board. Wall through the contact there as he bodied into Ilyasova. That'll be number four on Ursan Ilyasova. Look at Atlanta back in transition. Four bodies back, so Wall has to be patient. He's one of 11 from the floor. Creates here for Porter. He got it in the corner alone. He's become a shot maker. Here's Wall. Wall will pull up. And get it to drop. So this is why you like Gortat, right? He set two tremendous screens, and actually on the last possession got Bradley Beal a wide open shot, which he just could not make. But the guy understands how to play that position, how to set up a screen, what angle to come at. Wall blazes right to the rim for two. Schroeder sizing up Morris, trying to blow past him, lost the basketball. Schroeder down. Washington with numbers. Wall, nifty. Beal. You bet. Bruder will heave at it blocked. And Mahimi controls. Wall, the lob, and Beal oops the alley. Wall accelerates, bumps, hits, and the foul. Wall now with 15 in the second half. Bruder turns it over again. Here is Wall to the rim. Wall on the drive, the dish, and the finish from Morris. What poise that possession from Washington. We just talk about perfect execution. It's all 24 of the shot clock used. Wall, the pull-up is good. Boy, easy, just so easy. Bradley Beal will get to dribble this out as Washington grinds out a 104-100 victory over Atlanta. Very busy day up on Capitol Hill. Healthcare, a topic of conversation. The topic, as it is a few blocks down the street at Verizon Center, where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. John Wall battling a migraine headache. He and the Wiz look to take a four-game sweep over Brooke Lopez and the 15-56 and 56 Brooklyn Nets. Well, Trevor's had a lot of success in the three meetings against Washington. A double-double is what he averages. What a spectacular move by Wall, faking the crossover and going to his left for two. Wall into the paint, steps back for Gortat, who scores. Nice pass. Well, good recognition. They forced the switch. Jeremy Lin on the backside of Marching Gortat, no question about it, dump it into the big guy. Here's Porter. Otto Porter connects. Now the second best three-point shooter in the NBA, just percentage points behind Kyle Korver. Lynn underneath, knocked away, good steal by Wall, and Porter has it. Otto pulls up from 16, beautifully done. Yeah, great concentration. He knew he had a defender coming in from behind him, but he had to focus on that shot, elevate and release the shot. Wall for his jump shot, good. There's that curl off that uh, wing pick in that last meeting in New Brooklyn is Porter that came away with four rebounds, three offensive rebounds. Oh, in the how about that move? Wall had to dip under, go low, and come up off the glass. How about that? Looked at, rolls it in off a great move by Wall. Not clock off for Wall, who makes a move around Goodwin, drives oh. inside, drive for the slam, no call, court, and that's the end of the first half. Wall scoops one up off the glass and in. Pass intercepted, Wall down court, receives it from Beal, touchdown. But how important is it to have kind of a defensive mindset in, in, a, in an environment like that? Uh, it's extremely important for the program we're trying to build. Knocked up, Wall has the steal. Coming down court, Beal. Uh, off the glass, score the field goal, and he'll go to the line on a spectacular move.
Long kick pass to Heaney. Score it. Tip for tap. He'll go to the line to try to get a three-point play. Wall turns on the gas, lays it up and in. No stopping him. So good at that up and over move where he takes it from one side of his body to the other, but it goes over the defender's head and then he has a clear angle. Wall from 16, knocks it down. 22 points for John Wall. Wizards 44 and 28 on the year, 29 and 10 at home. And they knock off the Brooklyn Nets 129 to 108, sweeping the season series. That gets your blood boiling. Cavaliers and Wizards presented by AT&T. And yes, they could be on a collision course. Could in all caps because they both could have to get by the first round of the playoffs, but could meet in round two. We'll see how it all transpires. But right now, Washington is in third, which means they would face Boston in round two if things stay according to Hoyle. As the Cavaliers hanging on to that one game lead, two in the loss column over the Bostonians. Kyrie Irving. Oh, Tom Thompson on the spoon team. He one extra dribble. He held the, the defense on the ground. And the big end, and double T throws it down. So John Wall comes right back with the jump shot. Here comes LeBron James. Does he go at Wall? Spins. Wall, nice cook away. He's among the league leaders in steals. Number three overall. Wall sends it. And knocks it down. A much improved shooter as his career has gone on. John Wall has five. And LeBron James short off the glass. What a restricted free agent in the summertime coming up. Wall on a blur. Got to keep him out of that position as much as possible, Fred. He is a blur when he gets that ball in that open court situation. He goes 9-8. Kyrie got a round wall. Left-handed clipper doesn't go. A tough break. That comes John Wall. Wall contemplating three. Now he sends it and hits it. How about that? John Wall with 10 already in the quarter. Shot clock at 10. Wall always in attack mode. We know that. Off the bounce. He hit it. Boy, he's got it going. He's got it jumper. going now, boy. Woo. Five of five. Beal flared out. Nice cut, and he hit it. Boy, I tell you, these guys are having. They think they got the Cavaliers' number, and they're playing like it, Fred. Here comes Wall, using his strength that time in a post up. Gave it up to a cutting Rotat. Rotat has four. They worry so much about Wall that they're letting other things get it open. Ball game in his hands early on. He can't miss. Are you serious? We just got Wall's got 14. Jason Smith loves that shot. He's a good mid-range shooter, too. Cavs have really given up a lot of uncontested shots. I mean, they're getting there too late. Wall picked up by Love. So he tries to dribble drive. He sure does. And he gets to the rack. John Wall, 16 in the quarter and counting. Still has not missed. And Wall. That's tough. You can't, you can't switch when you don't have to switch. He's putting on a shooting clinic. Eight of eight for 18. Kyrie Irving. Inside Mahimi, the shot blocker. And Mahimi's length perhaps bothered the shot. Wall, bounce feeding Uber. They're running the floor. They're scoring. They're getting what they want. Right and one coming up for Uber. Hard drive to the hole. John Wall swooping and scoring. Man. John Wall finished it. Count the bucket looking for the end one. Boy, they're having so much trouble with that high pick and roll. That's got a little more physical that time. Go tight on the catch. Turns. And it rims in. Porter sent it and hits the three ball. So Otto Porter has five. 76 70. Cavs within six. Here comes Wall. Post up. He was stripped. Kyrie Irving with a quick hand. Much better pressure right now to start this third quarter. Got to stay attached. Wall flares out. Hits it. John Wall, cool and calm. He's got 26. But that's all right, though. I like that effort. Porter set it. And the face hit it. Great concentration on a quarter. So he's got eight. Kevin Love squares up. In rhythm for three. Thompson could not outdo. Real top for the rebound. Here comes John Wall. Getting to the hole. No! Contested in a late whistle foul on Kyrie Irving. Wall continues his sensational night. As he's got 27 now. Kyrie to the hole, spins it up, no! Too hard. Shot he normally gets to go. Washington dodged several bullets there, and the Wall hits the jumper, of course. LeBron on the post up. Against John Wall, mouse in the house. See if he can take advantage. Wall digging at it. LeBron the fadeaway. 
Nope. Well defended by John Wall. Did as well as he could. You got to stop the ball. Here comes Wall. <laughs> and he put it down. He's fine. He's at 46. Double doubles this year. He needs one assist to get there again. And an all-star performance here tonight. 92-82. Oh He's really got his team off to a great start in that first quarter. The follow-up off the glass. Short throw. Both defenses got to him. Here comes the wall. Gets to the rack. Oh. And he was fouled by Kyle Corbin. Kyle says I didn't touch him. You put no bodies on people, you don't get good re results. You got to get physical with people, and you have to... You can't be so worried about switching all the time. I mean, sometimes you got to man up. Oh, LeBron James takes his time. Blocked by Wall. Retreat by LBJ. Washington has been above 60% since, since they walked off the team bus oh, and they smash it inside with Morris. John Wall. Going right at Irving. Got to the rack. With ease. So Wall has been a one-man wrecking crew tonight with 37. Shot clock down to five. Pass intended for Thompson. Stolen by Porter. Here comes Wall again, the corner oh. in your face dunk. And Washington has manhandled the Cavaliers here at the queue. They lead by 12. Final score, the Washington Wizards in a near wire to wire victory here tonight. Come in and beat the Cavaliers 127 to 115. So the Cavs fall to 20, or excuse me, 47 and 25. The Wizards 45 and 28. And Washington now within two and a half games of the top spot. Can't forget about them either. As we, of course, been so focused standing-wise on the second place Boston Celtics. A sparkling, sunny, warm day and a beautiful evening in L.A. Downtown Los Angeles and the first of two straight at Staples Center. Where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight the Wiz look for their fourth straight win. And their first division title in 38 years as they meet D'Angelo Russell and the 21 and 52 Los Angeles Lakers. Not only do you get a win on this road trip, but you beat a team in Cleveland. And as Bradley Beal said, we know we can win there now, and that gives you loads of confidence. Absolutely, that's what you want to do is uh, certainly show yourself as well as the rest of the league what you can do. John Wall gets oh. things started with that jumper. He got things started in Cleveland. He went eight for eight from the field in the first quarter. Yeah. Had the best first quarter of his career. Yeah. Another steal for John, who's second in the league in that department. Wow, what a move. He just measured Brewer coming down the court, turned him basically around, and draws the foul. Here's a pass underneath. Great play. Good combination between Wall and Beal. Little eye contact there. Just sets it all in motion. Oh, oh wow. the left-handed slam. Wow. How about our keys to the game presented by your Washington area GMC dealers? We'll talk back on February 2nd when these two teams met. Marching Gortet had a great game, 21 and 13. Only missed three shots in that particular game. They have to come in with the attitude of taking no prisoners with this young LA team. Here's Otto on the baseline, and he's hot. Bradley Beal now needs three three-pointers to surpass Antoine Jameson and move into second place all time on the Wizards' uh, three-point shots made list. The other thing, Phil, and you saw Scott Brooks drawing up a play in the huddle, you would think that with L.A.'s defense, which has been porous, just be patient and take good shots. You don't have to force things. Yeah, you don't have to go one-on-one. -on -one. Just work the ball around for a good shot. You're right. Beal lurking, tries to feed Gortat. It's picked off on the play. And they get it right back. Here's Wall. Beautiful alley-oop for Beal. Mahimi off the glass, score the field goal. And Jan, who's already been to the free throw line five times, We'll go back to try to get one, so Gortat will have to wait. Here's Innes. A couple of screens set for him. He gets a wide open shot, but misses. Quarter for Wall. Wall attacks, lays it up with a left hand and in. Looks like he stretched his arm over the head of Nwaba. Alley oop, Wall to Keith Morris. LA by one. Wall drives for the short jumper, it's good. 12 points, 10 assists for John Wall, three rebounds. The Lakers lead by five. Wall stops from 14, that's good. 14 points for John. 
Now Wall gets an open look. He tries and scores. Gortat really bothered by Zubats. Going to make a move on him. Double team on Gortat. He kicks it out to Wall. Shoots a three and hits. Good recognition by March. That's what you have to do. That trap comes down. You've got to find the open man. Wall inside. Score the field goal. He'll go to the line. John at the line where he is two for two in this game. 22 points in the game for John Wall. 19 for Clarkson, 24 for Russell. Oubre will try a three. Good shot by Kelly, but of course you can't trade baskets when you're down 12. John with a nice move, drives, lays it up and in. Just so fast. Wall for Jennings. Here's Bogdanovich. Now he goes himself to lay it up and in. And the lead is two, the closest it's been since it was 65 62 with 9.44 to play in the third. Wall gets another steal. This time nobody's catching Wall, and this game is tied at 101. Pressure by Oubre forced that turnover. John gets the steal, but again, it's that pressure. And force the ball handler to cough the ball up. Wall alley oop for Morris on a great pass and John's 13th assist of the game. Cross court Oubre. He'll shoot a three. Got it! Huge shot from Kelly Oubre Jr. Wall says, let's keep the side cleared for me. Steps back for a jumper. How big is that? Doesn't get any better than that to use all of the 24 second shot clock and then drill the two. Put your team up by nine with less than a minute to go. Oh, so Washington man. in position to tie their fourth largest comeback this season. They were down by as much as 16. That jumper by John puts his team up by nine. Look at the step back there, the great separation. Russell can't get to him in time. 34 points for Wall, 14 assists, and he and Jason Smith celebrate at the other end. And the Washington Wizards have captured their first division title since 1978-79. Their first ever Southeast Division title as well. The Wizards are champions of the Southeast Division for the first time in 38 years. Eight. The LA Clippers have had two days to recover and regroup after Sunday's collapse against the Sacramento Kings. Now the focus turns to one of the Eastern Conference's hottest teams, the Washington Wizards. Deflected nicely by Gortat, and there goes Wall, running like the wind. And he's having a great year, too. Here comes Wall. Escape Paul and hits the jump shot. Ralph, if you heard me say Chris Paul loves like a mid-range jump shot, so does John Wall. 19-13, Griffin again to the basket, swoop to the goal and score. Like I honestly think that coast to coast by Blake opened up that idea. Wall going to work. Great help by DJ. Smith in the corner for three. He's become a very good three-point shooter. He kind of added the three ball to his game. He's over 50% this year. And, and Ralph, he never shot three. Ready, runs out. Long rebound. Griffin had it, couldn't control it. Wall in control to the basket for two plus one. And nobody loves the pace more than that guy. Speaking of John Wall. Wall to Gortat. Cooper stay with that same matchup. Man. Ralph, 37% this year is a lot better than his career number of 32, his last year number of 35. Smith for three. He's a willing shooter now, isn't he? Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you. Griffin. Picking up Wall of the switch. Wall tests him, wins the battle, but loses the war. Crawford throws it away. Wall with a steal, always among the league leaders in steals. Smith for three more. Bingo. This is remarkable. That's his sixth three-point try in the ball game in just 12 minutes. You know what he was last year? Four out of 16. Wow. Wall gets the bucket. 56-48, the Clippers. Here's Wall. 
Around the screen by Gortat to the baseline. There's one of those mid-range shots again. He, he's so much a better player than he used to be. Wall oh. makes it temporarily that big. Ralph, he made everyone, including DJ, think he was going reverse layup and stopped and elevated on the front side of the rim and surprised him. Beal for three. Bingo. Just getting warmed up is Bradley Beal. <laughs> His second three of the game. Don, are they <laughs> are they executing better, which it looks like, or is Washington's defense not that sharp? Well, I think Washington's not that sharp, Mike, but I also I also sensed right from the start the Clippers playing with more purpose. Well, and this month has been particularly gruesome in terms of travel. Like not only the number of games in the month of March, Ralph, but how about in different time zones all the time? Yeah. And never two in a row in the same time zone, it seemed like. Wow. And the shootout continues. Look, look at the pace. These looks are wide open, clean looks. Well, might be a matter of I think it's back-to-back -back games. It might be a matter of too much uh, night clubbing last night. Now they trailed the Lakers. Had a terrible third quarter last night. Lakers had 95 points through three quarters of play. They're up by 13, led by as many as 16. And these guys came back. And they got guys like Beal that can Fill up the net. Well, that's quite and a move to the basket there. Uh, not to be discounted in this whole process is the mentorship tutelage of Scotty Brooks. Oh, was kind of coming up done here. A wall, the throw down with the left hand. Why do you think Wall dunks everything left-handed, Don? Oh no, I think maybe just growing up, that's the only way he could do it early. Well, all the way to the rim. Overshoots the mark. And the wall's back. All the way to a basket, exploding to the rim. Uh, well, Doc cannot sit back and play this second unit against Wall and Beal out there together. But the Scottie, Wall will work against Anderson. Scotty Brooks very well adept at keeping one star on the floor as he did with Durant and Westbrook. And that's exactly oh, the formula that gets them back in the game. Wall again to the goal for the slam dunk with the left hand. Oh, me, oh, my. Wall like this matchup better. Shoots over Bogdanovich. Will not get it the ball. Rebound. One hand scoop by Ubre. Wall exploding to the goal. Guys who play that way, Ralph. Full speed ahead, downhill. You cannot let him run like that. You've got to pick him up sooner. Ball's knocked loose. Wall hit hard. Fouled by Blake Griffin. First ever time in Wall's career, he's gone for 40 in a road game. Well, he's having quite a trip. So the Wizards come to L.A. and they split, defeating the Lakers last night, 119 to 108. They get even more points tonight, 124, but they fall by a final tally of 133 to 124 in the basketball game. A taste of summer in D.C., beautiful day on the mall with temps in the 80s. And just a few blocks down the road, the final two regular season home games at Verizon Center, where CSN brings you Wizards basketball. The Wiz returned from a long 10-day road trip, hoping to capture the season series against Kemba Walker and the 36-41 Charlotte Hornets. Picked off by Wall, second in the league in steals, runs into Morris, and then attacks, gives it up. Porter with a nice pass to Beal, steps back from 15 and got it. Knocked away, Wiz get the steal, here comes Beal. Beal gets between the defenders and can't finish. And he was thinking about dunking that, but got himself too far underneath. Wall gets it again. And now John in a foot race with Walker. And Walker pulls it away and knocks it out of bounds on a nifty defensive play. They don't have to play with some passion and a sense of urgency. The, the Hornets, this is a team that possesses the ball very well. Number one in fewest turnovers. They give up the fewest uh, free throw attempts. John knocking down the three. And they're also number two in defensive rebounds, so they don't give a lot of second chance points. Beal gets an open look, drains it. Give the assist to John Wall. Wall. Great oh, pass yeah. for Morris. Boy, it looked like he was about to pull the trigger on the jump shot, but the last minute delivered that bounce pass. Difficult way to receive it, but Marquis handled it easily. Here's Morris who will fake this one. And now drive inside for the slam. 
Well, I like that hesitation and then continuing on and getting the high percentage dunk. Wall drives and lays it in. Well, John Wall putting his head down, protecting that basketball as he drove through two different Hornet defenders. Batum for a long three. Keith Morris, you see Marvin Williams over there trying to get that rebound. Wall drives, gives it up to Gortat, and he scores. Well, what another beautiful delivery by John Wall. Wall tried to knock it away twice and does. Well, he's already got four steals. If they give him credit, that's five for him. Wow. Gortat had it knocked away. Keith Morris has it. Wizards have lost three straight. Charlotte's won three straight. Here's an open look for three. Good. Good to see Marquise Morris knock that shot down. Take a look at our Toyota League leaders. And uh, since 2010-11, John Wall's rookie year, only two players in the league have 800 or more steals and 300 or more blocks. As the Wizards go the other way and draw the foul. And they are Paul Millsap and John Wall. 800 or more steals, 300 or more blocks. Gortat gets another one. Up ahead to Wall. Feeds inside. Bill for the slam. Williams gets around Morris from 14. No good. Gortat battling gets the rebound. Wall launches and connects. A three-point field goal to tie the game at 71. Wall with a nice move, drives, and scores! He's getting real good at that real quick delivery off that drive, getting the ball quickly to the glass. Not even the elevation is necessary. The release happens so quick the defense can't recover. Wall gets inside for the left-handed slam. Kimball Walker thought he had help on that side, so he was driving John to his right. But as the defense shifted, John was able to make the crossover and finish strong with that left-hand thunder. Quartet, nice pass from Wall, and Marchant scores. And John Wall with a double-double now, 16 points and 10 assists. Field. Looking for Gortat. He needs help. Finds Wall. Donald take a three and hit it. Nothing but net for John Wall, his third three-pointer of the game. Smith redeems himself. Six-point lead with 2.45 to play. Wall attacks, lays it up and in. Boy, the beauty of being able to shoot with either hand as you go in there. He kept the ball moving away from defenders. I think that was Walker to try to reach from one side, switch it over to the left, and then finish nicely with the right hand. Wall. Oubre. How about that? Boy, they needed that. Kelly Oubre. Another three for Washington for Kelly. That was his third. Wall drives. Baseline, Porter, got it for three! Time out, Charlotte! And that's going to do it. The Wizards snap their three-game losing streak, win for the 30th time at home. Their first 30-win season at home since 1988-89, as Washington improves to 47 and 31 on the year with four regular season games to play. The New York Knicks are presented by Chase, and with four games to go, it is the New York Knicks and the Washington Wizards who are looking good going to the playoffs. Beal swooping and hey. missing the hoop. Watch it. <laughs> Ernie Gomez taken away. Beal wrestled it right out of his hands and hands it off the wall. Ernie Gomez 6'10". He made himself 5'10". at the ball at his waist. And then Wall goes to the basket. And runs over a cameraman. Anthony Short. And Baker trying to draw the foul. Officials say play on. Wall stops. Three-pointer is good for John Wall. He only shoots 32% from there. But he puts the Wizards up by six as they've scored ten in a row. Todd throws it out to Wall. Wall tries another three and hits another three. So Porter's three didn't count, but Wall's does. Baker off the dribble, goes in and finishes. Swiss cheese D that time by the Wizards. Beal. That's good. Yeah, Beal, excellent three-point shooter. Beal and Porter 
The two premier three-point shooters on the team. Walk gets inside, throws it down, and poor defensive help right there. We show him at the top of the show, he likes to dunk with the left hand, rarely uses the right. Crowd still a buzz by that stuff. Wall to Nahimi, Nahimi to finish. Nahimi distinguishing himself tonight. Ball kicks it up. Bradley Beal can't get it to fall. Ball tipped back out. Good job by Gortat to kick it out. Ball inside to Gortat, and he finishes. By the way, like NBA in a lot of ways, too, now with free agency. It's about recruiting as well. Marshall Plumley back out there again. He started the game, picked up a couple of quick fouls. Wall with a block on Baker's three point attempt. Splendid deed at a time by the Wizards. Getting over the screens with Gusto. Lee ah. stops. Can't get it to fall. And he thought he was fouled. Dismal start for both teams on the offense. Beal lines it up and hits the three. Lee spent too much time that time arguing the nine call, non call, and did not get back on defense. Here's Baker. Baker drives. Layup is good. Baker with 12 points. Most of them coming off dribble penetration tonight for Baker. You know, we've seen a pretty big improvement on him in recent weeks with the additional minutes. Gortat throws it down. And as we've talked about, Clyde, you, you can't be seduced by games that don't mean anything. And obviously for the Knicks, these games don't mean anything. Wall, doing a little globetrotter action. Fine spot on the other side of the floor, <laughs> knocks it down. He's benched like that one. That might get Wall going now. Devastating with the little 15 footer. Watch this. Swirling, <laughs> curling. <laughs> See, that's a carry, though, Mike. You see how they stopped the ball? That's yes. discontinuing. I agree. Gortat fouled and won. See, Wall is just picking them apart now. Endor cuts to the basket, misses a layup. O'Quinn with a gorgeous pass. Nixon missed two dunks and two layups here in this period. And Wall knocks down the three. That's what happened. That it, They always come back to haunt you. Wall. Nice move. Just kind of low Hernan Gomez and then blew past him. Wall sets and hits another three. John Wall from downtown has been terrific. Wall crossover drives and finishes with the left hand. And what was it? A big on a little Hernan Gomez there. No match for Wall. Hernan Gomez sets the screen for Anthony. Anthony catches. See, and now looking to use that foul. Mark. Anthony for three. Off the mark. Rebound tipped and taken by Wall, and that will do it. Anthony got a good look, a chance to tie it. But the Knicks fall short, and the Wizards get an important win for them as they try and get to that third spot in the East. And as we've seen all season, Knicks having chances but cannot finish down the stretch. Easter Sunday in Washington, D.C. The fans filing in for game one of this first round series. It's the NBA playoffs on TNT. The Atlanta Hawks and the Washington Wizards. We get it started this afternoon at Verizon Center. Bradley Beal played in an all-star level, didn't make the team, but it was a numbers game. Yeah, and it really was an all-star other than that first month of the season as Raw continues to show the improvement with that jump shot. A career high this season shooting the basketball. And, boy, he has been a terrific leader for this Wizards group as well. As Morris knocks down the three. And Morris is one of the few guys that is very similar to Millsap. He's got the power forward frame, but he's got the small forward versatility in terms of his game. And there he showed it with the ability to stretch it from beyond. Atlanta in the playoffs for the 10th consecutive year. Longest stretch in the Eastern Conference. Gortat gets the deuce. He's so unorthodox as a finisher around the paint because he'll shoot it off the wrong foot. That was a quick runner there, but he and Wall have such a great chemistry. Schroeder rolls out. Gortat up ahead. Washington in transition. Wall right down the middle. Wall gets it to go and a foul. And, and that was priority number one for the Atlanta Hawks coming in. You have to contain John Wall in transition. There he goes one on three. John Wall said he can feel it when he's walking around the city. And there's a restaurant that has become a landmark in the nation's capital, Ben's Chili Bowl. They decided to feature John Wall and Bradley Beal on the side of the building. They're famous for their big murals. And just to give you a little perspective, one of the celebrities on the side of the building before John Wall and Bradley Beal were featured was President Barack Obama. So it's a huge deal. The city's loving every minute of it. And John Wall delivers <laughs> on cue with a layup. Eight points, 10-2 Washington.
Washington. Howard trying to get involved, and Howard misses on the interior. Wall runs into Porter. Wall on the move. Oh, Shovel five. Big finish. Marquise Morris. Oh, it's an eight nothing run for the Wizards. Oh, to get going as what Wall. a connection, John Wall, <laughs> on a special delivery to Gorton Porter. What a setup by Wall. And a chance at a three-point play for Porter. And, and, you know, John Wall's out there playing chess while everybody else is playing chess. He, he saw that play develop before it actually did. Jennings, he's been struggling with that jump shot. Long rebound, tracked down by Dunleavy. Two on one developing. Gives it up. Schroeder. Oh, chase down block by Wall. Schroeder comes away with the offensive rebound. Baysmore comes up short. And it's rebounded by Wall, looking for some easy buckets. Wall accelerates. Ah! Left hand. John Wall in attack mode. Baysmore unable to get that runner to go. Here's Wall. John Whatever. Wall gives it up. Gortat perfectly what, executed on the break. And what made it was the outlet pass from Otto Porter. Wall in between the lines and he sticks the jumper. That was a big shot there by John Wall. Remember early on, the Wizards did a great job of attacking the offensive glass, but the Hawks have really settled down here and controlled that defensive backboard since about the six-minute mark of that first quarter. The spin by Wall, the kick for Porter, a three. Schroeder, he's got an extra gear. Yeah, that's a big finish. You, you talk 14 turnovers, but also only seven assists. John Wall, he is a blur. I didn't get the blink between the time that Schroeder scored and Wall comes right back off of Nate and able to knock down that layup. Wall, oh, oh, John Wall creating highlights. Millsap with Porter. Hands to Schroeder, who's back in. Schroeder turns it over, Beal steps in front of Millsap. Wall on the move, shovels. Oh, <laughs> on a rock attack! Lob it. Oh, John Wall! The alley feed as Morris climbs the imaginary ladder. And just a great read by Wall and Morris on that play it was Wall. Oh, John Wall is locked in! And that's what turned John Wall from an all-star to a superstar. Wall lobs it up. Took it to top. What feel from John Wall. This matches Washington's largest lead, 11. Wall squeezes in for the bucket and the foul. Somehow Wall created a crack. Fourth foul on Schroeder. It's an eight-nothing run. Wall has 23 points and 11 assists, and they've got their largest cushion of the day. Jennings not going to take that shot. Wall will. Gets the bounce. Everything is working for John Wall. John Wall. He is dialed in. Wall the no luck for Gortat. Underneath. If you're Atlanta. You're going to go look at that film. If you don't come back and pull this out, you're going to just focus oh, on it. You see Gortat. The Polish hammer. With the emphatic finish there, you're going to get a, a delay of game. A technical there on Gortat. He's more on a spin, and he gets it to drop with 17 seconds left. Long lead pass. Whoa! Lays it in. 32 for John Wall. Setting the tone in this series. The Washington Wizards jump out in front in this best of seven opening round series. Competitive game one belongs to Washington. 114 to 107. John, congratulations. You open up the playoffs here in Washington for the first time and you put up career highs. What was it like when you saw this home crowd rise to their feet in that final minute? Can't ask for nothing more, man. Uh, I've been through a lot in seven years to finally get a playoff game to start off here and not come here with third and four. That was great. We had a lot of guys, as you can tell, was nervous a little bit on. But uh, Marquise, 
Brandon, Bo, Kelly, Jason, everybody that played today gave us big minutes. And uh, they play with intensity. They understand what this means. I know you were looking forward to going up against Schroeder and some of the guys that you remember from the 2015 playoff series against Atlanta. What was the, the, the dynamic like on the court? And did that drive you throughout the game? Yeah, it's a lot of energy in this building for me. Uh, coming out two knee surgery this summer. Uh, working a lot this summer. Uh, having a new team, new coaching staff. Losing to these guys before. Uh, the shooter played great today. Uh, we kept some of the guys out of rhythm. You know it's going to be tough for seven games, but played a lot of intensity, and this is what we needed to come home and uh, get a good win on Happy Easter. Congratulations, John. Thank you. Bradley Beal coming off 22 points. Here's Torian Prince who drives and misses. Wall will pull up for the jumper and hit it. John Wall with 32 points in the last game was 12 of 24 from the field. Wall launches a three and hits it. Boy, that time, Gortat got away with a little shove on Howard. Pushed him out of position. Beal for three. Boy, fans were just waiting for that one to drop. Bradley, Bradley Beal had all kind of time. Another assist for John Wall. Knocked onto the floor and Gortat has it. Picked up by Wall. Wall, fading jumper. Good! Time out Atlanta! Wall still trying to get contact and a reach-in foul is called and the fans applaud. Four minutes gone by here in the quarter. Wall loads up for three. How about that? Yes, sir. John Wall with his second long ball of the game has 15 points. Wall got a piece of it, but the follow right there by Prince. Wall for Gortat. Nicely done. That's Martin's first two there, but set up nicely by John Wall. Wall trying to get free. Slips past Gortat and then a great pass to Marchin. Wall, challenging, gives it off to Gortat. He lays it up and in. And without Howard in there, John Wall and the Wizards attacking the paint. Yeah. Porter, one of the few open looks that he's had, and he knocks that one down. That's his first field goal of the game. Otto's one for three. Wall gets a steal and slams it in. 28 assists in game one by Washington was the most of any team in a game one in these playoffs. Wall for the open jumper knocks it down. Saw John working on that play after practice yesterday. Just uh, again, knowing that uh, Howard's not going to come out, use that pick, keep your defender behind you. Wall drives, just pass for Gortat. Wow. He had to thread the needle there. He certainly did. Again, those are tough passes in those tight quarters for a big man to handle, but Marcin Gortat made it look easy. Wall drives. Contact. Score. They go to the line. You think he's jacked up? Wall can tie the game at 94. That is Washington's first free throw of the quarter. Atlanta has shot nine. Wall. Stutter step, waits, got Schroeder on him, looking for a screen from Gortat. Spinning move, big shot by John Wall. Baysmore knocked away from behind. Here's Wall down court. Timeout Atlanta. Shot clock at seven. Beal the jumper, dagger! And that's going to do it for Washington. Up ahead to Markeith Morris. He'll just hang on to the basketball. And the Wizards have won game two in this best of seven Eastern Conference first round series. Leading 2-0. Headed back to Atlanta for games three and four. Two strong performances by the Wizards in Washington. But tonight, the series shifts to Atlanta. It is game three. The NBA playoffs on TNT opening round series between the Wizards and the Hawks. Washington in front, 
two games tonight. That's been the whole talk of the series is how could Dwight impact the series, not how is he impacting the series. The truth is they didn't play him in the fourth quarter of last game. It was a coach's decision. He's failed to score in double figures in back-to-back -back playoff games for the first time in his career, and he's being dominated by Gortat, a guy who was his backup in Orlando. And you mentioned earlier, coach said he needs to do a better job of screening. He said he can't let the offense come to him. If he wants to be involved in this offense, he has to get screens, go with the flow of the offense, run the floor, and let the opportunities, instead of coming to him, he needs to create them for himself. Wall, shield, shooter, and gets the floater. Schroeder on a switch. Now he's got Oubre. Schroeder pulls the trigger. Yes, it's a three. It's a Hawks barrage in this opening quarter. Oh, oh my goodness. John Wall with some nasty stuff. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see that in slow motion. Wall, five to shoot. Against Bazemore. Cross. Corner pop. Oubre. Rebound knocked to the outside. Wall's got it. Down to two seconds. One second. From the corner. Oh! John Wall drains it. Hardaway. Step back, Jay. Gortat crashing the board. It's probably the first ill-advised shot we've seen from the Hawks here in this first half. Off the stutter step move. Schroeder went down. Morris keeps on firing, and the three goes. Markeith Morris has something to say to Millsap. To me, it's been about what Schroeder's been able to do. He has owned John Wall offensively. Otto Porter getting involved. Porter from downtown. Torian Prince. Oh, yeah. Left hand. Prince not playing like a rookie. John Wall off a main basket. Taking it to the rim. Look at the job Schroeder has done orchestrating there. Coming off with a perfect find for Wilson. Counted in a foul. John Wall, an opportunity for three. Ilya Sova, the fade. Rebounded by Gortat. Flips it ahead for Wall. Wall drives in. Wall the scoop. It wow. goes for John Wall. Did, did you see him avoid Ilya Sova? Incredible. That was amazing to be able to get by him and then have the presence and the ability to still finish John Wall using the screen. Wall the pull up jump. And a foul. It started in 2015 when John Wall vividly remembers Schroeder telling his teammates to smack him on the hand when he was dealing with the injury. Well, we asked Schroeder about it yesterday. He fully denies ever telling his team to do that. But he said he does like when Wall and him talk throughout the course of the game because it, he said it fuels him, it gets him going. As Wall once again goes to the free throw line. He said that's part of his game that he loves. But Coach Boonholzer doesn't like trash talking. He thinks it's a waste of energy and there are better ways to use your energy. He said, I guess he wants me to be like the Spurs and Kawhi Leonard or something. <laughs> but he said, I like to think I can meet Coach halfway and Budenholzer even joked, well, if I'm going to meet him halfway, I guess I have to say some trash talking words to Coach Brooks throughout the course of the game at some point. But he has come a long way, but I think going up against John Wall certainly doesn't have history to it. And he's feeding off of it. He's winning that battle tonight. Under eight minutes to go on the third. High screen Gorton. Wall. Cross and kick. Porter nails it. It's a long two-pointer for Otto Porter and Mike Budenholzer has seen enough. 73-58, Atlanta. Wall using the screen from Gortat. Wall pulls up, and it rims in. I'll tell you, you just get tired of having to say all these accolades about how good of a player he has become. Really, on both ends. If you're the Hawks, hey, listen, you get this one, we come back Monday, and then the pressure really shifts to the Wizards, where that game five, oftentimes in a 2-2 series, the winner of that game goes on to win the series. Bogdanovich with the flush. Wizards are 3-0 and leading two games to none all time in the playoffs. Hawks are 0-18. Atlanta answers the bell. The Hawks cruise for a game three win, 116-98. to The series now 2-1 in favor of Washington. It's an April like never before with April of the ATL presented by Cook's Pest Control. And on this Monday night in downtown Atlanta, the pressure of the playoffs continues to build. The Hawks hit the hardwood at Phillips for game four in their Eastern Conference first round series, trailing Washington two games to one. As much heat on the Hawks tonight 
as there was on Saturday. They are in a must-win situation. Dennis into the paint. This is what Olivia was talking about, but comes up short. Morris with a quick outlet to John Wall. Hawks get back. Wall hits the jumper to tie the game. Dennis smothered by Otto Porter. Gortat over the top. Saves it. John Wall, what a job. Walking the tightrope. Porter for three, and that's good. Otto Porter came out of the game on Saturday with a strained neck. Pronounced ready to go yesterday by head coach Scott Brooks. Morris top of the key after setting the screen. Range the jump shot. John Wall. Gortat. John Wall and Gortat have a chemistry between them. They know where each other likes the ball, and he's going to do a lot of picking and rolling, Gortat. Wall side steps. Drives on Paul. Kicks to the corner. Otto Porter the fake. Steps in for two and hits it. Timeout Atlanta. And a steal by John Wall. And a foul that Dennis did not need to commit. No, he should have let him go. Should have let him go there. John Wall. Seven seconds, six. Prince has him up top. Four seconds, three. Goes up. Lays it in with 1.9. That was too easy. Too easy. Off the screen, Beal connects. A three-pointer for Bradley. Porter fires it out front to Wall. Fresh block for the Wizards. John firing. And drilling a three. Now switched out on Millsap. Good feed. Paul, good quick hand. Deflected pass. Two seconds. One to shoot. Morris, good. Just beat the shot clock. Bogdanovich for three. Good. His second three, both here in the fourth quarter, and the Hawk lead is down to three with 8-10 to play. Wall with a crossover. And gets it in. Great D by Millsap, but John Wall taking it right to the hole. John goes up and scores and slams into Dwight Howard. And knocks it down. Three-point play to keep hope alive for D.C. John looking to fire a three. Hits it. John Wall with 22, and the Wizards are not going away. It's a five-point game. Calderon will dribble out the final seven seconds, and the Hawks fans rise as one in downtown Atlanta. We are 2-2. Two -two. We welcome you to Washington, where a two games to none lead for the Wizards has evaporated. A pair of complete performances for the Hawks has this series all tied up. It's now a best two out of three. Game five, the NBA playoffs on TNT. The Hawks and the Wizards. Overlook Bradley Beal. Another positive sign. More than just a three-point shooter, and, and you like to see that from Bradley here. Wall, the crossover. Gets it up. Morris, pick and pop. Book it. That's a big shot there. They talked about it, getting him involved early, and seeing that ball go through the basket will give him some confidence. Morris inside the yard. Count it. Yeah, that's just good basketball if you're the wizard. Wall using the screen. Morris, ball fake. Spin on Millsap. Morris, high archer. John Wall on the floor for Washington, guarded by Hardaway. Hard screen, Morris. Wall gets himself to the rim, and a chance at a three-point play. 37 fast break points in the first four games for Wall. 43 for Atlanta as a team. Wall, the pull-up jump. Count it. And, and that's the one you're going to live with, though, if you're the Hawks. Schroeder, the jump shot, no. Ilya Silva, it's blocked from the inside corner. Ilya Silva did not have the angle. Washington breaks out with Wall. It's five on four. Ilya Silva trying to get back. High up there. Oh, Morris on a rack attack. John Wall, the setup. Wall, the jab step on Schroeder. Using the Gortat screen. Wall's push shot. No. He's in the right spot. Goaltending on Dwight Howard. Ooh, that's another tough call. You know, he played professionally for four years in Germany. He's only 23 years old. And he's in his fourth year in the NBA. Yeah. You do the numbers. He's been a pro for a while. For a long time, which is not uncommon in Europe. You, you, not only Ginobili, Tony, those guys are all pros for a while. Bill putting on a little and one clinic. John Wall, I'm sorry, putting on an and one clinic there to get that deuce to fall. Prince, the jumper, rims out. Long rebound to Wall. Wall, the push, the kick. Porter, a three. Bottom. I tell you what. How about the chemistry? Porter 
is so good at running to open spots on the floor, allow, creating opportunities and angles for Wall to find it. Millsap, an off-balance oh, delivery. Man, that was a difficult shot there, and right back at you in transition. Oh, and it's John Wall after the make taking it to the hole. There's nobody in the league that has that kind of an ability off of a made shot to create a fast break opportunity. Wall on the perimeter. Wall beats Schroeder to the spot, and that teardrop goes for John Wall. And even though Gortat's still not engaged, that pick and roll action creates a lot of good opportunities because Howard doesn't want to commit to Wall on the pick and roll. Millsap, it's a three. Gortat, the rebound. Gets it ahead for Wall. Nobody came out to guard him. And Wall drains it from long range. Beal with the catch, the release, off the window, Bradley Beal. Dump down, it's Smith. On a backdoor cut, Smith with a flush. Wall, oh, John Wall with the hammer. A little different dynamic when Howard's not at the rim. Wall, oh, what a find. Wall draws the defense and sets up Gortat. Wall trying to make it happen. Wall, the jumper, he's got it. John Wall extends the Wizards' lead. Seven to shoot. Wall against Bazemore. Shot clock at three. Wall uses the screen. Wall, fade away. Doesn't go. Gortat, the board. Oh, he didn't have to shoot it. Gortat took up. Shot inside. It gives Atlanta a chance. Five seconds. Four seconds. Kick out. Hardaway a three. Off the mark. It's over. The Wizards come through. They win it at home to take a 3-2 series lead. A tight one in D.C. Welcome to Phillips Arena in Atlanta for game six between the Atlanta Hawks and the Washington Wizards. Washington looking to advance to the second round of the playoffs for the third time in the last four years, leading this series three games to two. But the home team has won every game in this series. We'll see if that changes tonight, and the Wizards can take game six here in Georgia. Morris way off, and Howard tried to fire it ahead to Millsap, but a turnover. I like John Wall winning that foot race on that loose ball. I don't know if there's think? a faster guy in the NBA, <laughs> and there's... Uh, Bradley Beal, we talked about it in the open, and you and I were talking today. I said, he's due to start making some of these shots, and Scott Brooks walked in. I said, what about Bradley Beal? And he said, I think he's due to start yeah. making some of these shots. So good sign in uh, making that first one. Wall, just a blur, goes to the left hand and lays it in. One of the reasons why Washington, they felt struggled early in the uh, season was their bench didn't get much pro uh, protection or production, and that's why they made some deals. Bogdanovich to help the bench, and here's Wall on the drive. He's going to shoot a couple more free throws, but they've improved their bench. Brandon Jennings. Atlanta one of six on threes. You pointed out in the games they've lost in the series, they've not shot the ball well from three. Either team in the series has shot it well. Oh. Wow! John Wall says, get out of my way, as he goes to the rim, soars, and slams. He had his best year averaging 23 points. He was number two in the league in both assists and steals. He gives it up here to Oubre for three. It's on target. And the Wizards are four of six from behind the arc and lead by ten. Here's Wall. Got the mismatch. Able to hit over Muscala. You see, that's where he's really, really improved. And, Dave, a lot of these guys that aren't great shooters, watch them use the dribble to set their rhythm up to pull up and get that jump shot. Here's Wall getting deep into the paint again and scoring. He has 12 points. These two teams met in the conference semifinals two years ago. Schroeder was a backup. Jeff Teague was the starter. That was a great battle between him and Wall. As Wall now has 14 points here in the first half. Unless you're going to trap him off that screen, he can get that shot anytime he wants to. As Wall scores here in a 16 points. Here's Beal with the steal. As Washington's gone back to its starting five. Wall. What a pass to Morris. How did Wall even know that Morris was cutting down the lane? Here they go again after the miss by Schroeder. Wall races past Calderon. Fires to a wide open corner, and he buries a three. It's got to be defense though right now for Atlanta. Washington shooting 66%. Got to get some stops. Instead, it's an open jumper for John Wall. 
say they're going to give Wall that. I mean, I know you're saying why, because if they get up on him and he's in the paint, it's either going to be a dunk or a three. Another turnover by Atlanta. Here's Wall, and it's blocked, but it was on the backboard first. So it's goaltending, and it's a 19-point lead. Boy, the Hawks are just falling apart here in the last two minutes of the half. Hardaway, and that was great defense by Wall. Hardaway foul, got undercut on the drive. Here's Wall for the answer. Money from three. John Wall shooting over 50% in the series from behind the arc. Gortat finishes in the lane. It's back to a 19-point lead. First points of the night for Gortat. Here's Hardaway again. Off the mark on the three. Cleared by Morris. Here's Beal in the corner. Strokes it home from three. And just like that, it's back to 19. Shot clock at eight. Wall says, I got it. Now gives it up. Bogdanovich for three. Big shot. Guys have had some memorable comebacks. 126.1, uh, that's memorable. Can you draw from that in a game like this with the season on the line? Yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, that's what the season's for. You build your habits, you build up reference points. Um, we've done it a couple times. We've got to do it again tonight. Thank you, Mike. Guys? All right, Izzy, they were down 22. And now they trail by nine after John Wall gets his 25th point. He's 10 of 17 from the floor. Beal throws it right to Schroeder. Schroeder chased by Wall, and he swats it away. What a play by John Wall. Boy, mark that down. That could have been a one-point game. Momentum really in Atlanta's favor. Let's see if Washington can find a basket and use that to turn the game for them. Here's Wall, beautiful Are hang and finish. Me? He does it on both ends, trying to will the Wizards to the second round. He's got 27 points and a huge block that otherwise would have been a layup for Schroeder. And here he is again with the jumper. Timeout Atlanta as Wall stares down the fans here. Here's Wall, he's got the last six for the Wizards. Dumps it off to Morris, and Morris gets the layup. That was a great catch by Marquise Morris on that play. The ball was behind him. It was in traffic. Beal off the curl, gets two, and has 31 for the game. Here's Wall against Schroeder. Able to knock down the uncontested shot. That's his third 30-point game of the series. 31 for Wall and 31 for Beal. You know, this is one of those games when you're a coach, you just want to get a seatbelt on and have it strapped on over and just sit down and enjoy the ride because these two teams are playing at such a high level. I mean, John Wall, they got in trouble. He came in, he had a, a basket in the lane, he had a chase down block, he's hit three mid-range jump shots. And you stop this guy with the ball. Wall blows right past baseboard, <laughs> takes it in on Millsap, and a three-point opportunity. 35 for John Wall. Gets the bounce on the free throw. Millsap picks up his fifth foul. John Wall with 13 fourth quarter points. Here's Wall. Make it 39 for John Wall and a foul. Right to the rim. Sort of saying bye-bye. Well, this has been a physical, intense series. Some bad blood. Wait till the next one. Washington, no Boston. No doubt. No <laughs> doubt. There's a lot of bad blood in that one. Washington closes out the series, winning game six on the road in Atlanta. John Wall, amazing night. 42 points, eight assists, but the biggest play he made was the chase down block on Schroeder. It was going to be a one point game, but Wall with the rejection. And then he took over on the offensive end, single-handedly outscoring Atlanta in the fourth quarter. They were within three of the Hawks where you had that chase down block of Schroeder, hit the next couple baskets. What was your mindset there just trying to take the game back for your team? Let's try to close the game out, man. We had a big lead. We knew those guys were not going to stop fighting. Uh, we had a couple careless turnovers that I had, but uh, we just kept fighting, man. I'm glad we came back and got this win. This is a great Hawks team. Uh, remember what they did to us two years ago, and they even make it a heck of a series this year. You've been to this point before the second round a couple of times. What about this team makes you think you guys have a breakthrough and you guys can, can go even further? Just the leadership that me and Brad have, the confidence we have in our game, how much hard work we put into our game. I'm a way better player than what I was two years ago. You know we're probably going to go up against a tough Boston team that we battle with and we've been battling with all year. And that's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait to get to the second round. And most importantly, what was some of that back and forth there with Julio Jones? It looked kind of fun. Oh, man, I told him I was going to get 35 or more. I ended up getting 42, so it worked out perfect for me. That's a great call. Thanks, John. Guys.
In the East, the first round is over as we welcome you to the NBA Eastern Conference semifinals on ABC presented by Wells Fargo. It's the Boston Celtics and the Washington Wizards. Game one, best of seven. An early afternoon game on Sunday. So not as much preparation as I'm sure the coaching staffs would like. Gortat down low, gathers and scores the first bucket. Each guy truly plays with an edge. Good ball moving here. Morris lines up a three. Gortat tips it back out. Another 24. John Wall way outside. Knocks down the three. It's 14-0. Bradley Beal's jumper misses. Another offensive rebound. Rebounds are now 9-0. Scores now 16-0. An incredible start. And the crowd and the Celtics stunned right now as Marcus Smart will check in. They go right back to Wall. Isaiah Thomas guarding him. Wall. Some dazzling ball handling and the finish. John Wall. Three for three to start from the field. Otto Porter gets in the paint. But that's John Wall. The change in who he is. Wall trying to go back door. Thomas stays with him. Gortat looks and hits. He is certainly a capable offensive player. Even though he struggled in that first round series scoring. Wall, nice feed. Porter cuts to the basket. Another gorgeous assist from Wall. He's got four assists already. Boy, they are swarming Isaiah Thomas when he gets in the paint. Where he scores so many of his points. Kelly Oubre nails a three. John Wall back in. Wall steps back and calmly sinks the jumper. Shot clock down to five. John Wall. Falling away. Oh, what a beautiful shot from Wall. Six on the 24. Crowder from deep. Shot blocked. Picked up by Rozier and lays it in as the shot clock expires. Boy, Rozier off the bench. Two points. Six rebounds. John Wall again. Gortat, an easy two. Gortat and Wall have been a terrific combination here in the first half. That's six assists for Wall. Wall inside, nice finish from Oubre. Seven assists in the first half for John Wall. Thomas fakes, Thomas drives, layup short. Gortat, quick outlet to Wall. John Wall to Beal, that's a three-pointer, it's good. Second three-pointer for Beal. John Wall has made some outstanding passes this entire first half. Wall gets inside, off the glass, backs it home. What is, did you see what Gortat was able to do right there? Sort of trying to screen his own man. That was very interesting. Porter. Boy, what a nice floater from Porter. And he's got double figures. Crowder gets it back, back to Horford. Horford just gets it off in time. And a rebound comes out to Wall. Oubre runs the floor. Oubre off the bench. What a performance from him. He's got 12. Wall drives hard to the basket. 22 assists for the Boston Celtics. They're the leading assist team so far in the postseason. Gortat, tough catch in traffic, and lays it in. What a pass by John Wall to see that opening. Great hands by Gortat. Five on the 24. John Wall eludes the defense. That was easy for Wall. He's got 17 and 12. Wall stripped by Bradley. Bradley the drive, shot blocked by Wall, picked up by Horford. Crowder, three-pointer, it's good. Timeout, Washington. Wall with the steal on a smart pass. Wall throws it up, and Smith somehow gets it to go. He was off balance at a quick timeout. Called by Brad Stevens as they score the first four points of the period. Bradley Beal, he answers back with a nice friendly bounce. There's been three of those that have hit the rim and died from the three-point line tonight. John Wall connects on the jumper. Wall with 20 points and 16 assists. Celtics take game one. We welcome you to Boston, the Eastern Conference semifinals. Game one was a roller coaster ride. The NBA playoffs on TNT. We're ready for game two. The Celtics on top of the Washington Wizards. Tonight, TD Garden is the venue. Porter on a back out, shot clock's down to three. 
Wall makes his move with a hard drive and gets the deuce. And John Wall doing what John Wall does, getting to the rim. Remember, this is a Celtics team that doesn't feature a lot of rim protection nor shot blocking, so there can be success had by the Wizards in the paint. You can see the Wizards be dangerous in transition. You know, the other thing about having Morris in the game that's really critical for the Wizards, it doesn't allow the Celtics to kind of hide Isaiah Thomas. He now has to guard either Beal or Wall and expect those guys to continue to either post or attack the rim. John Wall, bullseye on a triple. And how good has he been this entire postseason? 12-8 Washington, inside. The Wizards get a quick one to Gortat. Wizards have made their last six shots. Wall is fouled. A chance at a three-point play. He converts to the line. It's 23-14. Wizards are shooting 75%. Boston shooting 63%. Four seconds, three seconds. Wall gives it up. Smith fires and connects. Jason Smith from deep. Avery Bradley said that the team remains just amazed at his ability to continue to play at this level when he has so much tragedy to deal with in his life today would have been China Thomas's 23rd birthday. Wow. wow. Uh, thanks, D.A. China killed in a car accident just before the start of the playoffs. Smart rejected. John Wall erases the jump shot of Smart out of bounds. And, and sometimes you forget, Beal and Wall defensively are also difference makers. Ten point lead for the Wizards. Wall splits defenders and flips it in. John Wall down once again. But Wall is locked in. Wall, the crossover, the kick. Smith, the three. He buries it. Jason Smith from the corner. And John Wall is back. The crossover. Wall slicing and dicing to the hole. And a chance at a three point play. Just a completely different approach the Wizards have when Wall's on the floor as opposed to when he's not. Wall to the cutter. Gortat perfectly executed. Wall will try to take advantage. Turns the corner. Layup. No. Wall in the right spot. Wall got shoved out of the way, but then nobody filled the space yeah. for Boston. <laughs> off to the races for John Wall. Horford there to cut him off. Crowder comes out defensively. Oubre. That's a three. Bottom. Kelly Oubre from long distance. Wall backing in against Isaiah Thomas. Wall, the fade, book it on an island with Gortat. Horford bumping bodies. The pass intercepted. Wall steps in front. Wall, pull up, three, yes. I'll tell you what, he is really special. This game was tied at 67. Thomas! Hit the floor hard, slow to get up. Wall accelerates with a bucket and a foul. John Wall. And Thomas is grabbing at that fake tooth. John Wall, bullseye. And, and the Celtics have changed their defense now. They're trying to switch that pick and roll. And Wall now giving the opportunity to attack the big off the screen. Wall, oh, he threads the needle to Smith on a rack attack. Wall against Olenek, mismatch, the jump shot. He buries it. John Wall is smoking hot. Smart. Rejected by Wall. Thomas coughs it up. John Wall sprinting to the hoop with a left-handed jam. Smart could not get back. Wall. The spin and fade. Book it. Yeah, the crowd wanted a backcourt, but there was no possession there, so it's not backcourt. Thomas drives in. Thomas rejected by Wall. His third block of the night, and it's out of bounds with 18 to shoot. Boston down by two. Little bump out front. Thomas drives in. Thomas, he's fouled. It's a one-point game. This one's for the tie. 114-114. Five seconds left. Wall, three seconds. Wall. Front rim, followed by Beal. It's short. We are going to overtime. Walls jump shot, no good. And that'll do it. Boston wins the battle in game two. Celtics victorious in overtime. Epic performance from Isaiah Thomas. 129 to 119. Welcome to the NBA playoffs presented by Wells Fargo.
time for game three of this Eastern Conference semifinal series in our nation's capital between the Boston Celtics holding a 2-0 edge over the Washington Wizards looking to ride John Wall and Bradley Beal back into this series. Wall bodies in, doesn't get the roll, and Horford trying to find it, could not. Wall does and keeps it alive for Washington. Thomas gives it up and turns it over. Here comes Wall with one to his left. Will flip it up and draw the foul on Isaiah Thomas. Thomas has it poked by Wall. Second in the league in steals this season as Porter lays it in. So smart, couldn't finish, still battling, and finally Porter wins it for Washington. Wall, will he? Wall hounded by Bradley. Two to shoot. Bogdanovich will. And hit. It's happening again in the first quarter. Bogdanovich again. Bogdanovich played eight minutes last game, and Scott Brooks was frustrated with himself. He said he's got to be at 20 to 25. The guy has been in big moments over in Europe prior to coming to the NBA. He's fearless, and he can flat shoot the basketball. Three left in the corner. Wall. You bet. Wall likes the matchup. Veers to his right and hits. Wall, the spin, dish, Mahinmi, short. John Wall, no, Gortat, yes. But it's going to be a goaltend, I believe, before the Gortat putback. It's an 18-point game. Wizards led by as many as 26. This is the closest it's been since the first quarter as Gortat changes that. Bucket plus the foul. Horford, no. Porter the rebound. Wall decides to take it anyway. And got fouled. John Wall will shoot two as he has been getting some whistles tonight on his attacks to the rim. Wall, the drive, and the lay, plus the foul. And Wall completes the three point play. Challenge there by Gortat allows John Wall to get it from behind. Maybe the best shot blocking point guard in NBA history, John Wall. John Wall stopped after he got his ear scraped. Now is fouled and finishes. This guy is special. Wall hits the free throw. He has just set an NBA record. Ten straight postseason games for Wall in which he's had at least 20 points and seven assists. And that's going to be a goal ten and two more for John Wall. As Smart turns it over again, his seventh. Bogdanovich off the dish for Wall. As Mahinmi comes over the block, Jennings, the bounce, Wall, no. The Washington Wizards are on the board in this Eastern Conference semifinal series. 116-89 the final. We welcome you to Washington, D.C. as the animosity between these two teams grows with each game in this series. Tonight, it's game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals. The Celtics lead the Wizards two games to one. The NBA playoffs on TNT from the Verizon Center. Inside the ball movement, Amir Johnson, the throwdown. And again, it, it was Horford with the read there. The last possession, he knocks down the jump shot, and then they're able to find Johnson for the finish, and all of a sudden, those kinds of plays can settle down this Celtics team. Pick and pop. Mark Keith Morris sticks it. They've also contained Wall here as he's able to get the ball in there to feel. Easy deuce there. So we are tied at 12.
We approach five minutes to go in the opening quarter. Swinging around the perimeter for Crowder. Air ball on a long two-pointer. Wall right down the middle. Nice pass to Porter. Chance at a three-point play. John Wall pushing the tempo. Wall harassed by Smart after the turnover and a foul. This season in Washington, lost by 25, no Horford in that game. That was in November, lost by 15 in January, lost by 27 in game three. We asked Stevens about it prior to the game. He said, look, I talked to the team about how the intensity would be different here in D.C., and it is disappointing that we had to experience that in game three for it to sink in. But certainly feel here in game four it has sunk in for Boston they've yeah. answered the bell they have and, and that's what you want and, and John Wall finally comes through and having said that though if you're watching you, you got to feel good I mean Boston has played about as well offensively over 50 from three mm -hmm. 47 from the field you're struggling to make field goals John Wall at the point had been 0 for 9 and yet you look up and it's a five-point game Wall crosses over on Johnson leans in for two Bradley misses it from the outside. Morris with a snatch. Wall gets the screen from Gortat. Shields, step back, Jay. Bottom. And this is one issue with Amir Johnson. Not quite as good at containing the quickness of John Wall, who is kind of having his way here in this second quarter. Wall, the cross, the spin. Oh, what a set up to Gortat. <laughs> The roll to the rim, and John Wall has got incredible vision. It's not that he makes the spectacular play. It's how easily he goes about doing it. That was not an easy play for him to convert. Makes it look routine. It just feels like this year there's been more of an appreciation around the country for the kind of player that John Wall is. After the miss by Crowder, Wall takes it in. John Wall hard to the hole. Jump shot for Wall. Bottom. It's a triple. Wall intercepts the bounce pass. Wall is a blur. Wall makes his move. No luck. Courts off the catch. And the delivery. John Wall with eyes in the back of his head. Wall off the double team. Morris is left open. Sticks it. It's a three. Just another great read there. There was nobody to rotate weak side and Morris all day to kind of line that one up. Bradley lost it. The Celtics have been stymied and John Wall accelerates to the hoop. Opportunity for three. You heard Charles Barkley at halftime talk about John Wall. Maybe being the second best point guard in the league and arguably the second best player in this Eastern Conference. And I'm here to tell you, with how he's performed this postseason, he is letting there be no doubt. Fast break points now 15 to 5 in favor of Washington. It's been a 19 0 explosion for the Wizards. Wall. Oh, ball handling wizardry. John Wall finds the angle Thomas loses it another turnover wall the no look shot <laughs> he's a highlight machine Otto Porter with a finish off the back of the iron long rebound to wall wall hyper speed missed it foul called 97 to 76 the Wizards big lead Morris the layup goes down Washington on the brink of cracking a hundred with more than eight minutes to go in this fourth that's ten assists now for wall a double double to go along with his and 27 points wall the bullet feed to the baseline the layup goes for Bogdanovich Can we ask Scott Brooks did you talk to John Wall about your dynamic with Russell Westbrook he said no I never mentioned it it was Wall who started asking questions as they got deeper into the season Scott did not want Wall to think, hey, I'm just going to give you everything I did with Russell. Yeah. This is a fresh relationship. Uh, and you see the crowd giving him their appreciation for what he's done. 27 points, 12 assists. And uh, listen, I think John Wall, being the competitor he is and being a great player mm -hmm. in his own right, I think he can appreciate the dynamic that Scott Brooks had mm -hmm. with Russell Westbrook, not to mention the success that that group had had together. And that's it. 
The Washington Wizards have even this Eastern Conference semifinal series at two games apiece. This best of seven continues to go according to form. The home team gets it done once again. 121 to 102 the final. The Wizards with a dominant second half at home. John, they came out great defensive intensity and you missed your first nine shots. They got up by 10. How did you stay in the game mentally? Uh, an easy shot. Layups I missed. A couple wide open shots. But for us to win, I have to be aggressive offensively. Um, I had a lot of shots at halftime, but I still wanted to be aggressive to get my teammates involved. And a couple shots started to go down. Speaking of the half, it was tied. And they, they go up by five to start the second half. And then you guys go 26 0. What got that started and what kept it going? Well, you know, first play they got a foul with Mir didn't hit a corner three, but uh, we just did great defensively. The way we played defensively that whole third quarter is the reason why we had this win. And that's the reason why we won the last two games. We have to find a way to bring that same defense intensity on the road, and we'll be fine. I was going to say, you have to win one in Boston. They don't have to win one here. How do you win one? You know I mean? We, both games we played there, we had a 14, 12-point lead. We just let the crowd get back into it. We just started taking bad shots. Uh, the way we played defensively, if we play that way, over there, we'll be fine. We feel like we could get one if we play that way. Congrats on the win. See you in Boston. Thank you. All right, back to you, Ian. Boston won the first two games here at home. Washington rebounded with two straight wins in D.C. This is game five, the 1-4 matchup in the East. Mike Callahan, Ed Malloy, Sean Wright, veteran officiating crew. Washington shot 52% en route to a blowout victory on Sunday night, 121 to 102 in game four. And offensively has not been an issue for the Wizards. It's been their inability to defend here in Boston that cost them an opportunity those first two games. Ball missed his first nine shots in game four. He hits his first attempt tonight to put the Wizards on the board. Kick out Crowder. Shot clock winding down. Oh, Crowder! He can do no wrong! A bank shot three! I mean, you, if you're the Wizards, and then you get the turnover here. Just carelessness. The block by Wall. And it goes the other way. Beal, kick. Oubre doesn't take it. Drives in and finishes. Kelly Oubre with a pretty deuce. Yeah, still down 20, but that sequence there was big because you would have had an opportunity for the Celtics to get this place to go bananas. Including Julian Edelman, yeah. the Patriots wide receiver. And Bill Belichick, oh, yeah. Robert Kraft. He's here too. Bogdanovich cans a triple. Rozier misses it. Wide open look from the corner. Beal, the run out. Fends off. Oh, another block by Horford. And Wall is there for the follow. Bradley, heat check. He's got it! Wall throws it up, and a chance for three. John Wall, off-balance delivery. I tell you what, Avery Bradley got the message from his wife. Oh, yeah. He has responded. John Wall <laughs> with a triple. Five seconds to go. Wall against Thomas. Wall the flip. Gets the roll with .3 on the clock. Crowder rejected by Wall. Wall swings it. Morris fires a triple. He nails it. Wall lines it up. He cans it. It's a three. Isaiah Thomas. Back of the iron. Long rebound Bogdanovich. Wall leaks out. Attacks the rim and lays it in. Boston goes in front in the Eastern Conference semifinals. Three games to two. Convincing game five victory for the Celtics. 123 to 101. And welcome to the NBA Conference Semifinals on ESPN, presented by Wells Fargo. From the Verizon Center, a couple of guys from the draft class of 2010 going head-to-head, -head, Thomas and Wall. Wall out to Markeith Morris, launching the three, and he knocks it down. Well, he's a solid, solid 36, 37% three-point shooter. Thomas tried to find Horford, and it's a three on two. Wall! Turned on oh. the Jets and drew the hit from Thomas. John Wall with one point nice. so far inside to Gortat. Pretty. And he punches it home. Yeah, listen, Gortat at seven feet gives you the double-figure points, double-figure rebounding. 
He's one of 12 guys in the league who averaged over 10 rebounds. Great, Great feed inside by Thomas Horford. Blew it. And here comes Wall. Look, we've seen in overdrive. Oh my. John Wall, oh a my. blur. Now that was impressive, okay? Isn't it interesting in this league? You miss an uncontested layup, the other team scores within three seconds. Wall, oh, nice pass. Hit me with the left. Oh, that was beautiful. An excellent move without the ball by Bahimni, and then also Wall putting it right on the shooting end. Well, where's the game plan? Where's the power game? Get into the paint. Wall does oh. just that in the paint. Oh, no and kidding. Is in. There's Beal, another one on the way, and maybe that gets him going. Consecutive buckets by the four-time All-Star, John Wall. Beal over Crowder from downtown. Now one of 15 from deep. Wall going to try a three. That there one falls. Go. And John Wall coming to life in the third quarter. There you go. Avery Bradley, boy, he has been a different player offensively, Hubie, since game five. Look, he has 22 points, and uh, we still have another quarter to go. But you like the fact that he's two for three with the three ball. And doing it at the defensive end, although Wall got the better of him that time on the drive. John Wall having his best quarter of the game so far, up to 14. Hey, Mark, <laughs> you remember we were asking Isaiah how his mouth was doing, and he said, great, but my it's pretty much fake as heck. <laughs> Not only did he lose a tooth, but he said he fractured three others, so he said he now has a mouth full of fake teeth. Not a good look, but he's living like that. All right, Lisa, and John Wall was spinning like a top. That's a showtime move. Okay? Wow. That, that was a showtime move. Wall with the pull-up. He's been a different guy, folks, here in the second half. Sure 18 has. now for the lead. Bradley moving his feet on Wall. Threw up a wild one and drew the hit. Oh, good, good defense shot. by Wall, and that's a shot clock violation. Yeah, they let the clock get away here. Wall inside. Yes. Now, Crowder was there to block that shot, and he actually got a piece of it, but John Wall just muscled his way right up through that block. Launching another three. Oh, IT my, oh my. on the mark. He does it again, and you know what time it is by now. Here's your hard trap. And they turn him over this time. Yeah, there was no outlet. See, there, was no, there, there were no green shirts moving for the outlet. Beal finally! His first three of the ball game makes it a two-point contest with plenty of time. Wall guarding Thomas. Five on the clock. Rising up for three. Oh, he got Partially a piece of blocked. it. Yep. Plenty of time here. You don't have to rush. Wall takes it to the basket. Got blocked. And it looks like we got a foul call as John Wall once again careens hard to the court. And we are tied at 87. The Celtics were up five with possession. Boston wins tonight. They take on Cleveland. Bradley, free there for three. How about that it's one? It's been his long two, actually. They're calling it a long two. He came from underneath the basket, up to the foul line, around the screen, into the corner. How about that one? Great call by Brad Stevens. Beal, run off the three-point line by Olenek. Has a mismatch. Takes advantage. Nice Got it. Shot. We're tied at 89. Big time shot. Big time shot. And they're putting Olenek on, on the out of bounds, seven foot passer, and a good passer. Let's see what happens. Go to Horford. Thomas comes around to get it. On the move, back to Horford. Little pick and pop. Oh, oh the, the glass. glass. He used glass. Oh, no. And they lead by two with 7.7 to play. Two for the tie. Now they bring in Porter to take the ball out of bounds here. Along with Morris, Wall, Beal, and Gortat. Porter can't that. find anybody. He gives it to Wall. Working against Bradley for three. John Wall! Oh what a shot! Now you talk about a pressure shot. That was it. Crowder inbounding for the Celtics. Thomas got the catch. Three on the way for the win. And the Washington Wizards will live for game seven.
John Wall telling everyone with an eyesight and with ears to listen, this is my place. And Lisa standing by with John Wall and more. Thank you, Mark. A very emotional John Wall. John, I want to I want to feel what you're feeling right now. Tell me what you're feeling. I ain't going home. Now come to my city. We're in all black talking about it's a funeral. We work too hard for this. And all we ask for is the game 7 50-50. And that's all we ask for. We do it for these unbelievable fans. Man, without these guys, we wouldn't have won this game. The game winning three. Take me through that play. And it was a play I just got open. It was really for Brad to get open. I seen the hesitation move. Shot I work on every day. I'm just glad it went in. Now, early in the game, you struggled, but not in the second half. Just tell me what changed for you. I'm a guy that I don't care. I'm not going out without a fight. If I go over 30, I'm willing to lose like that. I got too much heart. I put in too much work. Double knee surgery. Look at this. Couldn't ask for more. That defensive stand with 1.7 seconds left to go. Just tell me what you were saying to your guys. Like we saw you making a defensive switch. We knew that was the last time they beat us here. I think two years ago they threw over top pass to Jay Crowder got a layup. We just tell them they catch it, just foul real quick. Next time we have Marcia Gortat going out of bounds. Now we need you in the paint guard in the basket. And you got to win. Game seven. What does that mean to you? This is my life. This is my bad. This, this is my life. This is what I asked for. To fight hard down 2 0 to win. All we got is one game left. We go to the conference finals. I couldn't ask for more. Good luck to you. Congratulations. We welcome you to Boston, where one game will decide who advances to the Eastern Conference Finals. The Wizards and Celtics are trying to keep their seasons alive tonight. It's Game 7, win or go home on TNT. The 2017 NBA Playoffs, 30th all-time Game 7 for Boston, the first for Washington since 1979. 10-4 Boston, we're under seven minutes to go in this first quarter. Wall on a switch. Skip pass for Morris, corner pop, yes. And that's big, and you know, you, you see the strategy by the best players, right? Isaiah Thomas, and John Wall both are aggressive to facilitate here early on, trying to get those other guys' confidence, knowing they're going to have that supreme confidence as the game starts to wind down. Thomas loses it. The leak out. John Wall accelerating with a big finish. Left-handed delivery for Wall on the jam. One-point lead for Boston. Thomas goes behind the back with the dribble. Thomas challenges Gortat for two. Off of the made bucket, corner right down the middle, and John Wall with a slick feed. And remember, that's off a of made basket. So a real concern if you're Brad Stevens with your transition defense here. You cannot allow Wall and the Wizards to get those easy ones in the open floor. Tend to shoot. Shifting gears. John Wall all the way and one. Wall taking it right at Kelly Olenek. Thomas crosses over. Thomas off the rim, doesn't go. Porter. Gets it ahead for Wall. He'll challenge Brown. Wall the flip. That was just, he had Jalen Brown there on his heels. And, and you forget just how big and strong John Wall is. He goes about 220, so he is packing a punch. Wall one on one with Crowder. The blow by oh, and the goodness. finish. John Wall squeezing through for the bucket. Thomas circles, pulls up. That was a pass to Smart. Feet ahead, John Wall the length. Wall accelerating to the hoop. And a great find by Otto Porter, who's been terrific here tonight. Wall defended by Bradley. Shot clock is down to five. Wall, that's for two. Bullseye. And how about Gortat there? Hadn't shot it well, but got to that loose basketball that give the Wizards an opportunity here to take the lead. Crowder rolls to the hoop, and he lays it in. And conversely, not really a strength for the Celtics, but able to come up with one there. They leave Wall alone, and he knocks it down. It's a triple. Nine to shoot. Brown, that's a deep three. Rims out. Gortat taps it out to Beal. The release by Wall. Wall off the glass and in. John Wall with a chance at a three-point play. And how many times have we seen off a of make or miss with the recognition by the Wizards and John Wall getting in the open floor there and then how he cut off Jalen Brown and shows the physicality he came ready to play. Shot clock is down to five. Porter the ball fake. Brown bites and Porter nails it. And how good have Porter and Morris been here tonight? Wall to Morris. 
Baseline floater goes down for Markeith Morris. I cannot tell you how important that basket was, and that was a very difficult running floater there that he was able to knock down. Porter flips it ahead for Wall. No look. Gortat the finish. That is the first basket for Gortat. And the first time in a while we've seen the Wizards able to get out in transition, in part because they were able to finally get a stop. Kick out. Markeith Morris with a triple. Beal lost it. Gortat is fouled. An opportunity for three with 137 left on the clock. The Boston Celtics survive and advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. They were taken to the limit by the Washington Wizards. Boston takes game seven, 115 to 105. They will host the Cleveland Cavaliers in game one of the conference finals. The number one seed is moving on.